100 messages. Restream. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we really live? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So Welcome to. Hold on, so now you know yeah, how it feels. Now you know how it feels. Now you know how it feels. This is how we do it. Guys, we just want to make sure that you know that as much as, as cool as it is for us to be here live uh, and getting to do such a cool celebration for the 14900KS. This is still the standard Intel live show. And in case you haven't noticed, we are together, ah! like on the, in the same place. So it's good to see. Yeah, we have Alex and Roby in the same room. We are proving that we are not generated by AI. Or are, are we? we? Yeah, well, or are we? Know. Anyway, guys, welcome to this very special version of the Intel, uh, the Intel live show. This is the 14900KS launch celebration and do we have a packed show? What is, okay, so what's happening today, Alex? Okay, so we have an amazing you. Um, amazing you. We have an amazing show for we you. We do have an amazing you. Yeah, we're the, it's the best you you can have. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have an amazing show for today. We're going to be doing two great builds. So Robbie and I, we're actually going to be building a PC. We also have some other people that are going to be joining us in a little bit. They'll do their introductions shortly. And we also have uh, some systems that we'd like to show you from some great uh, companies. So from system integrators, uh, it's going to be Origin. Sorry, it's going to be uh, Main Gear and is going to be cyber power. So guys, just to say, we are, and on top of that, we are giving away a PC. Yes. We're giving away chippies. We're giving away CPUs. We're giving away loot boxes. We are giving away anything. And so you guys are going to want to stay tuned to all the channels that we're on because the giveaways are across all of them. PC, all that stuff. And I know you guys are going to ask the big question, how do I enter to win? Don't worry, guys. We will let you know. It happens throughout the stream, and we'll let you know which giveaway is happening on which channel. But we are live on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. We're also live on Discord. If you want a special celebration, head on over to there. They're having their own celebration right there at discord.gg slash intel. And we are also joined by our, our very, uh, before we throw to the next person, we have the usual suspect. She yeah. hasn't made her appearance yet. She's Usually she does. She's, She's a little, little shy, shy right now. Shy. She's just hiding. Uh, hello, Overlord. Are you there? I am here. Guys. Oh! Sarah and she is believe it or not also in the same house but of course we don't want to it's, it's almost like it's, a secret. it's like if Master Chief takes off his helmet uh, I'm talking about you Halo TV show uh, <laughs> point being is that you know we don't want to unmask Sarah but she is here with us as well so we got Overlord but it's not just us no I wish there was some great guests with us tonight and it's not just this studio no so do you guys hey who's let me get let me get a raise of hands who's ready to meet our special guests who are joining us today who's ready to meet let me see a raise of hands let me see who wants to meet our special guests i want to see it in <laughs> chat i want to see some hype in chat because we got some special guests okay we got one raise his hands we got a pinky toe we got some hate we got a roby we cat. got a roby cat guys we got a roby cat let's go ahead and throw it down to our special guests nene and josh from tech tesseract What's going on, guys? Hello, guys. Hello, guys. So, How are we all doing? Yeah, and why don't we get a full screen of your set down there and let you guys introduce what's going on? Yeah, yes. as you can see, they've uh, pretty much decked out our whole little set that we got here today. We're going to be doing lots of fun stuff that uh, Josh and I have been quite excited for. Yeah, we're going to be doing some awesome stuff today. So, um, yeah, as you can see, set is looking awesome. We've even got some, uh, some nice greenery around the TV <laughs> yeah, right here. Great. So, yeah, great job on the set. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be uh, actually building a water-cooled PC. Now, mm -hmm. before we get to all of that, we should probably talk about, introduce ourselves yeah, a little bit first. we should probably first. tell them who we are so they're not like in chat. I, I don't who know who is this? <laughs> so if you guys don't know us, we are on YouTube. We do lots of PC builds. We dabble in a lot of gaming setup builds. You might have seen our video. It kind of went viral of our like spaceship gaming setup. It that was a cool like setup. Four million views. Something like Something that. Something like that. That's what most people are known are know us for. But we also did um, a water pool build that did really well. That's also at like four million views. Yeah. So, so we we do a bit of everything to yeah. be honest. We like gaming setups. We yep. like building PCs. Yep. And uh, I know Nene especially you. The water cooling is your domain. That, yes, that is my domain. Josh yes. is getting into it now that we've done more builds. But yeah. Yeah, so um, we're going to be uh, getting started on all of this shortly. So, yeah, I'm just super excited to be here. Obviously, we've got mm -hmm. um, the launch of the Intel i9-4900KS. Yep. So we're going to be getting into all of that, building some awesome PCs. There's going to be some giveaways as well. Um, so, yeah, yep. excited to be here. Okay. Well, it's so good to have you guys here, and you guys are going to see both sets going. So just to give you, a, and with, with the four of us here, just to give you a... a an idea of, of essentially what's happening here. Uh, we are gonna be building two PCs, which is gonna be absolutely epic. We're gonna be building one for uh, basically your standard enthusiast. Exactly. That's gonna be happening up here. And then we're gonna be 
building a PC uh, as well for the folks uh, basically uh, who love water cooling. Yes. Right. So there, you know, we're going to do water cooling, and we're going to see those between the two different groups. We'll be moving up and down. That. And then uh, what else? We also have a couple uh, SIs because not everybody loves to build PCs. Exactly. Uh, so we're going to basically have a couple SIs we're going to talk to as well. But it should be good. But we should probably hit on why the heck we're here. Exactly. Why we actually flew you to the same studio so we could be in the same room together. You mean besides hang out and have this amazing studio? No. Right. So we're here actually because we are celebrating the launch of the KS processor, the uh, Intel Core i9 1400KS launched last Thursday, so March 14th. Actually, you can go and look for it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, reviews and talk already going on, and actually there's a new egg, Amazon, it's on your favorite retailer, you can find it there. So that launched last week. So this is kind of a celebration of that launch, and we're gonna be, like Roby said, and uh, we're gonna be building different kinds of systems for different, you know, they're all gonna be like high-end, but like you said, we have a custom loop, and then we have an AIO, and we also have, uh, from system integrators, we have some SIs, two amazing systems that we're gonna be talking about interviewing them. So before we get too far, let's talk about what the KS isn't right because I yes. mean the thing is is a lot of times people come in there and you're used to I'll pop into a review Roby you know the, the, you know it's this and this and this but the KS is it is for a specific audience number one if you look at the box you know what here let's just drop to a top down here if we can if you look at the box right here on the top down you can actually see it says right here special edition also look at oh, this rad God, chippy. That's, a nice, that's, chippy. that's a nice chippy thing that we have there but this rad special edition that means that this is actually a limited edition of the actual 14900K. It is a bin processor that is for the highest end enthusiast. This is not for somebody who's not wanting the best of the best. Understand, it's kind of like jumping from like an Audi to a Porsche or like exactly. a Lamborghini to a Bugatti, right? Yep. Like you're paying that extra money for that extra, and we've seen in our testing, so we've tested four or five actually different CPUs, anywhere between 13 and 15% for certain very heavy workload applications, one to 3% in terms of gaming if you're playing at 1080p. But again, this is for the person who wants that oomph that's the level above, right? Yeah, that is completely correct. So this is for those you guys who know who are looking for the special, for the really the best thing of the best, the best of the best. So what we do is actually, we have our processors, right? So we do that, like you said, the disk binning process. And we know that for the 1400K, you know, like, hey, there's this extra bin, thinner bin that actually performs even better than the, four, uh, the 14900K. So it's like, why not take that extra great silicon and like, and create a product out of it for those people who are really looking for that max uh, CPU. And so we actually have a slide that we're gonna basically show up here, here in a second, right? That's basically gonna give you like some, some indications of the 14900KS, but just to go through a couple of different things, you still have 24 cores, you have eight E cores, 16 efficiency cores, you got 32 threads, but the big thing is right there, right? There you what go, is it? The there it is. The biggest thing actually out of this guy is the, you know, out of the box, you're gonna get 6.2, gigahertz of frequencies, <laughs> a little bit redundant, but yes, yeah. you get 6.2 gigahertz out of the box, a single core a turbo that you can actually achieve. And this is the first processor, actually, yeah, the first world's processor can achieve that out of the box. So it's pretty impressive. Yeah, which is actually pretty impressive. And actually a little bit later on, we're actually gonna talk about uh, what this, what some people have already done with that. So we'll stay tuned. There's actually been some crazy world records, but what we wanna say is some of the things that you're gonna see today as we start talking about parts and things like that is with great power, comes great need to cool, <laughs> yes. right? And so uh, some of the stuff that you're gonna hear from SIs and you're even gonna see with here today is we're doing 420 millimeter AIOs. We're using contact frames. We're basically, we're talking about a, a special delitting program and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that with this that we are doing to basically tame the amount of power. But you know what? The thing that we wanna show you is that you can do it. It is reasonable Exactly. if, if this is the value for you. We understand yes. that this is not for everybody, right? Yeah, this is a collector's edition. This yeah. is like, well, like we said, like the one you're moving from a, an Audi, like there's a great analogy from an Audi to a Bugatti to uh, yeah, uh, a racing car. So this is one of the things that you, you have a very special thing. And with the special processor, you also need some special uh, equipment to go with it. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that we're okay with it. And like, in, in fact, one of the things that we actually just like, as you hear us talk with Wallace from Main Gear, we talk with Jeremy Gonzalez over at CyberPower, is that you guys are gonna hear about some of the stuff that even the companies who, some of you guys don't wanna build PCs. I know that's a travesty. People are like, Whoa. you <laughs> oh know, my God, oh my no. gosh, right? Um, but uh, the, there are people, and they're they're even doing things to basically get this. We have we have Falcon Northwest chilling in the chat right now. Yep. Uh, you know, I know Kelp 
loves when new CPUs like this stuff. And I remember he, I was actually having a phone call with him and he was telling me about how uh, like they were currently going through the testing and the bending and all that sort of stuff to see how to basically uh, make sure the 149KS, if you were to buy a system from them, exactly. would be uh, so awesome. So let's talk, let's frame it in, in a different way. So we've talked about kind of the processor. We've talked about a little bit about what it's capable of. Let's just talk about, um, who like a little bit about who this is a necessarily for, right? Like when you right. think about value. So if you're somebody who it's like you're an esport player. Yes. An esport player who or a very, very competitive gamer, and you're looking at pushing those high, high, high refresh rate monitors at 1080p. Exactly. This, this is, is a same. CPU that you're gonna do. Yeah, because this CPU will be able to feed, you know, keep that uh, GPU busy with all the processing series. We're gonna be able to feed all that data that is needed to process those high frame rates in order for you to have a great uh, performance in your esports game. And then the second group is that this is for the people who, like, if you're a coder, if you're doing, exactly. if you're doing, um, if you're doing uh, encoding, video editing, if you're like doing like 8K footage, all that sort of stuff. This is where you're seeing Cinebench scores north of 41 in some cases. We've seen 40 to 41 exactly. uh, in, in many of the cases on the five ones that we tested. That's where you just have that raw computing power and you want basically the fast and you don't want to waste time. Like Brian's over there nodding his head because he's like, <laughs> yes, yes, I want to basically make sure that I'm not wasting time. I love editing Robitech. That's actually not true. He was like, I hate my dog. No, he doesn't. Actually, there's another, uh, there's, there's another, uh, they're actually a very interesting uh, niche of people who actually use this type of processor is those who are involved in high frequency trading. They love of that this yeah. guy for you know for the frequency for how quick it is and then there is the then there's just the person the high the water cool person which is like really why we have nay and josh on the show those people who are like i'm gonna build the rig that's got all the tubes going in all the directions exactly. it's it's water cooled by chick-fil-a sauce or whatever you know magical <laughs> thing that you're doing and uh they just want to push it to its limits right and this is for the tinkerer the person that is where we talk about it. and remember there might be people who are looking at this and like no i'm not spending that kind of money we totally get it. There's a whole, you know, behind Josh and Nate, there's a whole stack of other CPUs that are 14th gen. Yeah. You got your 14.6, your 14.7, which is like the darling, yeah, right? Yes, exactly. The 14.9 and then the 14.900 KS. So, and that, you know, again, value is thing. And so you, we're gonna, I know we're gonna see people like, what? Like, that's cool. Come see some awesome builds, maybe win something incredible, learn a little bit about some crazy overclock. Yeah, join us in the chat. Yeah, and even some great tools that you can use with this, because that's exactly. the other thing too. So we also have some incredible stuff. But before we do that, Let's jump into what we're actually building today and what you can win. Who is stoked to win a PC? If you want to win a PC, I want to see some hands in the chat. I want to see some Roby Cats. I want to see some Chippies. I want to see some awesomeness in chat right now if you want to win a PC. And let's bring up the parts list for the PC that you can win today on the show. Wow, we have them all over oh, the place. We got all. some hype. We got all sorts of things. Here it is right here. This is the PC customized by Blue Horse Studios, which unfortunately said that Nay and Josh were their favorite people, not Roby. Uh, so yeah, let me just see, I'm offended right now. <laughs> Snaxon, calling you out too. But uh, we have the processors, the Intel Core i9-14900KS. Uh, we're gonna be using a contact frame with that. Uh, for the motherboard, we're gonna be using the Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, for the graphics card, the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 40, uh, 4080 Super. We have three terabytes of storage, thanks to Corsair, the MP600 Elite. We have the Corsair Dominator Titanium Black, 32 gigs at 6600 mega transfer. We have Corsair, the special custom Corsair 7000D uh, system done by Blue Horse. You can see it just right there. The, the artwork is just Gorgeous, it's beautiful, I love it. And I also really like that we, we're having those two SSDs. You know, you have like the one for your OS and your games yep. and the other one as your all your storage. I love that, you, what you guys are on there. So it's, it's this is a beautiful system. I was like, oh, can I take it home? But I was tackled at the exit of the studio. So, well, this is for you guys. This is gonna be an yeah, amazing. And somebody was winning this today on the show. We also have the Corsair H170 I, IQ Link uh, LCD, which we can put just a meme of me and you dancing. I feel exactly. like that's exactly what everybody wants. Uh, we have the Asus Tough 850 watt PSU, uh, and then we're using IQ Link fan, so it's going to have a bunch of 140s. It's going to be we, we're we're going to cool this. You're going to see it. Uh, we're going to benchmark it right here on the show, so you can actually see it from there. So that is what we're going to be building up here. But that is for the enthusiast who just wants to build a PC. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about for the enthusiast who wants to build a water cool PC, and for that. We're gonna jump over to Josh and Nay downstairs. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, real, real, real quick. All right, there, there you go. go. We're right. good. We're good. Yeah, 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 we're good.
and the PC. They said they do really good work. Yeah, we actually yep. met them this week, and they do fantastic work. Honestly. Yeah, we, we actually saw them in action. Yes. We had like a whole thing going on. Yeah, yep. and it was it was awesome to see how uh, how creative uh, Ron is and Blue Horse Studios. Uh, but we are here to talk about the PC mm -hmm. that we're going to build today because this is going to be a bit of a special one. It's going to be a fully custom water cooled PC. Um, do you want to tell them a little about what the plan is for the build? Yeah, so we are going to be using the NV7. Now, Josh has had the little brother, the NV5, I yes, believe, Yes, I have correct? the NV5 set yeah. on my desk at home right now. So uh, this is going to be pretty cool. This is a much bigger case. So, mm -hmm. of course, you can do a little bit more in terms of water cooling. Uh, I think the NV5, I did I did tell Nay I wanted to water cool that thing, but I'm um, not sure if it would be a little bit small. Yeah, so I this one's going to be, be cool. Small. Yeah, so let's go ahead and go over some of the other parts. So for our storage, we are going to be using three terabytes of Kingston Fury. For our motherboard, we are using the ROG Maximus Z790 Hero. That's a beautiful board. Yeah, Love that board. Uh, let's show you the box. I mean, even the box on a motherboard like this looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Check it out. They always come out in style with their the Yes, packaging. I do like the packaging. Now, yeah. um, we can't forget our the heart yeah, of the system is, yeah, over this, here. This is what we're here for. And right here, we have, of course, the Intel Core i9-4900KS. And it even says special edition on the box, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that is going to be the uh, heart of our system. So oh, super I excited to the RAM either. see the performance on that. Yeah, let's talk about the RAM as well. All right, so for RAM, we are using the Kingston Theory Renegade 6000. And I believe this is going to be... We've actually used this RAM before. We have a bunch we of have, them. We have, yes. So we've got 32 gigabytes at yeah. 6,000 mega transfers. Uh, now, you've already seen the case, obviously, we've got some custom water cooling going on. Uh, for the GPU, we are going to be uh, using a water block on this mm -hmm. as well. So for this, it's the uh, MSI Gaming X Trio RTX 4080. And we're also using some Fantex D30 fans, which I'm quite excited to see inside this case because they do look very, very nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to be kitting everything out. And we also have an Asus ROG Strix 1000 watt gold rated power supply. Yeah. We're so gonna yeah, we're going to be covered for everything, and uh, we've got all of our other accessories here as well, like this contact frame. We need that. We're, we're going to want to get as good temps as possible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you excited to put this loop together? I am. I am. You know, I love my water cool loops. Yeah, I was about to say it's it's been a while since we've done one of these, but it hasn't. We, it's actually been a while since yes. we did a live stream. So we used to stream when we first got into like our whole gig of uh, like social media on YouTube. We started on Twitch, and we got like ten thousand followers on there until we decided that we were going to move to YouTube. So kind of fun to be back. Yes, that's always fun. But um, yeah, we, we did another water cooled PC recently. Yeah, so. if you guys saw that, it was the black and white build that we recently did on our channel. That one turned out really good. Yeah, but yeah, we, we love doing water cooled builds. So excited to um, get this all put together yeah. for you. In terms of like uh, tubing and stuff like that, um, we're doing some interesting bends in this one, and yeah. we're actually using acrylic as well, which yes. okay. we so, don't have that much Speaking of this, with. this is going to be interesting. I am very familiar with pet G tubing. This was my first time using acrylic, and you know, I never believed people when they said, oh, acrylic is a, a lot harder to bend or cut, because like I already felt like I was a pro at the PCs that I've always built. No, there, there's definitely a challenge to it, I would say, but we got through it. We did a good job, so I'm hoping that the build goes pretty good today. And I've just noticed in the chat, snack Jackson has joined us. Snackson. She says she says that you're glowing. Well, and she's she's glowing you. right now. <laughs> yeah, so um, excited to get into this uh, hardline build. Um, yep. I'm sure the, these kind of builds that you always run into some sort of problem. There, so it's going to it's going to be interesting to kind of put this together. You always have to be a little bit flexible as well, you know, <laughs> to, not only on bending the tubes, yeah. but uh -huh. also to just make sure. God, everything... is, is he taking after Roby with his dad jokes? <laughs> I, I, do you know what I need? I needed one of the dad joke buttons. I already pressed that like five times yesterday just to just to hear the dad yeah. jokes. Yeah, but, but I yeah. think that's pretty much the plan for our build, and I think we'll go back up to Roby. Yes. Okay, so we are live. We've gone through the builds, and we just wanted to talk about one little feature before we just start building. Yes. And that feature, let's 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 break it down for people. It's called APO. What is APO? So a APO is an application optimization software, and actually, what it is is optimizing the threads of, of a game, for example, of the workload uh, for your for your processor. So a better way to think about it is, you know, your your GPUs they all have drivers, and they, every time there's a new game that it gets released, uh, it gets optimized for that game. 
So we're doing the same thing for the processor. So we're optimizing games, uh, optimizing those workloads for the threads for your processor. And so understand guys, just to break it down more simply, really what it is, is it's like, think of it as, this is something that makes games run faster. Yeah. Uh, and basically it's not just doing stuff like turning off e-cores, it's actually doing some incredible stuff and it's partnering with uh, people like, uh, you know, the folks at, at a number of different games, Metro Exodus, there's a number of them that you guys have actually worked on to make them run. And so what we've done is you guys have actually met with an Intel fellow. Yes. So this is not somebody who dresses fancy at Intel. Exactly, yes. <laughs> no, this is not a, somebody doing a, Alex level game <laughs> cosplay or anything like that. This is something else, right? Yeah, this is completely something else. So this is a uh, guy through an Intel fellow and a uh, uh, fellow worker, a uh, uh, fellow uh, evangelist, um, um, Marcus Yam, and they're talking about, you know, APO and all the different things that it brings to the table. Now, a couple of things to, to, to keep in mind is APO is done through a dynamic uh, tuning uh, uh, software that is actually done through given through the OEM so the people that build the motherboards and the systems and it's given to them so in order for you to have it you actually have to go and update your BIOS or go through them to get it and this is a, a part of that of that uh, of that whole uh, set of tools that is given to them and so you, in order to just make sure that you have it and for some actually there's something new but maybe I'm getting ahead of it so let's let's, let's so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll a clip but before we get to that before we roll this clip I did, we had a couple questions. One, some some questions that we saw from chat, and we are reading chat real quick, um, so we make sure. We're there. But here's what's going. First one was somebody asked, "Why would you have a high-end gaming CPU for 1080p gaming?" So one of the things that people don't actually understand is that as your resolution lowers, the CPU actually becomes more important. So at 1080p, CPU is actually a very large part of how fast your basically frames are generated. As you jump up to 1440p and 4K, CPU actually has a far less. If actually 4K, it's almost, it's almost completely the GPU at that point in time. So for people in a lot of eSport competitions still run 1080p, 27 inch monitors and stuff like that. So to get the uh, the, the most frames for out of your 4090 or whatever CPU that you, or GPU that you're using, you need a super fast CPU. And a lot of those games are actually CPU bound, not GPU bound because the literally the GPU is just yawning. So as you get faster CPUs like the 14900KS, at that point in time, it can actually produce faster frames. So if you're looking at, if you're highly competitive, Apex, Valorant, whatever, right? Like those are the kind of games that you guys are like, you might want to sit there and say like, hey, I'm going to get this. Helldivers too, you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. You know, because you don't want to kill your friends, right? So that's why you might use a 14900KS for something like that. So I did want to answer that one. I think we had a couple others. Yeah, there's another question was like, does the uh, K, uh, does the KS still have the integrated graphics? And yes. Yes. It still has integrated graphics. It hasn't been removed or it hasn't been shut down or anything like that. It still has integrated graphics to let you know that. Because remember we talked about for, especially people who do it for rendering, that IGPU actually gets used by that stuff and that stuff that they can use independently. So they do not want to take the, yeah. they don't have what's called a KF model. Exactly. Uh, KSF. That's KSF. That's, that's a lot a, of, uh, that's a three letter acumen. That's too many, that's too many letters. Intel doesn't do that. Um, right, Sarah, right? That's not a thing yet. Like Sarah, Sarah knows she, we don't, how many Ackermans can we have, Sarah? Is there like a, is there like a global rule? No, unlimited. <laughs> That's all she says. She's like, we can have as many as you want. Shut up, Ruby. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so that was the answer. Those couple of those questions before you get in there. Let's pop in here, Snacks and I see you, love you. Uh, and apparently you don't love us as much as you love, I know. Uh, yeah, Alex, I'm a little literally, over, I've broken my heart over here. Alex okay. and I were crying the whole time. You guys were just gut over Nay and Josh and not over, and, and same thing with you, uh, Blue Horse. Like we see yeah. you, Ron and Deb. Apparently we're just not cool enough. So let's just throw the video why uh, Alex and I cry some more. So there's been this speculation, and maybe it's a misconception, that all APO does is it just disables the e-course and just lets the P cores run and do their full thing. Is, is that the way it works? Not at all. Okay, so how, how does it work then? What it is doing is it's optimizing the game's use of the resources in the processor, right? the SOC, so it can feed the graphics optimally. And how does, how does that affect? Why, why does, what's the relationship between um, the performance there and graphics? So the better that you feed the graphics, the higher the frame rate. The, long, the graphics doesn't have to wait to get the next piece of work to achieve. So it's feed, 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 and then the graphics can do its job and produce a frame rate. And this is true regardless of whether it's uh, you know, third-party discrete graphics or Intel Arc, it's the same thing. 
That's right, so, except that different graphics implementations have different performance capabilities. And so when the graphics are the fastest, that's when the CPU needs to shine in order to feed it. And just, just so we don't lose this point, because I, I got another question in my mind okay. uh, to follow up on this, but so to be clear, the e-cores are still enabled, they can do their thing, whether you're uh, streaming, recording, those things that the e-cores are really good at, those are still present when APO is on. That's right. Those resources are there available to use for background tests, streaming, anything else. It's just in certain situations, the application optimization software controls resources that are used by games to make them optimally perform. Now you mentioned the combination of different graphics, whether it's third party or Intel Arc graphics. Um, you said there's different, different validation and, and combinations. So can you talk more about what does it mean to have APO validated on like a fourth gen system with different graphics? What kind of work goes into making sure that these combinations of uh, hardware work? Sure. So as I mentioned, when we deliver this application optimization, we have a targeted minimum kind of gain we'd like to see. And that gain is what we put in for any titles that are supported uh, for a given SKU. And in the application optimization UI, you'll see the titles listed that have been validated to work with a specific SKU. And the SKU may include a graphics card um, by one of the leading graphics vendors, or it could be internal graphics. And we have to check all those combinations of the titles, the SKUs, and the graphics type in order to decide what to offer as uh, supported or validated uh, in the default configuration for application optimization. Because all the combinations don't, live the, don't deliver the same result. And like I said, the top end, their best graphics card actually um, benefit the most from what we do in our application optimization software. And just like the way people can build their PCs from different parts, there's almost a countless number of configurations that you must Lots of permutations, that's right. And so it's very time consuming and uh, resource intensive in order to validate all those. And for validated, what do you mean by validated platforms? Is this validated on 14th gen PCs? Uh, what, what is, what's the, the range of uh, mm -hmm. validation? So by default, the initial Intel application optimization software supported 14th gen PCs. This was the uh, first launch uh, back in October of last year. And that means that we have our criteria, as I mentioned, a few percent uh, benefit in frames per second or more uh, with certain titles and certain graphics configurations. And so when we say we've validated it for the SKUs that we support, you'll get that benefit for those com com combinations of processor, graphics, and SKU. And that was at the launch time of right. APO in October. But I know that you know Intel takes community feedback to heart. So what about those who've been asking about APO support on 12th gen or 13th gen systems? Yeah, so uh, it's true, there was some. So there's been this speculation, and maybe it's a misconception, that all APO does is it just disables the E-cores and just lets the P-cores run and do their full thing. Is, is that the way it works? Not at all. Okay, so how, how does it work then? What it is doing is it's optimizing the game's use of the resources in the processor, right? the SOC, so it can feed the graphics optimally. And how does, how does that affect? Why, why does, what's the relationship between um, the performance there and graphics? So the better that you feed the graphics, the higher the frame rate. The, long, the graphics doesn't have to wait to get the next piece of work to achieve. So we just wanted to show you how good Marcus's beards were. Beard yes, beard. That's, well, that was a really double take. Double, double take. take. We just really wanted to show you how good his beard would, his beard was. I don't know why I keep saying beard. Sorry, his <laughs> beard was. We just wanted to show you how good his beard is. And so, sorry about that. Uh, we, uh, we, it was just a nice little glitch in the system. We're fine. Everybody's live. It wouldn't be a fourteen. It wouldn't be an Intel live show with some sort of technical issue, yes. right, Sarah? Too bad you don't have the heartbeat sound right now. I know, she'll be like going out the roof. But yes. Oh, wait, Sarah hasn't responded. Sarah, can somebody check to make sure Sarah's still I'm on? Here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so a couple of things that I want to recall from the video that you guys seen. So, first of all, yes, uh, uh, this has been like we do validation for certain SKUs, and there's certain SKUs that have been validated, and that's how it was released yep. from the beginning. But we have listening to all you guys' uh, feedback and from the community and everything also. We have went in there like, all right, we haven't validated this because what we do is we have to validate this processor with this motherboard with this video card. So the amount of 
iterations of that is pretty big to make sure that it works with, right. with everything. So what we did is like, okay, we're gonna go and provide this advanced mode that it is actually uh, unlocked for every, for all the other uh, things, uh, 12th gen and 13th gen for you to actually go to use the APO, but we are not promising you that it is gonna, you know, we don't know if it's gonna actually give you some uh, performance upgrade or anything okay. like that, because we don't know, we haven't tested. And, and understand, guys, you should you could check out more. We'll actually get a link uh, that we tell you to go check out APO. You can see what games are actually supported. This is, I mean, and, and the boost in some of these cases can actually be pretty significant, right? Yes, yes. Which is actually pretty crazy. So it's worth checking out, especially, and again, the, the, you can try it on all, yeah, right? Yeah, all. all the way to 12th gen, but for sure on the K, the KS, and those one, the 14900s, yeah, you're, the, you're basically, you, we validated that essentially. Exactly, works. so the 14th gen is completely validated. Yep. The previous gens, uh, it's open for them, uh, for, well, for you guys to, to play with it. So a couple of things you need to do is like, first, from the BIOS, you should get that. It's I think, treated as a BIOS kind of update driver that is going there and if you actually want that UI the interface you have to go to the Microsoft Store and get it from there and from there you can actually uh, launch it and you can see what games are supported and also give you the option to enable or disable uh, the games that if you want the that extra performance because what it is like we said we haven't tested 12th or 13th gen so we don't know how's it gonna perform so if you're having for some reason a performance hit is like oh maybe I just want to disable it yep. you can actually go do, do that. so again this is definitely something you should definitely check out it's worth going especially if you have an Intel CPU 12th 13th and 14th gen 14th gen you're covered it'll tell you what games are there so it's worth checking out go to the Microsoft Store good thing there's now not a local retail store and the online store they're talking about the Microsoft yeah. store the Windows store uh, for those who are looking for it and download the app. Now we have a second yes, part of this video, of the video and I promise we'll only play this one once. We were playing the first one twice to so get you prepped for the second video we're going to play once. Have that be inside of your brain. Yeah, we're going to make sure you guys were paying attention so we can see at least half of the chat was actually paying attention. So that's a good thing. Yes, I, we were just literally it was a test just to make sure that we weren't filled with a bunch of bots. We were just seeing. We were worried that you guys were AI and literally we hit yeah, we had we had we, you have all ascended. But luckily we know you're fine and you guys are like I want to win a PC uh, so yeah we're, we're good um, okay so let's watch the second one and then guys after that we're gonna start jumping in start doing some building and we're gonna get to the fun part here in a sec we just want to make sure that you guys understand it. as we're building the system giving you framework for why we made decisions on parts and everything else at the same time so what what are we looking at in the next video so the next video we're gonna look at some different things that actually some extra perf uh, well not performance but some extra things that you will gain from using the APO that you know it doesn't come to mind right off right off the bat because the first thing is like oh performance threat scheduling optimization but there's some other stuff that actually guy and marcus are going to be touching on. cool and it's over six hours just kidding it's a little bit it's not that long guys we're going to go and jump to that so jump into that video right now so we've talked a lot about the performance benefits uh for apo in terms of more frames per second are there any other ancillary benefits to apo it turns out that there are uh, specifically in some cases there's a power reduction so as I mentioned earlier, what we're doing with Intel application optimization is to optimize the use of processor resources. And in some cases, processor resources could be um, wasted by applications who are not optimally coded. And so in this case, when we optimize those applications, we get a reduction uh, in that wasted work as well as the performance upside. So in some cases, we actually get higher frames per second and lower power. That's pretty cool. Uh, is it even significant enough to influence the thermal characteristics so the processor can maintain a higher frequency for longer? For sure. That's right. That's a part. It's like a combination benefit. Yeah, I remember our conversation on Turbo. So that's that's where that came from. Right. So we get the optimization um, benefit from optim optimizing the software. That reduces the power and that allows higher frequency. All right. So that's a. Uh... Guy Thier and Marcus Yam, they were having a great conversation. Actually, we have a complete, if, we, if you want to see a, the complete video of this, you can find it actually on the Intel uh, Technology YouTube channel. We have there the whole interview there with Marcus and Guy talking about APO. And so if you have any questions, go in there, put the comments, or actually come over here to the chat and uh, provide this question. We'll have a great conversation. But I hear now that we're actually, we're going to go with uh, Josh and Nene to start the build. So let me throw it back down there where you guys are. So let's start this amazing uh, custom loop water build with the KS. All right, so, um, yeah. are you excited to get started on this? I am. I'm always excited to start a new build. Yes, indeed. So, uh, we should, of course, start with the motherboard. So we have the uh, Asus ROG Maximus Z790 here. So, let's 
get it out of the box. I always love unboxing motherboards. I think you? your favorite part is actually taking the plastic off. Ah, yeah, and that, I mean, I think I think everybody likes taking the plastic let me, off. Let me zoom in for our folks at home because <sighs> yes. they they deserve to see this. Let's pop that on there. There we go. How's that looking? All right, should we do the peels first? We probably should. Yeah, we could do the peels. Ah, here we go. Ooh, Ooh, look, yeah, at look at that. Now you're not allowed to touch it. There can't be any fingerprints on there. That's going to be we really will check difficult. At the end of the build. I think it's just that well. one. Yep. I, I must say, this is quite a stealthy looking board, isn't it? It is. In I don't black. think we've actually had a motherboard that has kind of like a screen on the side, other than um, the one we had from MSI recently. Yes. So, this yeah, nice. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see this uh, all hooked up. Um, but we're actually doing kind of like a, it's going to be like a panda themed build. Yeah, a black and white theme, actually. Which yeah. uh, I actually prefer black and white built. Well, that's yeah, because we my gaming setup is all black and white and futuristic. So anything that's ever built black and white will always work in my setup. So yeah, I we, like we were having a discussion recently about like whether you should match all of your components. And, yeah. and you guys should let us know in the chat what you think. Do you think you should go with all black components? Or do you think it should be all white components and they should all match? Or do you like mix, mix and match in the different colors? I'm actually curious about that. Yeah, because yeah, we did it recently uh, in uh, another water gold build and it actually turned out really good. So. Black. See, yes. They said black, black. Oh, out. yeah. See, yeah, I think a lot of people prefer doing black builds, but I like white builds. It actually surprised me because I was having a conversation with, uh, with someone a little while back about how popular white components are. And I, I thought like it was kind of like a 50-50 thing. It's not. But there's a, it's actually quite a small percentage yeah. of people like the all white components. Um, but I think we should start by installing the star of the show, which the is of course the Intel Core i9-14900KS special edition. <laughs> now I think we should probably talk about if we would use this ourselves. Now, yes. let me just give an example of what Josh is like at home for people that know. know. Anytime we ever get new things or get the best of the best, power. this I man right power. here takes it. I feel like I always get the slim pickings when it comes to <laughs> the performance gain of the PCs. I might have the most aesthetic looking PC yeah, set yeah, up, yeah, but yeah. this man always steals it, so. Just just as it should be, you know? I need I need all the power in the world. We've got <laughs> we've got a lot of editing and stuff to do. We now, do. I actually have the 4900K, the regular one, mm -hmm. in my setup at home. So, uh, I, I'm actually, I'm thinking whether they they will miss this if I was to, you know, just slip it in my pocket towards the end of the stream. Oh and, no! Uh, just just swap that out for my one at home. So yeah, you can see here we have the uh, 4900KS. Let's get a, a nice close up on that. We'll uh, flip it round as well so you can see all the the nice all the nice gold stuff mm. on the back. And uh, yeah, this is. I mean, it feels kind of cool, you know, holding so much power i was gonna say you have all the power package. in your hand right now just don't break it <laughs> i do I'm, I'm feeling like i uh, i need this for my my new system so uh we will take this off now something we are going to be doing don't drop it <laughs> <laughs> something we are going to be doing is uh, actually installing a contact frame so we need to remove this first of all and then we can get this installed. Now, what this helps is to kind of just increase the surface area, because of course, there is a the little bit of chance of bending mm -hmm. when we tighten everything down. So by using this contact frame, make sure that we get nice flat surface. That way, when you put your heat sink on, uh, you've got, yeah, nice overall surface you area. You use one of these in your own personal build, don't you? I do, yes. Mm -hmm. it, it does make a very, very noticeable difference to temps. And it's not even that expensive either. I think that was like $10 or something. Um, so yeah, definitely an upgrade worth doing. If you go in with a, uh, a chip like this, that, that just make sure you got all the headroom you need and uh, so you can get maximum performance. So we uh, will take that off mm -hmm. and then we need to put our CPU in. So maybe you can do that for us, Nate. Oh, wow, yeah, nice. There you go. Thank you. Chat's probably like, she's gonna I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of chippy in the chat. Oh, does everyone love chippy? Yeah, everyone loves chippy. <laughs> All right, looking good. So we'll line this up, and then we can put our screws back in. Now, hopefully, the back plate is still where it should be. It should be. Yes. It even comes with this uh, this little tool as well, because of course you have the, the little star-shaped mm -hmm. screws. 
And important thing to remember with these as well is always use this upright because you really don't want to over torque this. It needs to be tight enough so that it's obviously going to be snug. But yeah, you don't want to be cranking it all the way down. So yeah, just a little I feel like tip there to be out there careful. That would be doing that, so. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, that's that's how all instructions are made, isn't it? Yeah. It's by making well, most mistakes. Most people don't read the instructions. Yeah. See, that's where we have a little bit of a. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Me, me and Nay, like I'm always the the person oh, God, that reads the instructions. Oh no. And ne I've seen. I've literally seen Nay throw the instructions away, <laughs> and then I have to go and grab them. I'm like. No, we need this. Listen, there's a good dynamic going on in our in our yeah, marriage. It's a very marriage. good balance, you know. I'm kind of you level have headed. Kind of it's like that I miss out on. Maybe we should do this. Yes, we're a good team. Okay. Okay, so that's all. All right, now good. that you've done um, spilling all my tea to the world, let's install <laughs> the ram. Excellent. Okay. Now, like I said earlier, we have this ram at home. I, I really like this ram. We've used it in a lot of builds. Yes, yeah, so we've got 32 gigabytes of uh, Kingston Fury Renegade. If I can get this open. <sighs> now, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I've always said that the most difficult thing of building a PC is just keeping the whole, like, workspace tidy. Yes, I can't get that. Because it's always chaos within, like, five can seconds. You, can you get that? Oh, well, this is the difficult part, isn't it? For the hardest part of building the PC. Lifting up the plastic. What is it? It's 2024, and they've, there's still not a better way than, than what do they call it? Blister packaging, I believe. It's like it. Oh, wait. No, it's Does just it a lid. Up? I've got it. <laughs> don't blister worry. Blister packaging. Oh, my God. Is that a British thing, maybe? Listen, Roby, don't laugh at us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got our slots. All right, Can yeah. We're there. all ready to rock and roll. Let me see. You guys can see on top then, which can. All Excellent. Right. And yeah, for those of you wondering, we are using the Asus ROG Maximus Z790. So yeah, I got some really, uh, really good specs on this. Got Wi-Fi 6E, PCIe 5.0, and uh, DDR5 support. And ah, with make that sure said, your RAM is always seated properly because oh, I've had yes. some problems in the past as well of RAM not being seated properly, but. Yeah, uh, I, I've always had the issue where you, you try and boot your PC and it's like, it, there's just no output. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of 10, it it's is the RAM. the RAM not being seated correctly. So um, I, I'm actually hoping today we, we have plenty of room, you know, with all the tubes to, to be able to access it if we need to. Yes, yes, Which I, th yes. I think we should. I, actually, I think, we, I think we will. Yes. All right, we need a screwdriver because we need to put our M.2s in. Yes, we do. So, where did we put that? Yes, here are our M.2s. You want to tell them about those? Yeah, so we are using, have two here. I believe, three terabytes in this build Altogether, today. Altogether, yes. All right, so uh, plenty of uh, room for lots of games and whatever your heart desires to download on your PC. And I'm, I'm actually curious, what what do you guys use as your boot drive? Because I'm always the kind of guy that goes for like a one terabyte as my boot drive, and then I'll have maybe like a two or a four terabyte for games. I'm, I'm one of those people yeah, that I likes to, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. this is OS, this is for gaming. What about you? I, I mean, you just set up my PC. I do, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've I feel seen like her I have just... no say in any of the performance or anything, because like it's just like it's ready to go. <laughs> I've, I've set it, I've set it all up. It's ready to rock and roll. I need a screwdriver. Oh, you do. Let me you grab you. You want me to unscrew it with my fingernail? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So you actually have a multitude of uh, of M.2 slots in here. Yeah, this is a really nice motherboard. And I believe this uh, actually has the quick releases as well. See, chat sees four terabytes for games. I have a four terabyte. terabyte for games, yep. I also have like another 40 terabytes, but that's for like footage and stuff like that. God, eight terabyte Roby has. Wow. Eight terabytes, oh. Yeah, Ro Roby's the, uh, the the big spender PC builder. He's got, yeah. he's got literally everything. <laughs> All right. Would we be able to get that in there? It's looking good. And that's oh, it's the got the nice right. little clippy clips. Yeah, which I, I really like. They've only been doing them, what, in the last couple years, maybe? What'd you do with the thing? Ah, that is right here. We will take this off. Oh, yeah. For the folks at home, make sure you always take off your plastic here. Yes. I, I've definitely never forgotten to do that before. Yes. Mm. I think everybody's done that at least once. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, it's not as bad as, like, forgetting to take the, the peely off the CPU, but... 
you know. I believe it went this way, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, some new motherboards actually even come with the, uh, they're like quick release. You don't even need I a screwdriver at all. I love the quick release. Those are fantastic. Yeah, which I think makes God. a lot of sense. When we do our PC build time lapses with those quick releases, we're able to put these in so fast, and then we don't have to shoot the clips like freaking four times. Yeah. You know how difficult it is to try and put in screws seamlessly all in one motion without messing up while you're filming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that's something in our time lapses. We sometimes will literally do 20 takes. Yeah because yeah. we like everything to look smooth like to me you know you just uh, you'll like make a mistake or hit something like yeah. oh no we've got to redo that again all right all let's right. take our second one off and i believe we are using this one this is yes. slot number two so let's uh, pop that forward a little bit try and peel that off and do you want to unbox this other one while we do that oh you've, you've already done it you're a step ahead of me I, where did it go I, that's actually a good question. Oh, it's her. Uh, <laughs> it's hiding. under your box. It's your fault. They're so easy to lose. Oh, be careful. You don't want to take the paste off of uh, the pad. Yes. There we go. Let's get that in there. Mm -hmm. I was actually wondering one time as well with uh, like M.2 drives. It's such a small component, isn't it? Yeah. Like imagine how many of those you could stack. And like what do you, you, mean? you could have like a hundred of those and it would only take up this much space. And like think how much money that would be. Yeah, they are expensive. Yeah. They are. Yeah, you're right. All right. Maybe they should just switch up. to M.2s as the new the new currency to save oh space on God. paper. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, it we... looks like we may have had someone uh, already win a chippy. Someone won a chippy? I am jealous. I don't even have we a chippy at home. We don't even have a chippy. Nope. Yeah. We'll have to do something about that, I think. Yeah, all right, I think that's everything on We are looking good, yeah. Board. So this is where we kind of start to get into the water cooling. Yep, yep, um, yep. There's, there's not gonna be any water just yet, but we have this from EK. So this is the EK Quantum Velocity 2. And we are gonna be installing this onto our CPU. Yeah, so this is the first time that I've actually used EK's stuff. Typically I've used uh, thermal takes, Bits Power, uh, Primo Chill, you know, but everyone always loves the EK, so we thought for this build we would try out their stuff. And that's actually really nice. Yeah, so let's, let's get it out of the box and show you guys, because it's actually a really, really cool design. Oh yeah, that's right. This, yeah. is, that, this is wicked. This is yeah. probably one of the coolest blocks that I've seen in any build that we have done. All right. Look at that. Take that out. Yes. All right. Cool. So, um, yeah, this is the the block. So, actually, a really cool design. How cool is that, guys? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, because normally EK stuff is like it's very sleek, isn't it? Yeah. But this is like one of those kind of designs that's a little bit more out there. So, yeah, let us know what you guys think of this one in the chat. I'm curious to see. You said you, you might think. take home the the CPU. I might have to stack. That in my bag. Take that with me. Yeah, Nate, Nate you just love your water cooling. Listen, I've you? got a whole section dedicated to all my water cooling parts and stuff. And yes, we uh, <laughs> <laughs> we must remember we to take. We off don't this need the, to ro rob Roby Tech, but. <laughs> It's all right, we've been planning this for months. <laughs> Little did he know that we were planning this. <laughs> okay, so a um, couple of components to this. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually very simple, um, even versus like an AIO. So yep. um, this is just two components. Let me move this back a little bit. So this goes on the back, and then you've got this one right here that just goes on the front. And yeah, you basically, you actually tighten it from the back, which is interesting, because normally you guys are probably used to screwing stuff in from the front. Uh, but yeah, should we get this put on? Yeah. Cool. So I noticed we... someone in the chat had said that they don't trust themselves with water cooling. Now, my question is why? Is it because you're scared to get water near your components? I'm actually curious about this answer because I had a conversation with another fellow water cool builder and they didn't think it was that people were scared to get water by their parts. They just thought it would probably be because it was a little bit more difficult to put the parts together. Yeah, like, Nay, Nay has actually done more water cooling than me. I tend to, I'm, I'm the one behind the camera, you know? So, but- Your I, moral support. Yes, but I, I watch from the sidelines and have uh, actually learned quite a lot. Cause you learned water cooling from your my, dad. My dad. Yep, yes. my dad is the one that got me into it. I remember when he started doing his water cool builds and- Grab some paste for this. Oh yeah, oh wait, this, this one? Oh, wait, where did you get that from? I was hiding it. I was try I was looking for that earlier and you, you've stolen it. But um, we'll go with this. I don't think we're going to need the whole tube. 
But um, let, let's see. We're going to we? paint you all a beautiful picture right now. Yes. Now we want to make sure that we get a good amount of paste on here because you know, like we said earlier, it is a hot chip. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly, thoroughly. That's, like, a, that's a difficult one. Can I say it? Ever since I've gotten thoroughly. my braces off, it's really hard for me to say certain yes. words. Yes, you want to paste it really well. We, we always have conversations as well. It's always fun uh, between the British and the US oh, accent. Oh gosh, yes. Josh has uh, started to incorporate some American words into his his daily use of vocabulary. Yes. But most of the time it's still his British British friends. But it's always fun hearing the pronunci pronunciations and I'm like, wait, how do you say this? What's, what's one of those words? What? Ooh, we, what uh, about like when you go to the shop? Oh yeah, I, I say I say shop, and yeah. you would say store. store. Uh, oh, I say tomato. You say you say tomato. Yeah, and rubbish as well. Rubbish. Every time I say rubbish, you, you always the, think oh, I'm what's making the one a that I've reference been saying to saying a lot. That I've well, it starts with P. You need a little bit more of this. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna need a lot. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. I barely have finished painting my picture. There we go. Let's give that a go. Oh wow, that. Yeah, That's not bad. You can never really use too much thermal paint. I mean, you can, there's, uh, within reason, but yeah, I just want to make sure everything is nice and covered. Yeah, someone says, whoa, that's a lot of thermal paste. Don't worry, guys, it's going to be fine. Here, you want to finish your <laughs> picture? Wait, is this... Yes. Yeah, the contact frame does help with that, so... Yeah, it doesn't go absolutely everywhere. Yeah, someone says they've uh, they've seen a YouTube video where they use the whole tube. I can't think of which The whole tube? Would be, but no. Wow. I know what you're talking about. All right, how are we looking on the thermal face? Do we I've got one little last... Nearly there? I don't think we're going to need any more than that. Corner over here, I'm trying to... I actually thought this was a whole tube, but it, it's, it wasn't. It was just a little bit of a tube. Um, yeah, okay. Let's have a look. Okay. You trust us? <laughs> Thermal paste is uh, one of those things as well, where you, you always have a bunch of the tubes just lying around. I think that looks pretty but good. But most of them are empty. Let me do that little here. It's interesting. Sometimes when we're at home, we do like the smiley face method, or we'll do the four corners method. <laughs> the smiley face? Is that an actual method? The no. smiley face method. That doesn't sound very legit. <laughs> All right, so we are going to put this on here. And like I said, the interesting thing about this is that you actually have to tighten it from the back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a slightly interesting thing up? with the, the EK blocks. Let me grab a paper towel. I will All help right. you. And then we're going to tighten these up. Now, again, these don't have to be tightened like mega, mega tight. You just want to make sure they're on there, which I think. Yeah, we are threaded. We're all good. Cool. Even the back of this motherboard is nice. Wow, I hadn't even seen it. It's not got a nice little back plate here with some design. Yeah, it is very nice. All right, let's grab our little hex tool. We can leave that just there for now. I Might want to give it a one. little extra tighten. Yep. Just to be secure. Yeah, I usually go finger tightness first and then just go from corner to corner with the, <laughs> uh, the hex wrench, make sure it's all Nice and tightened down, nice and secure. Feel good? Yeah, it's feeling feeling good. Hey. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Roby says I have great hands. You know, That's lots like... of people. Oh, thank uh, you. It's Josh, you that have great uh, yeah. hands. Okay. You did you did say that, although Nay is often the hand model <laughs> in, in our YouTube video. So if we ever have oh any unboxings God. and we need something doing, I'm like, Nay. You've got your nice nails, you know? This is true. Nice we usually hands. do get lots of comments on our YouTube videos. Wow, those are some nice fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird, but funny. Yeah, you could. someone said professional hand models. Oh my god. I think you could have been one. I don't know. I but. cut myself with a knife on my finger. I think it, it kind of took me out of the running for being a hand model. <laughs> Yeah, is that actually a thing? They won't have you they if you've are... got scars. Yeah, no, no. Wow. You have to have like perfect. I feel like notes. they could just photoshop. Oh, look at, look at chat. I don't know if you can see this, <laughs> but we've already gotten our fingerprints all over the motherboard. So earlier you were like, oh, oh no, so disaster. We'll have to clean that up. I don't but... even think we brought a microfiber down here. So oh, yeah. No. I've just, I've just noticed uh, UFD tech is in the chat. UFD. 
we we got we need to taste that coffee, don't we? Yes. Yes. Oh, he yes. U of D Tech sent us uh, the coffee. Yeah. And we uh we we have it on our kitchen counter actually at home, so we will definitely. It's waiting try to it. be brewed when yes. I get back, so I, I'm definitely gonna let you know how that is. <laughs> so. I think we I think are looking good. pretty good. Yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the CPU in the most important part of this build. We've got the RAM. We've got the M.2s, and we've also got. Just need to wipe it and clean it this. up. But I think right yeah. now we can head back up to uh, Roby. Yes, and we'll see you guys shortly. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? We are back, and now it is our turn. So we are going to be. Uh, so they are doing a custom water cool build. Remember, with the KS, you have two different kind of approaches that we're doing today. We have the build that is essentially for the custom water cool enthusiast who really wants to push it that way. And then we're going to show you guys how to push it if you don't want to do custom water cooling. We saw a couple of people who were like, hey, uh, you know, I don't yeah. want to, like, I don't want to, basically, I'm a little scared to put water. Feel I don't want to have water. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a gremlin, and if you get water on me, I turn into, like, oh, no, I'm a mogwai. I'm not I'm a, a warlock. Oh. It will just, like, yeah, yeah, melt yeah, yeah, and yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, sort of things. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we are going to be, uh, we are going to be showing you guys a system that's the opposite. In fact, Josh, can we just bring up the parts list real quick? We're just going to go through what we're going to be putting in our build again here. So we're going to be putting in the Intel Core i9-14900KS, the Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi. How much, what, what do we have storage? We got three terabytes of- Yeah, three terabytes of storage. Yeah, we got- 600 yeah. Yeah, and we missed, so we have three terabytes of storage. We have split them into two. We have uh, the Corsair, uh, don't matter, uh, what? The Dominator oh, no, Titanium. The Corsair the Dominator Titanium Black. Uh, 32 gigabytes, so that's the render you have there, and we also have a Corsair uh, power supply. The no. custom Corsair, oh no, that is. So we have oh, a Corsair oh, 7000D a... <laughs> by Blue Earth. We made the text too small for Alex. Uh, oh we God. have the my Corsair uh, H170i uh, IQ Links. This is a 420 millimeter AIO, and then the Asus Tough 850 watt PSU. Now, popping back, somebody said, why not a 4090? So a couple reasons is that, uh, you know, when you take when you talk about the, the leap, right? Like again, we're trying to keep uh, the prices under five grand, which is super important for us to be able to do the giveaway. So yep. that's one of the reasons for a forty. Uh, no, why not a forty nine? And the other thing too is that the price. Like when we thought about um, the price, like again, the the leap in terms of the jump between a forty eighty super and a forty ninety. This is like we're trying to give something that's a little bit more ideal that still uses that CPU exactly. at 1440p or if you wanted to jump to 4K. So that's what we did. So, but guys, this PC was actually custom designed by Blue Horse Studio. Incredible, incredible design. And you guys are gonna really look at it. But let's, let's start our building. Let's jump to our top down here. And our top down's actually, I think, a little bit cooler because we can zoom in way closer and all that sort of, yeah, we're like getting fighting. Well, look at how much, see, look at how, look at how much we can zoom. You guys. see, now, now I'm a little uh, self-aware of my hands since yeah. the chat yeah. the other day kind of made know, fun of my- Look at our hands, like put your hands up there. Look at that, those are, look at that. That's professional hand models hand right models. there. Like, you know look what I mean? That. Look at that. Oh, oh so my sexy. Guys, those are incredible. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start getting out. So let's we'll start with the CPU. I think you, sir, should be able to oh. unbox the CPU. Oh, right. So there we go. And just so people know, it's funny, because I know you guys got to see Josh and Nay open this but this thing right here that's a wafer yes sir it's a, a wafer right here so what it is is pretty much this is how uh processors i made so this is the actual die that is under the uh, the heat spreader the ihs so i'll show it to you in a second so each one of these little squares is one processor so then this go through a laser cutter and the fab and then just piece them out so this is a beautiful beautiful wafer now understand if you try to do this uh with that one it would not be a processor that's that's just plastic <laughs> Yeah, that one. Oh, happen. let me get the zoom. Let's show them the zoom in here. Let's, the zoom, let's zoom get, capabilities. Let's go real zoom. There you go. Uh, like you uh, can uh, even uh, see the uh, words in there if you wanted to. You know what I mean? Like there we go. From there. Yeah. So and look at that. Let me go over the roaming camera over here so we can just show you guys. Here it is. Brian, Brian, showing it like so you can get that. There it is in the packaging. Ooh. And that's it for today's show. We're no, I'm just Thank kidding. You guys. No, no we're, well, we're gonna we're gonna get it built and all that sort of stuff. So there it is. So let's get it socketed. Let's see how you can do with your socketing. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Get out this my beautiful hand. tough. No, I'm not. Well, I'm gonna hold your hand, of course, right? But <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this out and just get this ready. So one thing I always say about building PCs, guys, is use your motherboard box to store all your extra stuff. Oh, we'll put it over here. I got, I got room for it. Got That's right. He's never he's never done these PC builds before with me. Yo. This is all a new experience for him. Hey, okay, so here we go. Unlock, and then we'll go to our top down here. 
at this beautiful model. Oh yeah, it is. It's a, it's it's it's. Oh look at that. The uh, the little thing came up. That's okay. Oh. If you want to go and pop the CPU in there, and then we'll we'll put in our contact frame. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah go, go to top. Right. There we go. Look at it. Right there. Look at how close that is. Look. Now, oh, 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 oh. let's do this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we gotta. Oh, yeah, oh, we, we gotta see. To we're gonna see if it can pop off. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna pop this in here. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you. I'll open that up for you. We're gonna look at us tag teaming. We're tag teaming. There you go. And just so you guys know, we have tested five KSs. Okay, so here now you're gonna hold it there. Yep, and then oh, oh. it didn't do it. Uh, uh, uh. it. We were trying to see. Sometimes so you can get those things like to fly. fly. Yeah. Like they can fly so far. All right. Oh, oh, don't do that. No, because we're gonna put the contact frame on. No, oh, so you just want. I thought yeah, you so just yeah, want to see so we're it just pop. Put, yeah, we just want to see if it would pop, but it doesn't pop. Okay. And these are like gold, by the yes. way. Yes. So that's why I'm taking it. <laughs> Keep that. Those are hard to come yeah, by. Yeah, those are hard to come by. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our contact frame, and we are going to. Here we go. So if you want to take off these. Yeah, I'll take it off. Uh, you have the, the hex. There's a hex thing right there. Well, thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Well, we don't we don't have a we have the dad jokes. We don't have the nice accents. Oh, we do. Or the... We have dad jokes. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. Here's the dad joke, guys. I need my horse mayo. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the dad jokes. We got all that stuff. Yeah, we got the tough. So we're we uh we partnered obviously when we uh when we do some of these things we partner with people like ASUS. We have Corsair. Uh, EK, uh, who are also a large part of actually helping pull off this incredible stream that you guys are watching right now. Um, and so what you're seeing is some of those parts. So again, huge shout out to ASUS and obviously Corsair and EK for hooking us up with uh, all the different parts. And we're showing you like, again, one of the things that I love to do and why, some of the reasons why sometimes I use Tough is a lot of people think, oh, for your motherboard, like you have to buy ASUS ROG or whatever it was. And that's a lot of times, that's actually not true. These boards actually have the same performance, same VRM, all that stuff. And you'll actually see when we get to the, the bench testing of it that we'll actually end up pulling a pretty substantial, pretty substantial, uh, and if you want to go and pop those in, uh, we'll end up pulling a pretty substantial uh, Cinebench score uh, with a tough board as well, right? So, uh, and so you don't, you don't necessarily need to spend the money uh, on these individual components. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, to go above and beyond, even when you're using some of the highest end stuff, that there, se there can be some options for aesthetics if you want to do it, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, Icy Sniper, yeah, Braythorn, uh, which, hi, Bray, it's good to see you. We always love Bray. He's a, he's, a, he's a friend of the show, and so it's always good to see him. We saw a UFD tech hanging out. Yeah. We have with their, with, I mean, honestly, some incredible stuff he does with Syngap, and, uh, you know, they're talking about that, uh, the coffee, the coffee. which, have which I it? have not drank, because I'm actually more of a milk guy that tastes lightly flavored of coffee, um, but I have heard that it's actually pretty good. I, got, I um, was lucky, and I got some of their coffee, and it's pretty good. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, and it it's is. also for a great cause, yeah. too. And do you know what Tough stands for? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what Tough stands for? Pastor, D I mean, we got Damien in the thing who's going to pull out some knowledge here here in a minute. But what do we? What do we? What do we know? Does anybody know what Tough stands for? Yes, the ultimate force. A lot of people think it just means strong, but no, it actually means the, the ultimate, ultimate force. force. So it's actually uh, not what people think for. Okay, so the question that we have, and this is you. We you've never got to build a PC with me. No. It's How first loud? Time. Do you think the RAM clicks are going to be on a scale of 92 to 103 decibels? I think it's going to be around 134. What? That's not even. That's not even human. Like that would cr that would crush our ears. That's so loud. So Wait, yeah. we got a, we, we have we have a you know the, the, we were watching earlier uh, Nene and Josh and we were so entertained and they were doing such a great job. Both Robbie and I were like, this is this is great. This is actually very entertaining. I mean, honestly, they may want to get some counseling, but I mean, like outside yeah, of that, outside like, of that, I mean, yeah. So what do you think? We you think we're gonna make it because we're gonna let people guess. Do you think 93, 94, 97 decibels, 99 decibels? That's How loud do you think the clicks are going to be? I think it's going to be around 94. 94. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going to go to top down here. We're going to grab our decibel meter. We're going to let you... I'm going to show you how to do the click. Okay. Like, you've ever, okay. I'm going to show right. you the technique, and then we're going to zoom out a bit. Do, do you have second. to, like, yeah, you, from, you, from your legs? 
Yeah, you you, you want to you want to feel it in your diaphragm. Like okay. that's really important, right? You want to. Okay, so here we go. We you can see our decibel meter right there. So we're going from there, uh, and then uh, what we're gonna do? I don't know why I'm going over there to it's go. It's currently at around 80. It's on around average. 80. Okay. Oh, you guys can see it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, they can see. Yeah, they actually <laughs> see it on the screen. That way, they know we're not lying. They don't trust us at all. You know what I mean? Okay, I wouldn't so we, trust me so either. So this is Dominator Titanium. This stuff is crazy tall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this. We're gonna pop it in here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the technique to get the the click. The, the, the click. click. So you go from here like that. And you're gonna do both sides. And you're just going to do a solid. That was 92.9. 92.9. All right. Okay. So we said it was going to be like 94. Okay. So we're going to. You were saying 94. Now I'm just going to test this real quick. You guys. You guys ready? Here we go. Click. Oh yeah. So it works. 130. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, it definitely. It definitely goes loud enough. For uh, it to get <laughs> somebody who's like with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> RIP headphone users. We just killed our whole team here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay, here, I'm going to make sure that you, they can see it off with the While you set the stance. Yeah, you want to do like the that. stance. Double, double, there you go. 95. 95. Yes. Okay. See, so 95. So you got it. It's yeah. all on the leg. He actually like I want to. So can we go to the front cam here for a minute? I just want to show you the way that he was positioned when he did this. So he literally went like this, and then he leaped, and then pushed in while at the same time he had his 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 actual foot on top of his head, also creating additional pressure. It was an incredible human feat of- I wish you would have seen it. it was, I, I mean, it was, it was awesome. It I mean, was I have never seen a, a human body tweak that way. It may be why he, he had hurted his bicep. Yeah, that's probably why. It's it like, was, because I was like, what so kind of it flexibility? <laughs> you know what I mean? And again, with those, with our better hand modeling than uh, Nay and Josh, I'm just saying. I know. It's I'm just whole, saying. We, we, we should give him like a Ferrari. We should. We should. I mean, again, Ferrari, if you need some hand models. Exactly. I mean, we're, we're, we're here different. for you. We're different. Yeah. No, on the car. <laughs> on the Nay car. And Josh. They're like, they're like, we can hear them. We're talking between each other. I know you guys can't, but it's pretty funny, the banter between the two of us. Okay, so now we've got contact frame in. We've got, we need to put M.2. So we're going to put one M.2 here at the top, and, and then we're going to put another one down there. there. So let me get you, if you want to pull Ooh. the iFixit kit there. The, no, lovely iFixit kit. Okay, here we go. I fixed it. Just Jay's two cents. And so, guess, for people asking, people are, like, wondering, hey, what are the RAM specs? It's 6,600 mega transfer, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. Um, and uh, so that's what we, uh, we have put inside of... Uh, this beast of a PC. And then we are using MP600 Elite NVMe storages, um, one terabyte and two terabyte of that. So, yeah, we're hand model test drivers, exactly. I just feel like, you know what, we, it, when, it's our next potential future. What's up? I, I'm I know. Sorry, I, got, I, got, I got a little excited. Okay, it let's zoom in. So, so, and she can show it there. There we go. Let's zoom in. Okay, go ahead and bring in that frame that up a little bit. So you're, oh yeah, you're good. Okay, look at that. Look at that, look at that quick latch. Okay, so, so this those is... quick latches are amazing. So back in the day, you didn't have a quick latch. You had a really, really, really small Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> yes, so here we go. We're gonna zoom in on that, show them a little quick latch in. Look at the hand modeling on that. I mean, it's just... So, sorry, I, I forgot to moisturize today. I really hope today. that Josh and Nay are watching this because we are literally, we're showing them how it's done. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so next up, we're gonna go to our two terabyte. Oh yeah, don't forget to do the peel. That was a good call. Yeah. And they reminded us that uh, we need to peel the thermal pads. So Make sure you don't peel the yeah. pad with it. Yeah. So guys, those of you in the chat, we're coming up on 8,000 people watching right now. We just wanna say like, are you guys enjoying the show? Is there stuff that you wish that we were showing more of? And if oh, you no. say Josh and Nay, I'm gonna be actually really sad. But um, I'm just curious, like are you guys enjoying the show, enjoying the builds? Hopefully we're giving you guys a little bit of everything. That was a good peel, dude. Except for the part where you got it <laughs> stuck to your hand. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna go to top down. We're gonna zoom out a little bit there for you guys. There we go. Okay. He's, look at, I mean, you, you're you literally, you know what maneuver you just did, Alex? What did I do? It's called duck butt. So like <laughs> you literally, you get your butt out, 
and then you literally, so it's just, it's the perfect M.2 slot. And again, if you go to front cam here, again, what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that the posterior is just out in a good, in a good position. You really want that good vertical movement here. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, like, if you're looking for the optimal M.2, I wanna see it in chat so you guys can hear me, duck butt. It's just, it's bend at the knees, duck butt. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go, good. I'm just making sure you guys go in there, so. Okay, need more hands and more squats. That's right. We, uh, uh, the thing is, is we're squatting for charity. I don't, actually, that sounds <laughs> terrible. We're not gonna do that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit more so we can see that bottom one here. And there we go, right there. Okay, cool. So we're zoomed out here. We're going for the big so one. So now we're going for the two terabytes, which means you need to do twice the presses, right? Remember? I mean, come on, here we go. Hans, Franz, Doc Watts. Oh. Oh, there we go. Two, two terabytes of storage ready <laughs> yeah. to install. Yeah. Okay, you put it in, I'll do the squats. One, two, there we go. Oh, can't oh, hold it. Can't it. hold it. Burn oh, it. No, it burns. It doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. <laughs> I'm going to pump you up. Good job, Hots. Okay. Thank you, Man, that is probably the most calories I've ever burned <laughs> while putting it in a duct tube. I'm just saying. We're here to pump you up, guys. So there we go. Okay. So um, we are now peeling our, man, I'm really tired. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> wow. We'll be right back we'll after be this right short back messages. We'll be right back after this six hour stream break. Um, so yeah, here we go, we're jumping in and uh, he's just doing the peel here. Try not to. You're struggling with this, sir. I don't have. Yeah, I, I mean, luckily, I, I should luckily not Nate my and Josh didn't do it any better. So we're not, nobody's, nobody's hating on us right now, but. Yeah, our foreheads are glistening. That is be, that is called the KS Glisten. You know what I mean? The KS Glow. The KS Glow Up. I love it. That is called the KS Glow Up, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a that is by the way that is trademarked by Intel 2020. I'm I'm, I'm curious. What does Sarah think of how crazy she's like? We are never putting she, Alex think... and Roby in the same studio again. Am I right, Sarah? It seems a little dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> This is this has gone a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was already at the ER. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there we go. We got it in. Okay, so Ooh. guys, now is a big moment. I want you guys to see because we're gonna be we're so we're a little bit different. You guys got to see Nay and Josh install their water block and all that sort of stuff. But what we gonna do is put in our bracket for. The AIO. And this oh, is a yeah. beastly, beastly AIO. This is a 420 millimeter LCD. Now, I have a song. Ready? Oh, you have a song? Yeah, here it goes. Ready? Justin Roby had a show. E -I -E -I -O. A no, it's oh, AIO. Yeah. Oh, sorry. A -I -A -I -O. A -I -A -I -O. And on this show, he builds PCs. AIO. With a, I forgot the rest of the song, but anyway, point being, <laughs> hey, I, I, oh, the yeah, that is gonna be stuck in your head forever. And the CPU You're welcome. There. Yeah, so uh, KS here and a KS, KS there. Here, KS, there, there we go, KS, everybody KS. Up. Yeah, there we go, all okay. Right, all right. Wait, let's go ahead and get this out there. Oh, before we do this though, we got a thermal paste, okay. Oh, oh this one has, now we're gonna put our own thermal paste on, because you know what, they were showing their thermal I paste know, spreading we technique, we gotta show our thermal paste spreading technique. Okay, so here it is. Duck butt! No, just kidding. You don't have to duck butt for this one. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna go top down. And then, oh my. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh. So we, uh, okay, for those who don't know, uh, luckily, uh, so Josh and Nay showed up uh, a couple days ago and we actually went to eat dinner at a Mexican restaurant. So let's go to main cam real quick. This is, this is worth you looking into my eyes. So I looked, so we're all having a great dinner, having a good time. There's a lot, I mean, literally Deb is eating all of the chips. Uh, and then at one point in time, I look at Josh and Nay and I say, Nay, are you guys having a good time? And she looked at me and she goes, corn tortilla. And I was like, that does not seem like the answer to any question I have asked. So now on the stream, if anything were to go wrong and you hear her say corn tortilla, that is her safe word. Yeah. So if you hear it, then you should be immediately freaked out. So you're like, something's wrong. So okay, okay. Now, we're, now back to thermal paste application, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Well, a little background of why okay, she ahead. answered yeah, corn tortilla go, is because, uh, I mean, they came from, uh, they were doing- No, there was no real reason. Let's no just keep her crazy. Leave it there? All right. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. There was no reason for her to say that. <laughs> Yeah, so we do a little bit. Now here's what we do, because we can do the, because this stuff spreads really well, you just gotta heat it up a bit. 
but then when you heat it up a bit, and Josh is not wrong, you can cover the entire, you do not, you cannot put on too much thermal paste. In fact, Linus, Jay, there's a bunch of us who've done videos on this, but yeah, I just do like more of the butter Nutella method. So you like, you get like the whole spread. Don't lick I, it. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, this is like, I'm like, this is my Bob Ross moment right here. I was gonna say happy little processors. Happy little processors, you know what I mean? Like there's, we're, no, and then, there's, there's no, there's no, and then what I like mistakes. to do is then the other part too, that's really important is you just do a little bit of like, spe look at that, you can get some like waves in there. Look at, I mean, oh my it, God. look at that. It's the what? Mona Lisa, ladies and gentlemen. We got texture. It's beautiful. I love it. Like, look at the reflection. It's, you know, yeah, look at the it's, reflection. It's like, look at! It's like smiling but serious at the same time. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. and the glare. We call look. it windswept processor. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, you're welcome. Uh, it's going to be on sale at a local gallery. Uh, yeah. $2.7 million. Exactly. If you well, first, it. it's going to go to the Louvre. For <laughs> it's going to go to the Louvre for a little <laughs> while. Okay, so if you want to find the LGA 1700 bracket in here, sir, yes, I'm going to clean off our thermal, our little, uh, our little applicator. We call it the mini spatula. It's really good for also making miniature pancakes. So what are we supposed to do with instruction, Esprit, Nene, and Josh? Do we keep them or we throw them away? I oh, no, we keep the instructions per Josh. It's, yeah, Josh was supporting us here. Like, I like I gotta say, you know what I mean? Nene's just throwing caution to the wind. You know what, like when she builds Lego, she's like, I don't even look at the instructions. I just know it in my mind. Then it's gonna just end up built. So, okay, there we go. Okay, did you find, what are you, you're taking like everything out. We All just, right. I asked you for one thing, sir. I was, I'm sorry. Okay, there. well, we found everything, everything. but we what, gotta... okay, it's, is it in there? Oh, oh. What's in here? what's in there? It's like Christmas. What do I get in here? Okay, if it's in the back here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, put this over, feel, over here. I feel it in my fingers. I feel, I feel it in my toes. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, I didn't know it was a carry oh, moment. Look, it literally says on the bag. <laughs> it says on the bag. It has the name on the bag. It I got has it. the name on the bag. Uh, you know what? Ever since you've hurt your bicep, sir, I feel like you may have hurt your ability to read. Okay, so we're going to take the sticky off. Oh, yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so it just makes, yeah, yeah, usually we're used to taking PCs apart, but this one is getting, staying together because we're giving it away. Who is stoked? to win a PC from us. I mean, I'll just let you know, who would love to win this PC? And people are asking, is it worldwide? Unfortunately, guys, it is not. It is US and US only, Sarah, or is it US and Canada? US and Canada. US and Canada. It's US and Canada. And is it true you are hand delivering it to the winner? by hand delivery, <laughs> but I think it could be specially packed. Okay, specially packaged. Uh, and then you get a hand, a drawing, a hand drawing from the overlord of Chippy with mm. like in crayon and color and, and crayon signed overlord, right? So that's a lot of power. That is, I mean, not only do you win the PC, but you also get this, this, this three to five hour mosaic that Sarah is going to be built doing in crayon. Uh, for the uh, for this as well, right? The Isn't that the amount of homework you give me after this show <laughs> is incredible? It's not homework, right? It's it's fun, right? It's uh, I wouldn't call it homework. I mean, it's research. Okay, so we want to pull these to the outer one, just so you know. But you're gonna want to pull one? these out. Yeah, you're gonna have to put it out a little bit. Okay, Man, well, I'm, I'm gonna look in the days when the outer ones were. I the, know the... it's the other way on this one. Wow, thank you very much, all of you guys. Also, for all the support, people like Riddick and uh, all of you guys, thank you very much for that. We are reading chat. Luckily, we have a number of people who are reading chat, so we don't feel like, we, sometimes we just get into to having a good time, guys. Um, and this is like literally, I think the thing that's so cool, and actually, if we can unmute Nay and Josh here, actually, if we can go to two box for Jay and Nosh here, uh, Josh here for a second. Sorry. Wow. That was actually I just, one of my nicknames. Yeah. So you're, you're yeah. good. You're good. No, but I just want to say, like, when we do stuff like this, guys, is it? It's like getting together with family, right? We're just oh, we have a good We're time. We're chilling, building We're PCs, building PCs, all that sort of stuff. And this is what this is what it is like. So a lot of times, you know, a lot of people think that this is like a uh, this is like a a singular experience, but there are massive communities. Things like Discord.gg/intel and our mm -hmm. Discords and our Instagrams and stuff like that. Great places to go and hang out and meet other like-minded people like Josh and like Nay, who, you know, you guys can, like, can have these similar build parties. Um, and uh, <laughs> Instead which, of a land party, it's a build party. It's a build party. <laughs> 
I will tell you. So I'll remember, and I think I know uh, Blue Horse and those guys are still in the in the studio or in chat. I hope. But one of the things that we got done after we did one of the the uh, Intel Creator challenges is we were like, you know what the best thing would be if we could just order a bunch of pizzas, get like oh, all yes. a bunch of PC parts, and yep. just build PCs yeah. all night. Can I? Would, let me. Can I get a raise of hands from people in chat Pizza who would love to do that? Yep. Although, with the sticky fingers and the grease, though, don't go too well with building PCs. No. No, it's an extra, it's extra no. puffing. <laughs> yeah, Braythorn, yeah, I know Braythorn. I mean, like, I know Bray would do that. Like, anybody would, like, j totally jump in on that. There's probably a couple people who are, like, nerds. But you know what? I don't care. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Wait, you think Proud we could use it. the grease from the pizza to put Yeah, I wonder if we could custom <laughs> grease cool. That seems like a really bad idea. I actually, I actually talked to Nay about that, about doing some, like, wacky water-cooled stuff. And, and you didn't think it was a good idea to put milk in your PC. Yeah, probably yeah, not. I mean, I, I you think, think it would curdle? You think it would curdle? I think it, I think it would curdle. I, I think, think it would, it would curdle for long. sure. Mm. Yeah. But I don't know. May, maybe something like lemonade. That could be. You think? It's probably not optimal. I'm being honest. Yeah, but, I don't. Um, I don't think. I don't think it's optimal. I think you're absolutely right. Exciting. I don't think it'd be. Yeah. I, I think I've seen people use toothpaste too for like. Toothpaste. To test on the on the. For or thermal paint. Oh yes, yes, yes. I've seen some weird stuff. There has been, there has been another. Yeah, it's like I think, I think somebody's right. I was looking at uh, Aries Nacho. It said it would probably end up more like buttermilk later, right? Which right? Would, I don't think would yeah. be a good thing. You know what I mean? By the time it was all said and done. But see, I've just, I've just had a fantastic prank idea. I'm, oh. I'm thinking somebody from, uh, from Roby's team could maybe. Uh, swap out the thermal paste for toothpaste sometimes. Why do you say it out no, loud? Don't... That would be a great idea. <laughs> oh man. It was funny because we were going you, to you like. You're never it. You're going to be putting it on. Why does it smell minty? Why does it smell minty? <laughs> this is like the greatest thermal paste ever. It's so white. It's, it's so white. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to be throwing down to you guys in just a few minutes, but let's jump Excellent. back to a full screen here. Uh, you can actually see, guys, that what we have done is we now have a completed motherboard. You know what? And honestly, Sarah didn't believe we'd get it done. I know, but we got it done. Sarah, I, was, I yeah. got a little worried because uh, I have uh, big fingers. Big yeah, fingers. You have, I mean, again, <laughs> tell, let's go to jump to the top down here. What you can see where we're kind of at right now is we've actually got, uh, we've installed the LGA 1700 brackets. We got our contact frame in with our beautiful windswept thermal yes. base pattern. And then we also have, uh, we, we'll, uh, we'll also basically, uh, you can also see here that we've, uh, We've got all of our stuff in and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, this is where it is. But uh, why don't what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and jump down to Nay and Josh, who are gonna continue their build, and then we're in about what 20 minutes. Uh, we're actually gonna talk about our first SI here in a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah, we'll be talking to yeah. them. So we'll okay, see. you guys, Josh, Nay, wow yes. them, we're get back. them ready. Were you ready to build? Yes, yes, we are. We have a lazy Susan ready as well, yep, as, yep, as yep. per request. It's, so. not, it's not the same as ours at home, but it will do. Yeah, we actually did a tutorial on how to, because so <laughs> many people asked, they were like, wow, this is such a good idea for building PCs. So we ended up having to make a tutorial on it, which mm -hmm. was actually quite fun. So we have two lazy Susans. Yeah, I think we basically just took a piece of plywood from Lowe's, cut yes. it, and then we got one of these and then just super glued just it on. Just super glued it on, that's but all you need. It's a lot bigger, so you can fit ginormous cases on it. Yes. So. Speaking of cases, should we grab the case? We I, should. I will grab you it. You guys are going to love this case. Ah, yes. Like we said earlier, Josh has the little, little brother of this case. <sighs> I always wanted the build in this one, actually. There it is. <laughs> oh, also, you while, didn't see anything. I mean, while he's down here, I, I had a question because uh, oh. I, I've noticed Justin, he, he has a dad joke button. He has a decibelometer to measure the RAM clicks. Yeah, yeah. And I also notice he has a beard comb in the drawer as well. So um, yeah, we need to hear the story behind that at some point and maybe maybe get some accessories of our own, you know? Oh, what do we, you want dad jokes too? Well, you were, yeah. you were calling off some dad jokes earlier I today. was, I, I already did press that button many times yesterday. <laughs> um, but we are gonna go ahead and uh, have a look at the case. So, We'll just uh, talk about this a little bit. Let's try not to get too many reflections going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we should be good. Look how awesome this case is. Yeah, it's fantastic. And There's so much room in here for it, so much room for activities. Yeah, and it is not even the biggest of the cases. There's also the NV9 as well, which is even more massive. Uh, yeah, I have the NV5 on my desk at home, which is 
it's kind of like quite compact, but mm -hmm. yeah, I do very much like this case. But there's a lot you can do with this. Like you can do um, AIOs in here. It's got support for like four 20 millimeter radiators as well on the side. Um, and you also have the angled fans as well, which can help to kind of get air around uh, the someone GPU. Someone was asking which is awesome. what our, our YouTube channel is in chat. So ah, Tech yes. Tesseract. That tech is our Tesseract. So our we, yeah, we channel. do gaming setups. We do uh, PC builds, do mm -hmm. water cooling, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we are ready to uh, start taking this apart. Something that's interesting about this case, this has probably got to be one of the most this is going to sound weird, advanced cases that I've seen. There, there are so many things you can do with this case. There's a lot of things going on, yes. To change it, make it work, you can flip things. It, it is a great design, honestly. Yes. All so, right, so we, we will go ahead and uh, get our panels off. So, for those of you wondering, because we, we're scratching our heads a little bit, like, how did you get this stuff off? Yes, so, we, will, we will explain step by step how to use this case, because yeah. it was a learning curve at first. So, there's actually a little door here, which I will demonstrate. Isn't so, that sick? Yeah. Look at this! And there's like there's loads of ways to like route your cables and stuff as Down well, here. so you can you can stick them in there, keep yeah. them all nice and tidy, and uh, we can get a close up for you there. Yeah, all these little things. I was like, what are these? They're for cables, so you can uh, yeah. tuck your cables into there, which is very nice. Now we have a thumb screw up at the top mm -hmm. that uh, if we remove this, we can then take off the top panel. Uh, this is also, uh, for those that missed it in the chat, the NV7. Yes, Fantex NV7. So this is the, the middle child of the three cases. We have the NV5. Wow, I couldn't imagine building even in the bigger one. Yes, that would be NV9 ginormous. is absolutely massive. Yeah, I think we saw it at CS. I don't think our Lazy Susan would fit that one. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to build a new one. All right, here we go. So this one just kind of slides backwards. So let's put this somewhere safe because we've had some disasters before, haven't we? I don't know. Should on... I tell? Should I tell the? Yeah, I, I, think, I think this is a good time to share that story. This time. story has not been told yet. Oh so, god, um, you guys are getting first-hand stories. I tell you what. While I dismantle the rest of this, why don't you tell them what happened on this? Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, um, not too long ago, we did our height case review, which actually did really well. I think it's at like 180 k well, yes. review like views on YouTube. Yeah, so we were building in that case and it was going really well. And we decided, no, I decided this was a rookie mistake. I put the case up on the counter in our kitchen because it's I was- It's a granite countertop, It's a granite guys. counter. You can see where this is going. You know, you know tempered glass and granite countertops, in fact, any any hard floor or anything, yep, yep, just, they're not yep. a very good match. <laughs> yep, so uh, I was building in the height case, got everything together, went to go put all the panels on, and it was like time just to finish the review. Cause we had already taken the shots, uh, like the B-roll shots of the case, you know, put together and everything. Yep. And I went to go put on the front panel of the height Y70, and the corner of it hit the counter and it shattered in my hands. And yeah, I- Yeah, it, it was a disaster. I, I couldn't even speak. I was just standing there like, what just happened? I didn't even know what to <laughs> we do. We literally just frozen there for like a whole minute. It yep. was like, because yep. we were supposed to be like doing our review, you know, yep. it was like, well, we have around eight hours until the case comes out. So we're like, hmm, <laughs> what shall we do? So as it happens, we don't really shoot that much B-roll with, with the glass on. No. So it, it worked out. We, ha we had to get in touch with Hyatt and say, uh, yo, do you mind sending us another front panel? My hands? Yeah, so my hands were okay when it shattered in my... Oh, hold on, guys. Oh, I thought you were asking about my hands. No, right not here. your hands. No, when I Which was holding the, the glass with my hands. No, actually, what was interesting, it broke all on the inside, and I was just holding it, like, the left out pieces on the edges, so... Uh, luckily, I don't know how I didn't I didn't cut myself. Yeah, that was that, the first time I've ever had anything. No, although, uh, although she did manage to step on a piece of glass oh, a day yeah. later. Yeah, it, it got like, into where, my big where toe. Where was the rest of the glass? And, yeah, yeah, it's in your in your foot. But yeah, that was the first time that's ever happened to me. I've built so many PCs, never had a panel break, but probably yes. wasn't a smart idea. Height was really good about it. They sent us a new panel. <laughs> the, we have a photo that we, we took. We do actually. I'm literally yeah. like this. Like, what just happened? <laughs> but it was so interesting, like we instantly went, all right, back to work mode, got it done, got the video out, and it did well. Let's get it, get so. it sorted, yeah. One thing I actually really like, guys, about the, uh, the NV7, you know how the motherboard is kind of recessed into yeah. the chassis? Like this right here, just looks super clean. And obviously you've got all the um, cable covers as well. Although, I'm interested to see this year how much more we uh, 
you know, you got BTF just come out with the connectors on the back. What do you guys in chat think about the new connectors being on the back of the boards? Do you think that's something you would like or do you, do you like to see your cables? Because I actually really like the clean look. I'm just going to move this just a little so they uh, can yes, get a better look. Sure. We, unfortunately, we don't have the super fancy camera where uh, <laughs> yeah, Roby, Roby's what the heck? like, I what can, did you do, man? I can zoom into the moon. So yeah. so yeah, even people that build PCs all the time have accidents with their PCs. So they do. if you it's have just, one at home, don't don't feel too bad. It's just part of building PCs. Someone says I like my cables. See, you you kind of like the cables. You know the yeah. we we're talking about the BTF uh, connectors being on the back and yeah. getting rid of cables, but yeah. you actually like custom cables. I like cables when they're custom cables. Yeah. Whereas I'm a bit more of a, a, a clean freak. I, I like to not see I am excited though anything. for those motherboards. Yes. We're doing a build in like two weeks with those, so I'm excited to see what those will look like. Yeah. Dude, this, this board looks really, really good inside this case. Yeah, I think the black and white theme worked out, right? It did. Should I grab the fans? Ah, yes. And we rads. should. Yeah, we should probably grab the fans and the rads. Yeah. Um, Nay will probably explain a little bit more what we're doing in terms of cool in because we're using some EK stuff this time around. So yeah, Nay's gonna bring those in. I think we have a couple more screws to go into here. All right, we got the rads there. Oh no, we've, we've dropped one. That's okay, we'll find that later. <laughs> I don't think this is a, uh, I don't think this is magnetic, is it? I don't think it is. I actually ran into that problem earlier and I was like, I think I it's supposed brought... to be magnetic, but I also noticed in Roby's drawer, he has one of those re-magnetizers. Oh, does he? Yes, oh, which, nice. which we don't have down here. So yeah, we'll so to... to match with our case, we are going to be also using the Fantex cases ah, or fans. These are actually really nice. I've never used these at all. We've always used like Leon Lee fans. Yeah, so they should look really, really good, actually. Um, and I've also been told that the <laughs> Chat very... says LT, LT store screwdriver. <laughs> we we actually saw that one for the first time. Yeah, I've also been told that these fans are actually very good, like performance-wise yeah. as well. So yeah, excited to get this all installed so we can kind of see what we've got going on in terms of performance and temps. So that is the motherboard installed. Yep. And I, I actually think it's looking very nice so yeah. far. Looks great. And then should we go ahead and someone says this 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 seems like a replay not live it's live right this now. This is live. Yes. Yeah. This, this is us. We are not AI generated. <laughs> and uh, there's also. Oh look at look at a, what he gave us. There's a magical hand coming in. Thanks uh, thanks Damien. We have nice. a, a remagnetizer here so we can. Fix I think we should problems. go ahead and put our fans on the bottom. You think? Yes. Let's or do that. actually no wait we need to put the side one because this case is quite interesting when you're installing stuff. I believe we have to install them on here first, right? The rad, yes. the fans, put it in, then go in with this, and then we can go on to the top. Yeah, because we have we have quite a bit of depth here, so we're going to be having a um, 360 millimeter rad, and it's quite a thick one as well. It's, well, it's around 42 mil. Obviously, we have the Fantex fans as well, which are a little bit thicker. So I think we are going to be doing this side one first. So let's take out this thumb screw. I haven't actually For taken sure. it out Probably while it's laying down. But. So yeah, there's lots of uh, there's lots of thumb screws in this case. So make sure when you're uh, you're trying to take it apart, yeah, take out these little thumb screws, and you will have these um, ah, these yeah. parts come out. And then from here, you can basically just attach your fans and your radiator, mm -hmm. and then really easily just drop it back in. You've just got to be careful on clearance because. Depend on if you're using other fans and other radiators. This is one of the ones that needs to go in first. Yep. So we'll put this to one side. Uh, we also have that one as well. Mm -hmm. And we can keep on going with the fans. All right. Okay. So if I slide, what I'm going to do is probably slide the case across for me a little bit. That's what then... I'm thinking. I'm running out of space over here. Yeah. All right. Excellent. We'll get our fans opened up. So I guess for, for those of you that, because um, we haven't really done that many live streams before, I know you used to stream. Yeah, I used to stream. But we should probably tell you a little bit more about ourselves. Oh yeah, about how we met and all that. Yes, because you're probably wondering, what is this British dude <laughs> doing on this stream? And uh, yeah, so 
So we actually met in, um, well, we, we didn't meet until 2021, wasn't it? Yep. But um, yeah, we, we talked during COVID. We actually met each other on uh, social media. We so did. That was cool. We actually met on a similar gig. We were both doing a gig with Leon Lee. I think it was like a new case that was coming out. They sent to both of us and Josh yeah, and I kind back of Back when like, the 011 was super, yeah, super popular. Yep. We kind of met on that and, you know, when two PC peeps meet, kind of just click. Yes. You know? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, we, we, we talked for such a long time. You and, know what um, the thing is? You know, my whole life I always thought that um, there you, go. you would never meet the person and you would never know, like, oh, this is the one. But as soon as I met Josh, man, instantly just I was just like, one, this man, you know? this is the man of my future. And, yeah, so uh, th it was really interesting because we, we kind of like talked for ages and the borders were closed because of COVID and we were like, well, when can we meet? And then suddenly uh, the UK was like, oh, you guys can leave and you can go to different countries now. So we ended up meeting, where was it? It was Mexico, wasn't it? Yeah, we flew to time. Mexico to get around the border situation during COVID. And we met at an all exclusive resort for the first time. So it was like this magical, Romantic, God, can I say that? Does that sound cheesy on the stream? <laughs> Romantic, uh, all exclusive resort. Core tortillas. <laughs> we did have a lot of tortillas, actually, didn't we? Yes. Um, but yeah, we met, met in Mexico, and then uh, we spent about two weeks there, yep. and then we flew back to the US, and then we ended up getting married and all that. But yeah, we, we kind of came together because I was mainly actually doing like YouTube at the time and mm -hmm. you was more kind of social media kept about cool content. Yep. So since then, we were just like, well, we do the same kind of thing. So why not just do it together? So um, yeah, often we'll do like PC builds together and it's just cool having two people because sometimes I can be like, no, can you, can you film this? And yeah, we tag team together really well. Actually, yeah. I think the best time we ever tag team together is when we did that height review. Man. Oh yeah, that was that was yeah. We, we we worked super hard and it was like, well, we have a few hours left. Let's try and see how fast we can do this. Okay, so I think we got all of the fans together. We do. What I find interesting about these fans, because yep. like I said, I've used Corsair, Leon Lee, Thermal Take. I've never used Fantex fans, mm -hmm. and I guess the way they got around to their um, clipping, oh yeah, like attaching them, is on the side, which is interesting to me because I've I've never seen that. I don't know yeah, if you so guys can see that on the top down. Actually, pretty cool. Yeah, let's see if we can swap to the top down. Yeah, yeah, so you have these little clips, and they got the gold. In. Yeah, we, we do have a zoom. It's not as good as Roby's. Yeah, so. well, yeah. yeah, so like you can see here on the top down, Yep. they just clip in together. Yeah, so super cool. Um, although the one thing we've actually noticed with these fans is that they're, they're a little bit thicker than most. So if you're using, planning on using like radiator screws, you have to make sure that you have the longer ones because otherwise yes. you'll run into the problem yep. of them not reaching through the fans because I think they're about five millimeter thicker than most. So yeah, let's uh, spin these around and we, we got to do the same on the other side. All right. So let's flip that on up the yep. other way. And we'll put these connectors on. Let's see what's going on in chat. It's kind of strange, you know, you got got chat going on. Let's have a look. Oh, so we have a, a, we have a water cooling rookie, it seems like, in the chat who, who was uh, asking a little bit of questions about maintenance. So what would you say, what is it that you like about water cooling? Because I know some people are like, well, uh, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I can't be bothered to do the maintenance, that kind of thing. I think the reason I like water cooling is because I'm a really creative person. Yep. And I just feel like when you build a water-cooled PC, you get yep. to get super creative how you do your loops and stuff. Yep. Like with the last build that we did, I did like, well, not the black and white one, but mm -hmm. the one before that. I did like crazy twists and turns and loops. That was a really cool that PC. Was cool. Which is your favorite one you've done? Water-cooled? Yeah. My neon green one. Oh yeah, the we race. actually, yeah, we, if you guys have this seen it, we, we did it together, we built it together. Yeah. So it's like a green PC, I think we used the Antec Canon, and th the thing is, is we use some liquid in it that's, uh, it's, it's kind of like a show liquid, isn't mm -hmm. it? And you're not really supposed to leave it in for very long, it's like one to two weeks max. Um, it's been a little <laughs> while. It's been like a year! Yeah, we, we, we moved house like twice, and we... But the reason we left we it in really there is because it's kind of to... like a science experiment. Yes, we want to do a video it. on YouTube of taking it apart to see like what it actually did so people can be like, wow, this yeah. is what actually happens when you do that. Yeah, because they explicitly state on the website, they're like, 
guys, you're not you're not supposed to leave this in for very long at all. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been in for much longer, so we will need to do that at some point. But yeah, in terms of maintenance, what would you say, like maintenance-wise, is ideal for water cool Um, pieces? every three to six months. Yeah. Well, get out of here, Roby. Once every week. I'm not changing my liquid like, once here. a week. I mean, I, that's that's kind of one of the main reasons why oh, I no. don't personally have one right now. I don't now. think it was clipped on all the way. Oh, it wasn't. No. Oh, so yeah. The, the weird thing is about these as well is you have to make sure that you, these gold clips are on the gold side, and then oh, the other clips. Oh, see, look at there yeah. you go. It's very easy. I don't have to... the right ones then. Oh, we need. We got that's another gold that one. one. Yep. We're good. But yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence because Nay loves building water-cooled PCs and she's like, oh, well, don't you want a water-cooled PC in your setup, Josh? No. And I, I love how they look. Like, they look so cool. But I think, I don't know. It can be a bit of work when you want to upgrade your PC because you've got yeah, to drain bit, it. Yeah, a little bit more work. And, well, yeah. But would you say it's worth it? It just depends on the person. To me, it's yeah. worth it. I, yeah, also like, I also like cool. I also like having a really cool PC on my desk. Yes. All right, so we got right. the two fans. Yep. So together. we need a radiator. So we'll just we'll probably just do one of these just yeah. to show you guys what they look like. So this is uh, the EK Quantum, which is a 400. And, it's not 420. I'm lying. It's a 360. <laughs> 360. So many measurements, and uh, it's a 42 millimeter. So it's kind of in the middle, I guess. Um, Let's have a look at it and get a close up for you guys. It's a pretty, pretty nice boy. I All actually right. really like EK's. Uh, they they look great, don't they? They do. They look really, really Freebie. clean. So yeah, this is 42 millimeters thick. It's a 360 mil rad, and uh, yeah, this is in all black. They actually do quite a few different colors. So if you wanted maybe like a silver to match with something, you can do that as well. So let's throw that down here and we will start putting our fans on. Now, we are gonna be pushing air through these. Yep. So, uh, we're gonna start, because I know we have two reverse fan packs. We do. As well. Yeah, for those of you guys at home, if you look at the fans and you're like, those don't look like they're in the right spot, we've got reverse fans in this case, so. Yes, so we're not actually gonna be using reverse fans on this one. Uh, we are gonna be using the standard ones. But yeah, um, so hopefully you guys can see this. Nate, I think we actually need some more fans as well. So for those of you wondering, I'll try and explain kind of like the airflow setup. Um, so this is gonna be going on the bottom of the case and these reverse fan blades. So mm -hmm. the air is actually coming through here, um, but we're gonna be putting standards on this and we're gonna be pushing through rads. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Um, while we do that, I guess we should check in back with, yeah. with Justin and Alex to see how they're getting on. How's right. it going? How's it going, I, guys? I'm watching, I'm literally watching Alex just peekaboo. That's that's what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> Alex just, our case is so big, he's literally just peekabooing. Uh, but as you can see, now for the first time, guys, let's go ahead and flip it around, Alex. We're going to show you guys just this incredible design on this PC that we did. So, great shout out to uh, Blue Horse Studio. Um, so this is the PC that we're going to be giving away today uh, that we're going to be doing. Uh, let's actually go and just go through parts again real quick. So we'll bring those up. And then uh, then from there, we're going to start getting our fans put in. So it's a 7000D in terms of cases. But uh, the parts we're putting inside of this is the Intel Core i9-14900KS. We have the Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi. We have the Tough Gaming RTX 4080 Super, three terabytes of NVMe storage, uh, we have Corsair Dominator RAM, 6600 mega transfer, 32 gigs of DDR5, the 7000D that you're seeing custom designed by Blue Horse Studio, and then we have the IQ Link LCD, the H170i, 420 millimeter AIO, and then the Tough 850 watt PSU. But now we're back. We are going to strip this down. Now it's time to start getting this ready to start doing our builds, which is similar to what you did. And this is a big case. Main reason being is we wanted to make sure we had a lot of airflow to make sure that we're giving the KS as much uh, cooling capacity as possible. And people are probably saying, well, one thing I did want to let you guys know, when we did our initial testing for the 14900 KS, we did do it on a 360 millimeter AIO. We were able to basically pull 360 millimeter AIO uh, and we're able to do uh, uh, basically uh, 93, 94 yep. uh, using Fantex D30 fan. So it is, you are capable of doing that with things like multi-core enhancement off, all those sort of things, making sure you're running it in Intel stock settings. 
We're trying to give it a little bit more overhead. So if you wanted to push this with uh, overclocking, stuff like that, we're definitely showing that as well. So that's some of the stuff that we're setting up here. So what we're doing right now is we're stripping down the case and getting it prepped. And we're not gonna be doing, oh, you guys wanna hear, you guys wanna know scale for the PC? Here, we'll do, we'll banana. just use a banana for scale. That banana is seven inches long. There it is right there, seven inches for scale. That is how big this PC case is right there, seven inches for scale. So there you go. It's really big and you get to see a banana. You wanna go ahead and pull this one off? No, go ahead and pull that one off. We're gonna pull all the sides off. There we go. Really nice. Alex is doing his part right here. Look at you. I know. Just digging right in. We got, we got, if we go here, we got some tape up here at the top. So here we go, some little tape here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it in a power combined it together. sink. My, by our powers combined, let's take off our leg hair. Ow! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> Matt, oh! Oh man, that was so painful. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've actually never done that before. I never want to. I don't know, let's, man. Let's not find out. Let's not find out, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so there's a little, uh, there's oh, there a little tab. A... That little Corsair tab, look at that. It's wow. like they thought of everything. There we go, so, so you just gorgeous. go like this. Oh, bam. Oh, nice. Okay, now what we have is we have our big box of screws. And then we also have, so if you want to pull off the back stuff here, actually, let's go to the side camera over here. We can show it right here. So there you go. So we're going to pull off this tape. Oh, go for it. Get ready. You get ready. You, I oh, pull, the other side. I pull, I pull you screen. Ready? Right. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to pull that out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I felt that in my pancreas. I don't even know where my pancreas is, honestly. Okay, so let's get that out. And there we go. And then, okay, so next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this little bad boy. I'll take the bag out. This little bag here. Yep. Uh, it's stuck on a book. Oh my gosh. Instructions? Look at the size of this manual. Nay would be, Nay would be flabbergasted at this. She would, I don't even know if she'd know what to do with this. Josh would love this though. It's a, it's, a, that is like, that is like, wow. it the is book. over 9,000, not really, it's 132 pages. 132 page, and we're gonna keep that for you guys. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and remove the You're drive right, pages right there. This one's? Yeah, go ahead and pull those out. And I guess, let me try to see how can I do this. Yeah, see. Showing it to everybody. Yeah, showing it, giving it, giving everybody the, the view here. I'll zoom out so you guys can see that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There you go, top down. So we're just showing you guys removing the, Ooh. there we go. We're gonna remove the drive cages. Ain't no, ain't nobody gonna use those mechanical drives. Good old spinning discs. Yeah, we're gonna there use, go. we're gonna use NVMEs. I really actually like Josh's idea of, actually having, using NVMe drives as currency, like using them as like, you know, it's like, you know, kind of like chits in like Star Wars and stuff like that. Yeah, that'll be, oh yeah. The, you know what I mean? So like credits, being able to be like, oh yeah, credits. you know, you're just like, that'll be one NVMe. You know, that's like a hundred bucks. But wait, but is it, does it change depending on the on the size, like two terabytes? Yeah, yeah, like, they're worth okay, different okay, amounts, okay. right? So like, you know what I mean? Like you could go buy a car with 250 NVMe drives. And this is why you use a magnetic. This is why you, yeah, this is why you use a magnetic screwdriver. Well, you're learning all of the secret. You're losing. You're learning all of the uh, secret methods of building today. Okay, so we can move that out. Okay, there we go. No hard drives for us. We're getting rid of those bad boys. Okay, so now what I'm going to have you do? Let's go ahead and stand it out. Oh no. Nope. Okay, go ahead and put it like this. And then the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to remove this panel right here on the side. So we'll go to our side camera here. We're going to remove this side panel. So I'm gonna pull this screw off right here. And this is so we can pull, we can basically, so we can uh, add fans on the side too. We're, we're putting all the add fans fan. on. Every fan that we can get on this, we're putting it in. We're gonna leave these guys in or? We're gonna take those we'll take out those too. Out? Okay. Actually, if oh, you, I, gonna, I think there's another screwdriver. There it is! <laughs> By the that power. screwdriver, by the way, is from Windows XP. That screwdriver is older than half of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so old. Old oh. screwdriver, but it's a goodie. How do you... Uh, okay. It's, it's, uh, yeah, so you oh. just go like this. Oh, oh no, no. No, no, that just turns on a light. 
So oh. it's like if you want to do it, you just go like this oh, and then this is. way and ratchet that way. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we got that one out. I think I need to remove this one right here. We're making sure I'm gonna remove all the stuff that we don't need because we don't need it. That feels like that solid plan, don't you think? I think it's the greatest plan ever. You know, I usually like when a plan comes together. Yeah, when you can, and we're we're like the A team. We are. We're definitely which, A team. Which means that uh, Nate which, and Josh which? are the B team because we're the A team. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, so who are you? I, uh, I'm Mr. T. Wait, no. Oh, you're Mr. I, T? I, I, no, I'm Murdoch. You're Murdoch? So. I'm Murdoch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. There we go. We got that one out. Who are you? I guess either Mr. T. I always, when I was Dude, a little light face, be. but I, I, I pity the fool who I doesn't get the fans out. <laughs> I pity the fool. I'm just telling you now, everybody's going to go. So, like, you're going to see a massive uptick in the number of people who are going to watch the A-Team right now. They're going to be <laughs> like, like oh, series. my God, yeah, the series is like, I don't know what's going on, man. What that whole like about? that blow the reruns just blew up all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, like I don't I don't get it. We're bringing it back. We're those. We're uh... bringing it back. Yeah, we brought back the A team single handedly. So, I mean, it's funny. It didn't age well. The movie is probably better with like uh, like to go back and maybe watch the movie. If you've never seen the A team, you might be like, um, eh, exactly. What is happening? Yeah, what is here? going on here? I mean, Liam Neeson is a good actor, but I don't know if that was his. Uh... I mean, he did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. I mean, it wasn't the same. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so everybody said that you, Lex, needs to be faced because you are oh. in disguises every week. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is very true. I like it how, you, you like, your cosplay is taking a I'm new... Taking, oh, I'm just taking, it's taking it's over, like, everything else about you. It's like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, you actually are, like, you're going in there. So we're just working on... We're working on prep right now for the case... And what I'm gonna do is, guess what else? Because we're using IQ Link, uh, we're not. No, it's a secret. It's a top secret. We're it's a top telling secret. We're not telling anybody this. what case we're using. We're not telling them that we're using the Corsair from, 7000D. Brought from Area 51. Yeah. So any other questions? So this is a question, Sarah. What's What kind of questions? Anybody asking anything in Discord or anything about what's going on or is curious about the craziness that's happening right now? Well, I think with all the giveaways, people were asking if uh, Alex was gonna give away any of his cosplay costumes. Whoa, <laughs> no, I mean, oh, he has, uh, Josh, you do not know. He is a master cosplayer. In fact, uh, they're would, gonna be- I wouldn't call him master cosplayer, more like cosplayer in a budget. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be, he's getting his own Hollywood uh, star fame. Yep, yep, Sarah actually got that on order, so it's actually pretty cool. Yes, he did. I did. I but did. He, but he didn't. He he was too tall, so it was chippy with hairy legs. Yeah, the, this it was, was at Pax Pax East like uh, a two years ago. Yeah, it was hairy legs chippy. <laughs> so I mean, like again, I just want to get. Let's get Chat's opinion. Do you think chippy with hairy legs is terrifying or not? Because we think no, and we think that chair like this is just should be the way he well, that, is. That should be summer chippy, you know? Yeah, like, summer chippy. Beach. Bring back hairy chippy. Everybody says. <laughs> So everybody agrees. So we like I think it's just like, you know, we don't we don't we we don't judge. Like everybody has gets their, their own opinions, yeah. Yeah, they get their own opinions, right? For sure. Okay, we're trying to get this cable, these fan yeah, cables out. out. And they're not they're they're not cooperating. You see anything? You see them dude? There's oh, one. Oh, they're like they're up there. Uh, did you get it? Yeah, it's it's still still over it's here. Still, we're we're now we're we we may have been stumped. This build may never be completed. No, I'm just kidding. The guys, you have nothing to worry about. We're gonna get this build done. We're just we'll just use some pliers. We're just uh, we're just getting uh, <laughs> we're getting uh, we're getting our uh, our parts out here real quick. Okay. That is really stuck in there. It, it's we'll get it. You want to get it out? Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's because it. of this. Here we go. There. Got a plan in there. Uh, it's this, it's actually, it's stuck over here. Oh, here, you know what? I'll do this. You want to pull, pull that screw? Uh, I'll, oh. I'll, I'll take I'll take off the back, uh, the, the back, the yeah. back fan the front, mount, yeah. and then we'll go from there. Do we need to take this other mount too? Yeah, we'll, we'll get to okay, it. We'll get there. There. I'll get there. Get oh, you, I like how Alex is like, I am in charge of this build, Roby, <laughs> and I have questions about 
what you're doing right now. And, uh, you know, rightfully so. I actually think that you should be asking questions. So we, questions are good. We we questions, have, questions are good. We do have a question in chat. Oh, we have a question um, in chat. What kind of mistakes have you guys made in building PCs recently? <laughs> uh, oh, the, oh. the one that I've made, and it's funny because Josh actually referenced this. I forgot to take the uh, plastic off of the CPU cover on the AIO. That's really good for temps, so that's one. Yeah, one, one, one mistake that I did recently in my latest build is uh, I was doing an upgrade, actually. I had a, a, a old power supply. I was completely upgrading motherboard, processor, CPU. And then uh, I, I added some new components and we just, I just thought like, oh, I'll just get some cables and use one, cables from one power supply will work in another power supply. And I completely fried my uh, Corsair controller for the fans. <laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I released the smoke. That's I released why. the smoke from that. There was a zip tie that was blocking us from being able to pull those through. No. I think we might have it. There you go. There you go. Okay, we got our fans off. Okay, you want to take out, you want to come over here and remove the rear fan? Wow, wow. And we can remove that rear fan now. We you can go around. Okay, you're using yeah. We're, I don't know. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Move it over there. Yeah, we don't want to get yelled at by Deb. She'll be like, "What are you doing?" Uh, I already got you. You're crossing the line. That's the fourth wall right there. Yeah. You're not supposed to press it. Okay, so we're just gonna get this off. And I'm trying to remember how I do that. So yeah, we still do, you know, make mistakes or like the previews back in the days when the motherboards had uh, AIO plates, which input output shield plates. So yeah, IO shield, yeah. IO shield, they didn't have uh, this already built in them. You have to actually put it in there. Uh, one common mistake was to build your whole system and then forget to put that in there. And that was not fun because you have to take it all apart and put it back in, so. But that has changed, you know, we have, we have, uh, we have new things. We have advance. We Make have things advan easier. We have, we, we have advances in in science and technology. We got the that have tunnel. allowed us to do those <laughs> things. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna get our other. We're taking out all of our fan, like getting prepared to do all of our fan stuff. So the way that we're gonna do this, just to give you guys a visual here, and we'll use the we'll use the side camera to do this. So here you go, guys. When we're looking at we're looking at oh sorry the front camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, this is the front of the case, so we'll have intake, and then we'll have intake on the side. So we'll have two sets of intake. We'll have exhaust out of the top and exhaust out of the rear. So this will be th uh, three, uh, three 140s. We'll have a three 140s in the front. We'll have a 140 in the back, and we'll have four 120s on the side. So we'll have a total of, oh man, that's a lot of fans. Three, six, that's four. seven, seven, 10, 11 fans. 11 fans, oh, plus three on the AIO. So that's, so that's 77 fans, wow. if you're doing the math. Okay, so we have, uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna get our fans on here, um, but we're gonna get, we're actually gonna prepare to throw it downstairs. So, and uh, they're gonna get uh, to watch a little bit more building and then who are we gonna be chatting with here pretty quick? Yeah, actually we're gonna be chatting here pretty quick is from one of our uh, partners, which is uh, Main Gear. Uh, they were actually be talking to their CEO Wallace Santos. He's going to be talking to us about. He was going to be telling us about this new system that came out with the KS and uh, the, the build that actually we're going to be showing here in a minute, which is pretty neat. So uh, Josh and Andy will be having a blast, have, asking him a couple of questions. So it'll be pretty cool to okay, see. But, but before we do that, let's have them jump down. They're going to do a little oh, bit yeah, more yeah, building I'm right now. Yeah, not right now. Just be prepared, okay? Yeah. That's be what we want prepared. you to do. Well, anyway, we're going to jump down to them right now. Okay, awesome. so yes, we are still, uh, we've just been working on the radiators, so as you can see, oh, we have this. Oh, you've been doing a lot of, yeah, yeah look at that. Yeah, okay. this is all done now. Uh, we've also got some fans in the case as well, which I've, uh, I've just placed on the floor. Um, so still to do, we've still got a second radiator here. And then our pump will go on to the rack. Ah, uh, yeah, so we actually got, because um, there's a couple of different ways you can mount this stuff. So we have a pump right here. Uh, and then we also have this mount from EK. So what this allows us to do is mount it onto the fan. So if I pop this on here. Just don't drop it. Yeah, so yes. it'll basically sit like that inside the case, which is pretty cool. Well, it actually goes the other well, way. Yeah, I had yeah, it upside yeah. down, but yeah, there if you, you do go. it properly, that's how it ends up looking. Yeah. So, and you can kind of like choose where you want to put it. Cause I know when I was first looking at like water cool PCs, I was like, how do you know where to put this stuff? Like, does it matter? But it's kind of just personal preference, isn't it? Yeah. 
And of course, you you don't have some to do. Some people do the distro plates. Some people yep. like the reses. Some people make custom distro plates. It, it, you can get pretty crazy with it. Yeah, and a couple of them have. You've got like different options in terms of obviously if you want to do like hard tubing or soft tubing. Uh, soft tubing is definitely definitely a lot easier to kind of yeah. get to and from places. Um, but yeah, would you say there's any pros and cons to distros versus pumps? I think, dist both. I think distros are a lot easier to water cool with. And they, they do, I, I would say in some ways, they look a little bit cleaner as well. Because um, you can have you be a little all of the pipes going like, straight. Yeah, but, isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think EK, they, all of their stuff looks really clean, doesn't it? Does. it? And it's all very cohesive as well. Um, we went for like black components for this build, but they also do like a satin titanium. They have a chrome as well which is uh, is very cool. Yeah. But yeah, I think shortly we are going to be getting into uh, an interview, an interview, which is going to be quite exciting with uh, Wallace, who is, of course, the CEO of, Main, of Gear. Main Gear. And we actually saw one of their systems at CES, we which did. was very we cool. Did. It was in, I think it was in the NV9. Was it? Yes, Yeah, it was like right. that really massive yes. one, oh, and they yeah. had some like custom yeah. stuff going on. They had a lot of cool stuff there. I think they were using the new motherboards as well, the yep. new BTF motherboards. So mm -hmm. yeah, it looked super duper clean. But um, yeah, we'll reach over to Wallace. Yes. Okay. Oh, so, I guess we're gonna wait. Oh, for we a few have minutes. a little bit more building to do, which is good because then we can get ahead. I think we're slightly ahead of Roby at the moment. Are we? Yeah. So you're not done. <laughs> he's, li <laughs> he's lying. So I think um, we should get the next set of fans, and then we can get more here. Uh, where did we put those? Uh, we have another pack over that. Uh, it's trying to tell the difference as well because you've got like you've got your reverse fans and your regular fans, yes. so you have to make sure you put the right. So ones we're looking on for that. the reversed ones for this one, correct? Uh, for no, we should no, have standards for this one. Is it? I think so. Are you Although, sure? It's of course possible that they could be. Oh look, they are standard ones. Just in the wrong box. They're just in the wrong box. That's how that's how terrible we are at putting stuff away in boxes right here. <laughs> Which I always say is the most that's the most difficult part of building PCs is keeping your space tidy. As you can tell, uh, we're, we're doing a fantastic job of that right now. It. It's very tidy. Um, so yeah, we will put these on here, and we're actually making some pretty good progress on the case. So we have the motherboard in there now. Uh, we also have what else have we got in there? We've got two of the fans in the back, and we also have... Three uh, fans down on the bottom. Yeah, three fans down in the bottom. So, uh, this... In fact, Nate, you should probably show them how to attach the res to here. Yeah, so where are our screws? So we have a bunch of screws. It's those long ones? Yes. Yeah, so that is one of the things you have to be very aware of with these fans, is they're very thick. Well, we need to attach it to the pump first. Yes, which I think is these two right here. Let's... Uh, Pop these in here to see if they fit. I think they actually go in from the back, don't yep. they? Yes. There we go. Uh, yeah. So those of you watching at home wondering how this goes on, basically we're Are gonna. They, do we have the um, little tool for that? We do. Yes. It's in one of those boxes. So yeah. Um, can we switch finish. to the? Yeah. Let's switch to the top down so we can. Yeah, we can do that. Show over you there. guys what's going on here. Okay. Zoom all so in. So here is our reservoir. We also have the um, the bracket, and then we have our little screws, which I think you've got one of them right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll pop that in there. And then we should have a little tool also to tighten them up. Yes, that's the tool I was looking for. Excellent. It's a little tool. Did we lose it? I think it's in one of the bags. I think I saw you with it earlier. And we do need, where's the rest of our little screws gone? Oh, there's another one here. Perfect. Two on each side for right now. Yes. Let me see if I can find that little. See if we've got any uh, questions about water cooling for Nay in the chat. Has anyone got is any this... questions about water cooling? Is this the one? Ah, yes, we've got it. Here we go. Yeah, because we do. How how many water cool PCs would you say we do build a year? We used to do a lot more, but then we kind of toned it down a little to do. Just kind of like half and half, like, actually yeah. no, I'd say we do a little bit more regular builds and yep. then we've kind of saved our water cool builds for special themes. If yeah, we always, some of like, our videos, we, we always like, we always like to do kind of special builds and then uh, we do budget builds as well because of course a lot of people are looking to kind of get the most for their money. So yeah, it's really cool to be able to uh, do those as well. So uh, let's move this across so we can show everyone at home how this mounts. Oh, someone was saying the fans weren't aligned. Yeah, we. 
got that under control. We gotta screw them in. Oh yeah, we've actually still got to attach those ones to each other because they have the little clips. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna be, so this is gonna be the top of the case right here. I know it's kind of upside down for you guys, uh, but we are gonna be mounting our reservoir right here. Oh, we have some questions. Uh, yeah, so when it comes to uh, cleaning out your loop, three to six months is honestly fine. Most of the time I would do usually three, three months before we would change our loop. And I think someone else also was asking, is water cooling better? Or is it just, uh, just a preference? Uh, personally for me, it's a preference. I think it, it comes down to aesthetics and I feel like with water cooling, you can make some pretty beautiful looking PCs. Yeah, I also you like that they're can. different. It, 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 to each their own. It depends on who you ask. What yeah, about I, you? I, I think for me, yeah, like, like I said earlier, I absolutely love the way they look. I'm the kind of person who is constantly on the cut, cutting edge of upgrades, so I'll, yep. I'll no doubt have a i9 4900KS in my system soon. Um, but yeah, I've, I, I do definitely think they're really fun to build. And of course, you do have the extra headroom as well if you're really into overclocking and you consider yourself like an enthusiast. Um, then yeah, water cooling is definitely good for that. It's just, it, it does cost a little bit more. Yeah. And it, you have to look, kind of like think about what parts you're going to be doing as well. That's Something why I would say important. the 14900KS, while it's for PC enthusiasts, mostly water cooling is also for like high-end PC enthusiasts. People exactly, that yeah. want everything. They want a really badass duct, oh, can I say that? <laughs> a, really a really cool PC. I, th I think you're fine. <laughs> I need to put the... <laughs> But yeah, um, I, I mean, personally, I'll probably be doing a, a 4900K in my system. I've got a 4900K at the moment, and I do a lot of editing. So yeah, it's kind of a chip that makes a lot of sense for me um, because yeah, I just I just really need all the performance I can get. Um, I did have the 3900K before, yeah, and even upgrading to that was quite a big like jump in performance because I I proxy a lot of files, yes. and those files can take a long time to proxy. So really any improvement in speed that like makes a lot really of difference cool. in my workflow. So yeah, we're getting some clips on here. And I... Oh, what type oh, that's of, a good question. What yeah. type of fluid? Well, the brand I usually use for my fluid is Thermal Take. Yeah, like we've, used, colored... we've used a few, yeah. Um, but uh, I it believe EK's depends is, what... the cry... is it the Cryo? Yeah, got the Cryo Fuel from yeah. EK. We're actually gonna be using a distilled, go and grab the... Um... Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yes. So this we're making our own today is distilled water. I'll show you guys on the front cam. This right here, yes. this is our big jug of distilled water, and we're gonna be putting some drops of blue. You know, since Intel repping them, we gotta do the blue, and then we will see how pigmented we can get our our coolant. Yeah, because like I, I I actually tried earlier. I was like, what <laughs> what happens if you put five drops in? I was like, five drops is gonna be way too much. As it as it turns out, this is it just looks like mildly mildly blue off off white yeah. like water. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see how much we have to put in there later. Um, but yes, we are. I think we're missing some of these. Oh, you they're over here. She stole them. Listen, I, you I stole them. So when it comes to cleaning our systems, we do flush our PCs. We'll use distilled water, flush them, take them out. And sometimes you might have to take the blocks out because some gunk can build up inside of them. Yeah, so that's like a whole disassembly. I think that's one of the pros of like keep maintaining your system yeah. is that you're not gonna have to deal with so much of the, you know, like huge gunk buildup and having to strip apart the entire thing. It doesn't get bad if you do it like like I said, every three to six months, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of a misconception about it being like, oh, you have to do this all the time and you have to be changing this every week. But I would definitely recommend to do the um, right, the soft just, tubing for people that are looking to get into water cooling. That's the best place to start. Yeah, and, and they did water cooling way before I did because your, your father taught you mm. how to do that. He did, but I, I think uh, we're ready to go into our interview. Yes, all with, right. Um, well, let's them. jump into our interview. So uh, for those of you who have just joined, we're interviewing Wallace, who is mm -hmm. the CEO of Main Gear. Um, so obviously they are system integrator. We've got the 4900KS launching. So we have some interesting questions to ask Wallace, who I think should be about there here. There he is. There he is. Man Hello, the Wallace. 
Welcome to How's it going, everyone? Thanks for having me. Yeah, yes. thanks for being here today. We've got a couple of questions we would like to ask the CEO of Main Gear. I feel like you would be able to answer all these. Because there's like anyone five. who can answer it, it's, it's you. It's definitely yes. you. So yeah, let's sure, begin with sure. the first question. All right, how about you take it off? Yes, yeah, so uh, obviously we've got the new uh, i9-4900KS launching. So when you have new launches like this of new CPUs, what is it for you as a system integrator that you kind of get excited about? So what, what possibilities does this CPU open up for you? So for, for main gear, we're, we're known for being time to market and we're known for being uh, on the bleeding edge, right? So every time there's a the latest and greatest or a faster CPU, um, we get excited. That's that's what we live for, right? We're we're enthusiasts, and um, it's it's what we do, right? So specifically the fourteen nine hundred KS, it's 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 the fastest gaming processor, right? So so uh, um, yep. for us, it's uh, it just gets our customers excited and and uh, makes us happy. Awesome. All right, moving on to our next question here. So what plans do you have for the 14900KS belitting pilot that has been launched in a partnership with Intel? Yeah, I'm super excited to hear about yeah, this. Yeah, me too. Because, yeah, this is something that's uh, definitely going to be new. So, I mean, f first of all, I just want to give props to Intel, right? Uh, this is something that uh, it's it's kind of unheard of for a company like Intel to, to offer uh, like to warranty a deleted CPU. I mean, if you think if you think back from when we started, um, when we started, overclocking was with board to warranty. Now, now overclocking is not only um, it, it warranted now, but it's uh, it's it's part of it's part of BIOS's it ships with you know with uh, enabled by default from Intel, right? Through, through Turbo. So, you know, essentially for us, um, you know, we're, we're excited because we're able to 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 kind of approach it in two different ways, right? Here, here at Mangear, we ship um, the deleted 14900KS um, basically with an Intel spec, right? And what that enables us to do is achieve better temperatures, right? So like we're able yep. to decrease temperatures by up to 15 degrees, which is awesome, right? And then the the, the, the second profile that we ship it with is, is basically with, um, with basically everything uncorked, right? So like no power, limitations whatsoever mm. while and just basically uncorking the cpu wow, and removing yeah. the thermal barrier right yep. so um it, you know in, intel basically it's gonna fly right now it'll yeah. consume more power granted but for those who don't mind the power consumption when the cpu is uncorked um it's gonna give you you know the extra thermal headroom and it's gonna make you basically it's gonna allow your cpu mm -hmm. to run faster uh and, and for us um you know we're gonna offer in, in, in several different SKUs. um we, we have it available today uh, on the MG1, as, as you're showing there on the screen. And we'll have future limited edition uh, versions as well. This specific MG1 that's shipping the way as is, is basically we, we deal with the CPU, we uh, apply uh, a new thermal interface, right? Uh, oh, okay. Liquid metal, essentially. And then we'll put it, we'll, 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 we'll put the, the, we'll lit it back up with the copper, um, the copper HS. And, uh, you know, and that gives us, 15 degrees up to 15 degrees of, of, of yeah, temperature headroom so wow, it's yeah, um really good. it's significant it's very significant yeah it's, it's now, awesome as well to like have have that option as well because i know a lot of people are like oh well i have no idea how to deal with a cpu mm -hmm. it's like it, it might offer some good improvements but they might just not be confident to do that so yeah it's awesome to be able to have the option to just just buy it straight off the shop yeah yeah, I mean, what, what's what's it's, it's important for you to stress is that if you delete, delete your CPU at home, um, you're you're gonna void your warranty, right? So yeah. like when you're um, when you're buying a, a you know a system from us with the deleted CPU, it's gonna ship with the warranty. It's not nice. only being warranted by Main Gear, but that that CPU will be warranty itself as well by Intel. So we're working very closely with Intel on this product. Um, it, it it is. Um, we don't recommend you do it at home <laughs> it's just a, mm -hmm. just a, you can damage your cpu and you yeah. might lose hundreds of dollars in the process right so yeah. that's why we offer the service here um so yeah that's that's that that's awesome and is there is there any one last thing uh mm. before we go that you would you would like to tell us about this beautiful build that we're yeah. looking at here yeah, it, it's, you know, th this is, uh, you know, our, our flagship bestseller product. This is the, the Main Gear MG1. Um, we launched it. Uh, we actually designed this computer 
uh, with Shroud. You know, Shroud is uh, is actually a stakeholder in our company. Yep. Uh, he works very closely with us on the products itself that we're designing future products as well. Mm, okay. Expect to see a Shroud edition of the MG1 with the 14900KS deleted, right? So, um, uh, yeah, just check it out. Go to Minger.com um, and then uh, you can configure. We also, uh, we're also the only company that has a, a 3D configurator. So, like, you can configure your system and you'll get a visual cool. representation oh, wow. uh, nice. of how the, the PC looks like, yeah. That's awesome, yeah. Well, it's been, I can see from yeah. the chat, everybody is pleased to see you, Wallace. So, yeah, <laughs> it's good to be oh. able to hear from, uh, yeah, a system integrator like yourself. Yep. Um, it's just nice having a, a second kind of like opinion on what yeah. goes on, because exactly. obviously we, we DIY PC builds, but yeah, really cool to hear from uh, yeah, hear from someone like hear yourself. from all behind the scenes of what goes on. Yeah, and look, uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're all the same, essentially, right? It's what, what I like to say is, um, you know, I've been in, in the business for a very long time, for, for over 20 years now. And uh, when we started, you know, you're talking about liquid cooling before. When we started, liquid cooling was like, we're using like fish tank pumps and we're using <laughs> redline water water and we're using, you know, all these parts combined and trying to make it work. And it, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was truly exciting to see it build up to where it is today where it's it's almost mainstream it's still hard to build a fully liquid cool computer like you as, as we were talking about before yep. uh, but uh it's you know it's we just love the community we, we love what we do so it's glad to be here That's yeah we've awesome. seen your guys' pcs when we went to ces and we were like we did. wow yeah we saw like it was a, it was an nv9 it was like you did all the custom thing yeah. and it even did uh like it had like a, a custom shroud on top of the gpu yeah. that's hiding the, the gpu yeah, that cables was so cool so that with like the, yeah. the new uh, back connect mm -hmm. motherboards that was like it was super clean it's gonna look great yeah 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 so it's uh, interesting you mentioned the back connect and i'm glad you got to see it so that that's something that we invented 10 years ago so we we owned the intellectual property for uh the rear connectors <laughs> yeah uh and it's so i i it's, to me it's like watching my baby come to life right because yeah. i um uh, I always wanted to have uh, a really clean build. While, while I love the, the cables and, the, you know, basically the, the power supply sleeve cable that you can implement into a system and stuff, it's really cool. But yeah. having a really clean build, as you saw, makes a huge difference. And um, I'm just glad it's, it's, it's available. We have today um, a version of that. It's called a, the Zero. It's available on our site as well. So it, we're, we're shipping that product. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have the NV9 version as well coming out very soon. Sweet. Awesome. awesome. So yeah, it sounds like of cool lots things. of lots yeah. of options come in. Of course, including the new forty nine hundred KS. Uh huh. Exactly. Um, so yeah, fantastic talking to you. Yeah, it was nice seeing you here and going Flash over all Nate, stuff. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, all right. Now that we've had our interview with them, shall we pop up with uh, Roby and see what they're up to? Yes. Yeah, so let's see if uh, see if they're ready for another interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here's the deal. Like I like Alex is just sitting. Alex has just been sitting there, like hanging out with that main gear piece the entire time, which you can do like the custom front panel. Meanwhile, yeah, exactly. I'm over here just putting in screws and stuff. So who's the real worker here? That's the real question. That's all I got to say. I know doing their yeah. work. Yeah, but uh, actually, uh, this was a great interview. And one thing that I want to uh, kind of touch on is this new deleting pilot program that we are launching, as you, as you heard uh, from Wallace and from Nani and Josh that we're talking about. This is a pilot that we are actually doing with the system integrators. It's a pilot, so we're just uh, small people that we have selected because we have listened to the community out there that, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that like to delete and you, they can see the, the, the performance improvements that uh, you can get from doing such thing. So we're testing this pilot to see how it works, to see how, actually, what do you guys think? How do you guys like it? How do you like the performance and everything? Uh, so we're working this with, uh, depending on the country that you are, uh, they'll have some specific uh, system integrators that'll be working with very closely to do that. And as they were mentioning, it do not go and buy a CPU and delete it because you'll avoid your warranty. The deleting is just directly with the system integrators. We'll give it to them. We have, you know, we're, we're working with them how to do the whole returns and everything. If something goes, you know, doesn't go correct. And yeah, so just be careful. If you delete your CPU, if you're, if you're doing your own build and you delete it, you have avoid the warranty. But if you're getting one from the system integrators, uh, the warranty is still covered through, through them uh, for, of the system. So this is just a pilot, so we're trying to see what uh yeah what is the reaction from you guys what do you like what do you like so it's a step in the right direction so so we're getting there so uh hope you guys like it and give us some feedback on that side 
Okay, well, that is that is the the main gear system, and so what we'll do is we'll but basically we'll uh, we'll just shut this down real quick, and then we'll get back to building the other PC. But again, huge shout out to both Main Gear and Cyberpower for joining us today. We're gonna be talking about Cyberpower in a little in just a little bit. Now, I do want to let you guys know what's gonna happen, guys, is we're actually gonna go to a quick uh, like 10 or 15 minute break. During that break, we're just gonna basically, uh, we it's a really, really thing just for our team to basically just see where things are and stuff, but you're gonna wanna tune in because right after that break, we're gonna be back. We're gonna be giving away a 14900K. Yes. So we're gonna be giving away a 14900K right here on the show. So that'll be the first of kind of the big giveaways. We have a 14900K, a 14900KS. And then of course, we're gonna give away, let's show it up on the screen here real quick, the parts list for this. We're also gonna be giving away this beautiful uh, 14900K system, 14900KS system that we're building right now here on Roby Tech and uh, the Intel Live Show uh, for this one. Now we're also gonna be giving away the Nene and Josh one. That'll yes. be on a Gleam giveaway that'll be happening later on uh, in the day. But here's the PC, not this one. That's the other one. Uh, we're gonna be giving away the this one right here. We're gonna be giving away this PC uh, uh, later on in the stream. But just wanna give you guys an update. Don't go anywhere, because when we get back, we're gonna be jumping right into a giveaway for an Intel 14900K. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in just a few minutes, and we'll talk to you guys we'll here right back. back.
The uh, Intel Live special 14900KS launch. Um, for those of you who join us, over 11,000 people here right now. Wow. So thank you very much for everybody joining. Super stoked to actually have you here. Uh, for those who don't know, we are building two systems. At the same time, we are celebrating the launch of Intel's brand new 14900KS processor. This is it right here. There right it is there. right there. The 14900KS <laughs> processor, uh, which is the new flagship limited as special edition i think that's the thing yeah. special edition uh cpu this one hits out 6.2 gigahertz it's got all of the same thing as the k but it's like it's like you it's like me i'm the k you're the k it's just he's all ripped and like literally <laughs> ripped bicep no but no. the point is all ripped and, and ready to go so we're basically here celebrating the launch now one of the things that we wanted to do a little bit because we're, we're about halfway ish yeah. through the stream is we just want to tell people what is the KS? Because, you know, when we first started, there was only, you know, a thousand people here. Now exactly. there's 10 times that number. So uh, let's give a little bit of an update. Now, you guys might be asking, Roby, you said that we're going to be doing a giveaway. You're right. We are. We're going to give away a 14900K. That's going to be over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. Don't, please don't leave your current one. Open another tab because, again, we're going to be giving things away at Intel. We're going to be giving you things away everywhere. But head on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech or youtube.com slash Robitech where we're going to give away that 14900K in just a little, just a little bit. But let's talk about the KS. Yes. What is the 14900KS? Okay, so the 14900KS, what I think is like we have, we, when we build processors, we build our processors differently, right? So we have the 14900K, uh, which is a very special build that it has these special frequencies. This and then, bad boy right here, yes, 14900K. Yes, this bad boy is beautiful. Yep, yep, beautiful. Oh, and nice. what so it is... That's a 13-gen, sorry. Oh. I was bad! You can hit me. I'm just <laughs> it's kidding. It's okay. <laughs> so actually what happens, so from those 14900K, uh, we can see that actually there is a, even a thinner bin, or, or there's a, a number of them that actually capable of hitting higher frequencies. So what we want to make sure is like uh, when we're producing them, when we're building by the fab and we're doing our testing, we can see like, hey, these guys actually can go higher than what we actually have spec right now. And the current specs is six gigahertz. But for these guys, they can actually hit 6.2 in single core. Actually, they can also hit a 5.9 multi-core and five point, well, depending on which turbo. So 5.7 in turbo, 5.9 in turbo 3.0. So these guys are like the special, you know, yep, like the yep, cream it's of the, 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 of the cream. Exactly. And these are great. And these are great. The processor, like again, it has uh, you has your AP cores that are multi-threaded. Then you have your 16 E cores in there. Uh, graphics is still in there. XMP, all the best and all the bells and whistles are in there. Yep, yep. So, and again, when you think about the cans, well, I want to ask the word because somebody said, hey, if I win a PCP, does that mean I can't win a I can't win a uh, PC? No. What'll happen is, is that if you won the, the won the CPU, they'll just ask you and then you can forfeit the less expensive prize. Not a big deal. So it's never happened, but we do have a solution for that. Just to answer that question. So feel free to enter all the giveaways. That's exactly. totally fine. Now you can win a chippy and a PC, that's okay. Yeah. But if you were to win a CPU, you can't have a CPU and a PC, you just forfeit the CPU prize. 
Now back to the 14900KS. When we think about, oh, and actually, hold on, let me hit this button real quick so we can make sure. So when we think about the 14900KS, and, and, you, and you covered it right there, you still have your 24, your 24 cores, six, uh, sorry, eight performance cores, 16 efficiency cores, you got your 32 threads, uh, you got 6.2 gigahertz, 5.9 gigahertz, and 5.7 gigahertz, depending on yeah, all uh, sorts of activations power, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. But the last thing that we always, we also want to know is, um, it's not for everybody. That's where we have like limited edition on this, is that this is for the folks who, you're the sweaty eSport gamer. 1080p, you want to push that 360, 420, 500 hertz monitor, you know what I mean? And you need every, every frame, because at 1080p, it's mostly about the CPU being able to handle the GPU pouring through. It's for those renderers, those scientific modelers, those people who, you know, even Josh downstairs was talking a little bit about, like for, uh, you know, some of the more computational loads. It's for, it is for gamers who are also those people who wanna tinker, exactly. get the most, you know what I mean? And in fact, we actually have some people, and we're gonna show a video here in just a second. Actually, we can pop it up right now. Oh, yeah. Who have already cranked some of those records, right? Exactly. There's some great, actually this, the 1400 uh, KS has just, uh, actually just last week, I broke a bunch of different uh, overclocking records that actually we're looking at right now. So this is the ASUS team back in Taipei, the Taipei headquarters. This is the uh, whole uh, ASUS overclocking team. Uh, in there we have famous overclocker Peter and also Elmore. And and right now what they're actually doing, we're doing a fast uh, forward of how they're configuring the CPU to show you how they actually were able to get 9.117 Gigahertz. Gigahertz. And the other two is that's, look at the minus. That's a minus 230, not a, that's not the, that's like crazy, crazy oh. cold. And again, this is with liquid helium, right? Exactly, so liquid this helium. Is, so then there's, there's overclocking, yeah. and then there's extreme overclocking, and then there's, I don't even know what to call it overclocking because it's literally, it's literally just ridiculously fast. So that's only 1.85 volts yeah. and uh, negative 230, uh, negative 230 degrees Celsius. Celsius. That's like so close to absolute zero at yes. that point in time. So, which is actually pretty crazy. And we saw some other ones from like a ton of different people have actually already broken yeah. records. Asrock has actually been able to break other different records on, on other different benchmarks. Yeah. For example, I think it's PyFast and all things that actually been able to do these uh, computational calculations of how many uh, in, uh, digits of file you can calculate, and usually they have a set number, and the benchmark more is like, okay, calculate up to the 100th digit, and the, and the faster time you do, the, the faster. So I think they're in the six point, I want, we gotta go check because I it's, remember, it's just really, yeah, yeah it's, it's just really, really high. Fast. It's, really, it's really way fast. better because I can I can get to like 3.14159 and that's sign, about sign, as far as sign. yeah, that's about as far as I go. Or I just like cherry pie. I mean, that's like in terms of pie, <laughs> that's where I go. So when you guys think about the 14900KS, especially if you're joining us for the first time, what we're doing today is we're literally looking at systems that really kind of hit that itch for the kind of people who are going to buy a KS. And so what we have is a we have a, uh, a like a standard build using a 420 millimeter AIO, you know, high end parts, right? But not breaking the bank, like exactly. not crazy. And then downstairs, we got Nay and Josh who are building a custom water cooled NV7 build that is more for the tinkerer. That you you know you've got two 360 millimeter rads on there. Uh, you've got you know you've got your liquid. You've got you basically can tweak your OS stuff, and they're going to show you that stuff. So again, try to giving you like a holistic kind of idea of how to approach a KS as a PC DIY person. And then if you're not a PC DIY, maybe you're somebody who's like, I'm too lazy to build. I just don't like building PCs. I just want to have it delivered on my door and ready to go. Well, cool. We got cyber power and main gear that we're talking here today and about your, your brand new deleting program. Exactly. That they were actually deleting putting new custom TIM. Some people are actually using it. We'll show one of those a little bit later, like direct die, A direct die AIOs, which we have here from EK Waterblock. We're gonna show you guys what something like that looks like a little bit later on. That they're using these things and a lot, you guys are giving them some warranty support. Yes. So if somebody was to have something go wrong, but you're seeing 12, 13 degree differences yeah. in terms of temperatures and stuff like yeah. that. That's what we heard from our from our partners. So yes, this is a new pilot program that we just started and we just, uh, it's a pilot, so it's small. So we're working with different uh, system integrators around the world, depending on each country is, uh, we, we have like three or four, depending on who wants to participate. And what it is, is we're telling them like, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, work with you guys and make sure that you can actually delete, and even if you delete the, 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 the processor, 
uh, we're still going to cover you in, in the warranty. But this is directly between Intel and the system integrator. So which is, yeah, which is remember, guys, it's not to say that you can't deal it, but if you do, you're doing it at your own risk. This is that the warranty supports system integrators because they have a team of people behind them Correct. should and they're the ones who are actually delitting that's not to say there aren't people who do of course you have seed to bower and tons of people who do delitting it's just not something that's supported by warranty now somebody asked what if i wanted a system that just ran fast where i didn't have to overclock it was just the fast out of the box that is the cpu that exactly. is exactly what it is this is like taking like an audi and like going to a porsche or like going from like uh, you know, basically a Lamborghini to like a Koenigsegg, you know exactly. what I mean? Like you are literally paying for that extra boost. And with that becomes the responsibility of cooling it. You know what I mean? If you look at a McLaren F1 engine, it has gold flex and titanium. Same thing you're expecting here. You're gonna have to use some pretty powerful cooling, you know, not negative 230 and you're not yeah, using liquid exactly. helium. But yes, you could cool this with really great AIOs like the Fantex D30 or we're using the 420 millimeter H170i LCD. These are the kind of cooling you're gonna have to do to keep this monster kind of tamed, but it is well within the realm of basically being able to manage. And we're gonna show you guys that here today when we benchmark both these systems. We're not just gonna sit there and say like, smoke and mirrors, it works. We're actually going to actually show you that. Now, yep. you might be saying, Roby, you said 14900K giveaway. Where is my 14900K giveaway? It's, it's, it's happening. It's actually gonna happen right now. Now, right to meow. enter that, yeah, right now, which, uh, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and do that. What was that? That was right, right meow. meow. Yeah, right meow. <laughs> We're gonna say right meow. We're gonna be doing our 14900K giveaway. Uh, I didn't know we had both of the big ones up here. I know. <laughs> That's actually pretty epic. We had like coordinated Roby Cats. Um, so the way this is gonna work, uh, for giveaways on Roby Tech, you do need to basically be following uh, on uh, Twitch. You have to be uh, following on uh, YouTube, and then you also have to be a member of our Discord. So head over to discord.gg slash Roby Tech. We're gonna give you four minutes. Now it's gonna be weird. The entry for this is exclamation point 14900KS, but we are giving away a 14900K. That's what we're giving away right now. So we're gonna give away an Intel 14900K CPU. That giveaway is starting right now here on twitch.tv slash robytech and youtube.com slash robytech. Remember subs, you do get extra entry. So if you wanna have a higher chance of winning that, go ahead and drop your Amazon Prime sub. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now we're gonna get back to the building while you guys are entering to win this right now. Okay, so what we've done, guys, is we've stripped our case, and now you are our fans. So, so many fans. We're so many fans, yes. Uh, there, I mean, there's yeah, there's a, there's a ton of fans here. Um, so what we're doing is he's gonna finish uh, installing it, and then we've got the case stripped, and we're gonna get all of our fans in, and then from there, we're gonna start putting in our motherboard. Um, and so luckily, we're using the IQ Link system um, from Corsair, which is one of the reasons that you're seeing kind of the more pricier build. Main reason for that is, I know we love PC building shows and we're building two PCs at the same time, but not everybody likes to stay around for 9, 10, 11, 12 hours. I mean, except for Brian. Brian loves hanging out with me Standing all the time. Up, yeah, mostly. he's like sitting there nodding his head. But uh, yeah, the point being is that, uh, so we can get these builds done in four or five hours and still do some epic giveaways and all that sort of stuff from here as well. Make sure that you're over at twitch.tv slash RobyTech or youtube.com slash RobyTech, youtube.com slash RobyTech live in order to be, do your entry, guys. That's where uh, you can do your thing. Um, so going in there, entries are still happening. You have about two minutes and 40 seconds left on the giveaway while we watch uh, we watch Alex. How's the how's, how's it going? But it's a little bit more challenging where you have a little bit of handicap. You're like, you're like really struggling just get, there we go. Okay, I'm just, I'm managing it right now. And as I watch this, I'm, <laughs> I'm a micro manager. your, your you overall that? performance review is going down, sir. Yeah, so you mean I'm you not getting I mean? that promotion? You're not getting year. that promotion. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and jump in? We're gonna go ahead and look at the both of them here for a second. Let's see, uh, let's just check in with Nay and Josh. I hear a lot of grunting. I know. I'm I hear a, a lot worried. of like I'm a little worried. <laughs> uh, it's, and it's, it's really the like lifting I, this giant case. So yeah, uh, yeah go in there. How, your how is yours yours going? It's looking pretty good so far. Wow, they are way ahead of us, dude. They are right. I mean, and, yeah, like, they're doing the custom water cooled build, and here we are. We're just a, we we well we have installed all of the same number of fans that you have. We have, yep. uh, all, but we haven't put them in the case. Luckily, we don't have to do tube bending or anything right. like that. Yeah. So yeah, but how, let's let's zoom in on, let's show a little full screen there of your build uh, while we chat. Look at that, guys. Yes. So it's looking, looking pretty good so far. So um, in terms of like airflow setup, so we've got three fans on the bottom here, um, which are gonna be blowing air into the case. 
We have a 360 mil rad on the side. So this has fans pushing air through the radiator. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have, as you guys saw earlier, those mounting the uh, pump res on there as well. So that's all ready to go. Um, up top, we're gonna be putting another 360 rad up here that is gonna be uh, exhausting some air up top. And then these are actually the reverse fan blades. So air is coming into the case. So we have intakes from the bottom. We also have intakes from here as well, which should keep everything nice and cool but uh yeah look looking really good so far. so far and um, i have to say like aren't you like you like josh and a you have to say isn't it great that we finally have like reverse fans oh, you know what i mean yes. like we have the swap fans so yes. long. right so yes long. it just it, it keeps the build looking clean it's almost yeah. like the same thing with like btf like btf is just like making our more cable -less stuff and then now we have things like reverse fans which yep. super glad and it does the build looks so sick <laughs> and then you guys are so you guys are getting your kind of your last bits in yep how close are you guys to and then it's then from here it's like kind of putting in fittings and then we're gonna get to see you guys put some tubes in eh yeah, yeah. so um yeah we've currently we've got one more yeah. radiator to go in and then uh <laughs> we also need to just install the power supply but yeah everything else is good we've got to stick the gpu in too um, and then once we've done that, I think we should be ready for the Jeez. tube. So it yeah. shouldn't okay. be too much longer now. I'm gonna get uh, Nay, my second hand, to grab some screws so my arm doesn't fall off. I, I could just hold this here the whole time. <laughs> I mean, that, that would technically work. But yeah, well, we're gonna get this all screwed up and then uh, I'm really excited to fill the loop. We actually still need to mix our liquid as well. Yeah, they'll so. get to see that. Okay, yes. well we're gonna go, what we're gonna do right now, because I think actually Alex finally has got all of the screws in, is we're gonna get all of our fans into the case. So you're gonna start seeing oh, our case kind of fill out in terms of fans, which is gonna be super cool. So here we go. And uh, this, it's way lighter I know. now. It's like Night and day. Okay, so what the, the next thing we're also gonna do real quick, and let's go to the side camera here, is we're actually gonna switch out this panel down here. Main reason for that is we wanna make sure we're getting maximum airflow from all those fans. So what we're doing is we're doing this, and then this essentially just pulls right off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the one that Alex found earlier. And this is gonna basically just make it so we can have full airflow here. We're just gonna kind of push that down. You wanna work on the top one, I'll get that. Yeah, you just kind of snap it in. Snap it like. Yeah, you gotta lift up kind of a little bit of this. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, Ooh. sometimes it's always hard to do this on an yeah, angle. Like, so let's, like, let's do this. The first, oh, there we go. Ugh. Okay, let's go this way. I'm just gonna switch around. We're gonna do some, sometimes you just can't do it from the other angle. Here we go. Do you gotta lift it like that or is it underneath? Yeah, it goes underneath. This one, oh. So you lift it? Which one? Oh no, lift? I guess it just goes like that. that. Never mind, we got it. Yeah, it's in. We were just being dumb. We weren't even doing it right. No, we were pointing We backwards. were doing it a bad, a bad job. Okay, so let's go ahead now. We got that screwed in. Here we go. And it's just one of those things where you have to, okay, there it goes. It lined up, okay. So now, you guys are about to see this go crazy with fans. So first thing we're doing is we're gonna put in our switch, slide this over. Ugh. And we're gonna put in our 420 millimeter fans at the front. So this just kind of slides in like so. And there we go, first, first set of fans in. There we go. And then over here, we got our screws for it. First fan here. Over up more. More of the screws. Cool. There's that mm -hmm. one. one. Let's go in. It's going. It in. is going. It in. is going. In. It's just really long. Is it going? Maybe I. Maybe it's. Not. I don't think it's. Going oh, it's not going. In. Oh, maybe I chose the wrong one. Okay, let me try this one. We're gonna use this one real quick. Uh, nope. No, I wonder if, oh, that would probably there help. There we go, that'll help. Yeah, the catch. It's called, it's called actually like making sure that it, <laughs> it's, it's done. Okay. It's threaded. I yeah, it's actually threaded. There we go. All right. Hey. 
And then we got this one. Okay, so that's in. Now, last set. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go like this. We all, yeah, there's only two. There's only. Wait, uh, do you have one screw over there? Yeah, you only. Yeah. Okay, so now. There. Now we're going to put this in. Oh, it goes like this. There we go. Maybe. Yeah. Whoa. Let's yeah. see where we. Yeah, we're gonna have to run that one across and up the front. It actually, goes like this. So we'll come right across the front of this case, this build. Maybe it is the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need a hammer. Hammer time. There it is. Okay. Right. Oh wait, wait isn't this tight? Oh, there, there. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. That was right there. Okay. There cool. There we go. Oh, and if you want to screw those in, the screws. There's only three. I got it. I got you. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Now we have our, we have seven, eight. We're going to have our eight fan in here in a minute. We'll get that screwed in. And then now we have all of our fans in, which actually is really cool. So yeah, it's we got we got a lot of airflow. Of course, remember guys, we're doing intake from the front, intake from the side, so lots of air. Then again, that's pulling into the 420 millimeter AIO at the top. And then we have our single 140 that we're gonna be throwing into the rear uh, here in just a bit. So we have all of our fans in, and then now what we're gonna do, is we're oh, going wait, to, we're missing oh, one. There's a, there's a couple, yeah. Do you have one over there? I don't know. There's, there's some test. there. Are these the ones? Right, right up here? There's one here there's, too. Okay, so there's probably other ones. Yeah, I think there's one right there. Right here? There you go. There we go. Okay. And then we got one more, it should be right here, yep. And then now we have all of our fans installed. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and put our CPU in and get the, uh, sorry, our motherboard in. And so we're gonna grab our motherboard cables. Oh, and I'm gonna get rid of this because we don't need this. Okay, cool. Now, and then we're gonna lay it down and we're gonna go to top down. I'll lay the law. Big case. Well, Am I wrong? Very big case. A very, very big case. So we have the kit. pros and, and pros. Yeah, right. so we have yeah, we have lots, we have room for games for sure. Oh, uh, you have a peel. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta do the peel there. Oh, yeah. the top. All right, we'll go to the top. There we go, top peel there. Right there. Okay, and then also our winner was Zerus. Zerus was the winner of our 14900K. Uh, I'm just waiting for a confirmation. Uh, Blondie, if you can confirm with uh, Sarah that we're good and she'll let us know um, that we're good on the winner for that. And then let me get you. Okay. One more peel. Oh, oh she, he found another peel. Oh, that was a good peel. Okay, winner is confirmed, guys. So we have confirmed that winner and they are in. So congratulations to our winner of our 14900K. Don't worry, we have lots more giveaways uh, still coming up. I gotta get you motherboard screws, sir. Well, more like, is it like 11 or nine? Yeah, I think it'll be these. I think these will be Three. these. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here's your screws. My screws. You can do this. I can, I can. Thank you. Okay, I hope those are them. It's This looks like they've taken a departure from the uh, standard Mopo screw yeah. Norman, nomenclature. You know, so. I really like these uh, little, uh, the magnetic little magnetic mat mats that you yeah. have here. Okay, here we go. Matt has a magnetic personality. Oh, oh the that's jokes. Me. The jokes. That's me. I'm the magnetic personality. Okay, there you go. Uh, sure there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're just zooming in a little bit so you guys can see the install there. Sorry, I didn't moisturize today. We have today. so much room. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, in terms of like all of the build stuff and things like that. The person who won the uh, giveaway uh, for the 14900K. Uh, was Zerus over on uh, Zerus one. Uh, so was the winner of the 1400K. Guys, we still have a 1400K S to give away. We still have a PC to give away. We still have a big chippy, which are, these are super rare. They're the rare. big chippies, we're gonna be giving away a big chippy as well. We also have a uh, Intel, uh, if you're headed over, if you wanna have some additional launch party uh, stuff, head over to discord.gg slash Intel where they're giving away some cool uh, gift sets. 
uh, an art artisan mat, and then uh, we're also giving away, yeah, so lots of giveaways, which is gonna be cool. So yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Cole, uh, yeah, Eternal Rage says, I have Big Chippy, he's chomp. When is the Windows XP screwdriver giveaway? Not. That is a, that is a, that is a. Collector's edition. You yeah, that is a some. national treasure. That's like saying, hey, we, uh, hey, uh, let's give away the, the uh, Declaration of Independence. Yeah, we took it, it was, it's displayed next to it. Yeah, actually. yeah, exactly. So somebody asked, who is that guy sitting next to me? Somebody doesn't know who you are, Alex. I'm so offended. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex, why don't we, we actually never, I guess actually, we just assume yeah, that everybody, everybody was, knows that knows you. I'm not, but, I'm not as famous as you. Yeah, dude, you are like, you, <laughs> I, so just so you guys know, this is actually Vin Diesel's, uh, stunt double. Vin Diesel's stunt double for the uh, Fast and the Furious series. Uh, but yeah, why don't we go ahead and introduce ourselves again. My name is Jess Roby. I'm the host of Roby Tech, uh, and I am also one of the co-hosts for the Intel Live Show, and this is my amazing counterpart uh, and also my other co-host on the Intel live show. Hi, yes, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm a tech evangelist for Intel. I love all things enthusiasts and I, you know, I get, I'm very honored to actually work with Roby and co-hosting the Intel live show every Friday at noon and we usually have a blast and we're really being good friends. We've known each other for a couple of years now, so it's been fun. It's been great. Yes, and somebody did get it right. Yes, my Krampus. Fast and the Furious Intel CPU spinoff is coming. Yes. Uh, starring myself and Alex. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, we haven't figured out my role yet. Uh, I think I'm, I, might, I might be on craft. You know what I mean? I might be, <laughs> hey, uh, water boy, or something like that. We'll have to see how it is. But yeah, that's uh, who I are. And then downstairs, I don't know if we get two box real quick, but let's introduce our co-hosts for today's stream. We got Josh and Nay. Hello. Yeah, so there we go, guys. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and let people know who you are? Ah, yeah. So, uh, those of you who have just joined the stream recently, uh, so I am Josh. I am one half of Tech Tesseract, which is the <laughs> lovely Nene over Me? here being the other half. Uh, my wife. So, well, yeah, we build PCs together, which mm -hmm. is awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool tag teaming stuff, you know? You do, she does all the bendy tubing stuff. I'm like <laughs> the software man and, and editing. He's the numbers guy. That's what he's usually good for. I like how you said the bendy tubing stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, like, like, that, that, that's, like, that's her power, right? right? That is the yeah. side. Like, like, I don't know if there, I, you know what? Honestly, I think we should just do a mass adoption of that from here on out, right? Oh yeah, what do you do? I am an international bendy tubey. <laughs> bendy guy. tubey. Bendy person, tubey. Yeah. And it's it, look it up. It's it's a, it's an actual title. That yeah. sounds legit. Ooh, a bendy tuber. <laughs> From oh, the God. school of the bendy tuber. Oh yeah. snap! That's a bendy tuber. That deserves a dad joke. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they never get old. They never no. get old. We need they... to get one down here. Yeah, I, 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 I've started to get into the realm of dad jokes, and every time I use one, they, uh, you know. Nay, he's like, like, let no. me tell one now. Let, let me tell one now. So, uh, I have a friend, right? And uh, he he got fired from a keyboard factory the other day. Oh, what happened? You wanna know why? <laughs> why? He, he wasn't putting in enough shit. Oh! <laughs> You know, hey, by the way, guys, serious thing though. Did you guys hear about how corduroy pillows have been making the news? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. they're they're making headlines. Oh god. Speaking of corduroy, I noticed someone uh, complimented my my nice corduroy shirt earlier. Yeah. So thank you for noticing. <laughs> you wore it just for you. I today. did. I did. I put yes. a lot of effort into dressing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I put a lot of effort into dressing up for sure. Yeah, we were uh, like uh, dad jokes are just they're they're like an international source of joy, guys. That's all it is. That's okay, up. so now what we're going to do is we're going to start working through um, uh, we're going to go ahead and start working through our side panels. So we're gonna grab our 13, our, our USB. USB 3, which is right here. We only have one, so we'll have one that we're just gonna leave doing nothing, so we'll just leave that down there. Okay. And then if you wanna route that, this is our USB-C, so we're gonna go from there. Oh, and this man. is gonna come right here, if you wanna hand me that USB-C cable. I see. There we go, USB, oh, you uh, took it away! Why are you teasing? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Teasing. And then if we're gonna just grab one Actually, more cable. Sorry, I have OCD. Okay, no, that's fine. Oh go. yeah, no, look at you. <laughs> He's doing the right thing. And then the last cable we're gonna do right here is our HD audio, and that's gonna run down here. And we're gonna pop that right down there. And then we're gonna take this cable and it's gonna get cable managed right, out of the way. But let's go ahead and plug in our front panel. So we're gonna go down to top down Ooh. and we'll zoom in and show you guys all of these as close as possible because we have the most zoomy zoom zoomiest of zoom zoom, zoom cameras zoom, zoom. yeah 
Super zoom. Okay, so we're gonna start right here. This is our USB-C cable, which is gonna go right there. You remember? No, not there. <laughs> then we have our USB 3.2. Remember, this one you want to be careful. You just want to make sure you go right into right angle. It's very easy. It's very easy to bend pins on that one. Yeah. There, we, there we go. So that's that. Okay, let's go down to. Can you? Do you know these off of the top of the your top head? of my head? I know, like you have power reset. Uh, no, I don't know the top of my head. I right, haven't built it up. They, right now, all they see is the top of your head on the camera. <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay, so let's drop this down a little bit lower because this is the one thing that is always fun is dealing with this. Okay, so let me get this a little is, bit this lower. This is actually when you, uh, when, you, when you spill some blood sometimes if you're not careful. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's, here we go. First one that we have is reset switch, which, which actually goes right here because that's hard drive left and right. Did I put that in? Yep. Okay, yep. next up we have power switch. Oh, you know where that one goes. Right above reset switch. Yep. There we go. And then we have power plus and minus. And, and those go corner. next to power switch. Yep. No, they're no. actually. Yeah, we're, we're being tested. They were like, oh, we're going to make this hard. And then the last one we're going to do right here is our HD audio, which goes right at the very end. There we go. And then now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do a little bit of cable cleanup here. This is where we make it look nice. So we're just gonna, and there's not a lot to kind of deal with right here, but we'll go to our top down real quick and get this kind of. How many cable management can you do in two minutes, Willie? Oh, I can do a lot. I've got, I've got, I've got mad focus when it comes to cable management. Ooh, that's like, hey, guess what time it is? It's there on my watch. Okay, right, here we go. Okay, so we'll zoom, and then we'll pull this up over too. And you want to pull? Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these really far back down. Yeah, back just like that. Cool. And actually, why don't we try and do it in the zip in the Velcro? Uh, there we go. Uh, on, let's pull this up. There you go. Oh, that's there a little you go. Too tight. Yep. Pull it tight. Yeah. Tighter. Oh yeah, yeah. You want that tight, tight? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then the next one. I think those are right angle, I hope. Hold on, hold on. Let's see how much this, let's just make sure this is, these are like all the way out, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, there you got it. Man, that's Velcro. I mean, yeah, that was like strong Velcro. Yeah, we, were having, we were having to like really work out for this. I mean, they, every, if you're tuning in, you just miss our, our squats. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we, yeah. You missed, you missed like pretty much the best squats in the world. Okay, so for this, we're gonna pull these tight. So this is like just making sure everything's tight. And then what we'll do is we'll do this. You want to pull that through? I might need. Might need to remove this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're just literally gonna re-pop these in. So you're gonna just, it's, I know it's like, you're like, wait, we just literally, why didn't we do that before? Sometimes, Roby, it just, it, you just gotta, you just gotta go with the madness, Alex. There, there's a method. There's, there's a, a method, method to the it. madness. There we go. Oh, hold, on, hold on, let's pull that one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hey, doesn't want to. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll pull that down and then pull tight, pull tight. There you go. Cool. Okay, and then we'll just do this one up here. Oh, you got those really tight. Like, there's tight, and then there's what the heck did you do, Alex? <laughs> well, you said tight. So I know. I didn't know you were gonna work. You were gonna work. I you were gonna work out while we're doing it. I'm like, I'm like feeling. I'm like, I don't know if I'm strong enough to actually pull this through. Okay, there we go. Right there. There we go. There, we, there go. we go, and then we'll just do this one, which is also crazy tight because a certain person's been working out. Okay. That's, I only have one. You say it. Okay. Have now we're gonna do one real, real, quick, real quick. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pull these up. Okay, there we go. There you go. There we are. And then pull those tight. Okay, I'll Perfect. Tight. There we go. Okay. So how are we doing? Are we ready for the interview? Are we good to go? Okay, guys, well, let's jump up to the front here. Uh, so, we were giving you, we talked about it, we teased it a little bit. Yes. We talked about this new D-Lighting program. 
we heard from Wallace and the team over at Main Gear, and it was like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit about their program, but we have another uh, system integrator here. Um, and those guys, uh, this is Jeremy Gonzalez. Yep. From the team over at CyberPower. All right. right. So we're going to bring him up. Je Jeremy, are you there? Can you hear me, buddy? Shake the table. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up? I'm glad you said CyberPower PC and not iBuyPower this time. <laughs> hey, I, 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 yeah, I'm really glad that you're really good at hot chip challenges, too. Yeah, I'm great at them. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, but I did get it You correct. won on a technicality. I'm going to say you won on a technicality. What? Though, on the, was on a technicality. What? It did was it a turn technicality, on? right? What? My, what? Both of our PCs turned on, but yours was just neater. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. The same amount of time, but it's okay. Like, the thing is, I love it. Jeremy and I have known each other for a long time. Actually, super stoked to actually have you here. Honestly, this is just, a, we. this is like getting all the band together. You exactly. know what I mean, Jeremy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, so I'm gonna need to move it because apparently I've got Alex. Okay, so now we're framed correctly. Now that we've done this right. Okay, so uh, Jeremy, tell me about you guys and the 4900KS. So you've got it in your grubby little hands. What did you do with it after you know taking a shower and just being so excited? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're just super excited being able to you know utilize the 4900KS. Like, I mean, it is one of the fastest CPUs on the market. You know, for gaming, for everything. So, I mean, a huge shout out to Intel for like really pushing the bounds and like allowing SIs like us to be on the cutting edge. So, um, one of the main things we're doing right now is just basically revamping our entire line of all of our you know high-end series. You know, like our Hyper Liquid 2 series for open loop uh, custom loop liquid cooling solutions, as well as our Deluxe series, which has a little bit of the liquid cooling as well but just really showcases our our high-end uh cases now the build you guys have right now um is just kind of like our, our one of our like standard builds um in terms of like the case and the liquid cooling solution so we have as you can see right here you have just our CyberPower PC AIO with the 360 millimeter millimeter radiator. Um, but the case itself is one of our brand new cases is the Fantec NV5S. So Fantec does have an NV5, but they made a S version for us, which has the cool RGB accents on the side of the case. I, I have to say, Jeremy, dude, the build looks so clean. In fact, yeah. we're just looking Thank at you. the we're looking at the uh, chat going like, ooh, shiny, that's very nice, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. So again, when you Great. guys get a flagship problem project like the 14 uh, flagship cpu like the 14900ks like what how do you guys determine what kind of case you're going to put in because this is a high-end high-end cpu so or is it like hey basically we know who this customer's for and that's why we put it in something like this because we want to show off the shiny hardware yeah i mean yeah definitely i mean uh, as you know like the fad for like cases right now is like this like aquarium design or you know getting rid of that center post on the on the front side there you know really allowing everybody to kind of take in the entire build but i mean in general though when it comes to like it just really comes down to testing you know finding the best case that has the best um like airflow and making sure that you know our thermals are good on it so i mean that's what we're doing right now we're still doing a lot of testing we're still trying to make sure that we get everything pinned down on like what kind of high performance parts we're going to be able to utilize in specific cases and so um yeah i mean that's pretty much it just kind of really just a lot of testing kind of figured i mean especially with such a power hungry cpu that's really just like blazing fast i mean you got to be you got to worry about thermals and stuff like that so we just do as much testing as we can find, you know, obviously you'd want to get these like giant super tower cases. I mean, those are kind of annoying to just have in general, you know, know where to really put it. But uh, so we just try to find, you know, cases that are, you know, mid to, to, to full tower size range to allow for the best amount of airflow and high performance. Nice, nice. Hey, Jeremy, so as uh, CyberPower is part of the dealing pilot, what do you what are you guys' plans to, to be part of this? What do you guys want to do or are thinking of doing? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, this build that you guys have right now is delitted as well. Uh, I delitted the CPU, uh, we removed uh, the stem on it, um, removed all the adhesive and applied um, some liquid metal on it. And that's kind of the same thing that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing full delitting. Uh, we'll eventually, right now, it is available for $300, I believe, is the price on our website currently. Um, and uh, we have open loop solutions with a standard water block. Um, we have like this one right here where we just uh, relid with the with the same IHS um, with a uh, AIO and then eventually down the line we will be um, we will have available direct dye cooling solutions as well as you know different IHS like a copper IHS. Nice, nice. So a uh, quick question. So earlier today when we were doing the mm -hmm. comms check, we're making sure that you know and microphones and everything it was videos. You were telling yeah. us about like 
all the excitement and the adventure that was deleting this processor. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know how much that. time we have, so I'll try to keep it brief. <laughs> but so, so obviously I knew I was going to be on the show right here talking to you guys, doing like a little brief interview. So I, you know, obviously I needed to know my stuff. I didn't want to like, you know, just make stuff up. Uh, so I had to learn how to deal it. I've never deal anything in my life, you know, and that's also another thing that's crazy is that now Intel is offering warranty for deal for like with, through SIs and stuff like that. Mind blown. I mean, first it was overclocking and now it's delitting. So next is uh, liquid nitrogen. Hopefully we can get something like that for some, <laughs> Actually, something like that through Intel. They're going to skip liquid nitrogen, go light to liquid helium. So you guys oh, okay, can ship. Okay. And you, uh, just so you know, Jeremy, you have to ship with every liquid helium PC that we're we're, uh, we're going to be shipping <laughs> worldwide. So you have to show and, and get them to know how to do that. So I hope you've got your uh, yeah. you've got your outfit chosen for that. Yeah, I do. Got my outfit. Got the whole CyberPower PC Intel fit ready to go. I'm ready to hop in the box with the PC as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, you know, final question is we think about this and you guys think about integrating something like the 14900KS into your lineup of PCs. Like what other things, like you talked about direct dye, but are we gonna see some other cases, some other things, some other cool stuff that you guys are gonna be doing with the 14900KS? Yeah, I mean, right now we have uh, certain cases that are only available for, so like when you go on our website and you click on delitting, only a specific uh, number of cases that, you know, allow for like 360 millimeter radiators, et cetera, et cetera, are only available. And then same with the cooling uh, options, you can only choose around 360 millimeter radiators. Uh, we have open loop solutions and like I was saying, AIO solutions. And then if they want to go check them out and they want to learn more about CyberPowerPC, where do they go? cyberpowerpc.com and follow follow us on social media nice. uh you know like i was saying we'll, we'll eventually have different types of uh, uh cooling solutions like i said direct dye or even you know copper ihs's so you know stay tuned for that on our social media for more updates on that cool and then also we have a link to that hot chip challenge so you can see that it wasn't a technicality <laughs> when i uh, yeah. actually did win are you guys gonna put it on right now yeah, yeah we're gonna put it on right now and rewatch that <laughs> yeah. forget the let's, 1400k let's get, we gotta get this, this. <laughs> we gotta get <laughs> judges in on this can we get a playback yeah can we can get, get a playback, playback please here? can we get a playback no jeremy it's always awesome to see you here on the show thanks so much for hanging Appreciate out and it. spending some time with us and talking to you uh talking to us about uh the epic things that cyber power is doing with the new 1400 cast and yes i agree Awesome job, Intel, in allowing us to do delitting. I agree, it's cool that's blowing our minds. Uh, but now we actually have to build these PCs that you're distracting us from. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, Thank enjoy. You, Thank you, guys. It's always a pleasure, and uh, take it easy. Okay, we'll see you guys later. See you, man. Bye. Thank you. Peace. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, so we've got... Uh, basically, all we have left is... Wow. Look at how long that nice scale is. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's get this one just kind of trapped in there, too. And then from here, we can literally then finish out and we'll do a zip tie there and then just kind of get our, our, our stuff. Okay, so there it is. It's all done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this. Okay, here we go. So this may not be long enough, we'll see. And then, yeah, no, no, yep, no, yep, 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 no, no, yep. Yep, I'm just gonna say lots of things just to keep you distracted. Like, I want to hear like, I don't even I don't know, know what's happening right now. The first zip tie of the build, guys. I'm mouse tracked it. I know. We we got we. Oh, uh, yeah, do you get it? No, it's too, too small. It's too small. Let's get. Let's. We're going to. All right, we're gonna go to the big guns now. We're gonna go a little bit bigger of a zip we're tie go to now. Some bigger guns. Oh. You gotta have. <laughs> oh, there you go. You gotta go. have the. You gotta have the zip ties just in case for any, for any potential. You know, I like that you also have zip ties color coordinated. You I a, do. I Actually, I do have. I do have zip ties that are color coordinated. Cool. For sure. So uh, just real quick, because we haven't heard from the Overlord in a while, let's just make sure our right She's hands still are still going. How are things over at the Intel Discord and stuff right now, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, and you're doing okay? I'm, I'm doing fine. Any, any questions from them that we should address besides uh, why we're so cool? Yeah. I don't think so right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, we'll just we're, what we're doing right now is we're actually getting the build ready. We're get, what you know what's going to happen after this. What we're going to have to start hooking up all these fans into our uh, into our hubs oh. and stuff like that, right? Actually, so, this is the first time that I'm building with an uh, IQ, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're just basically zipping up our our spine, and then we have like our little cable here just to keep it off the bottom for our PSU. Oh, yeah. So we're just making it really easy. Easy breezy beautiful. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, we got that. And you want to find our snips. Oh, okay, if you want to oh, snip, oh, oh, oh. you want to snip those bad boys. Our first four zip ties have given given their lives to the world of of. Oh, these are little. They're not supposed to be that hard. Oh. I was like, I was like, dude, he's really like, he's got a, to, he's really go. getting those things. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was a cable. Yeah. 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 Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, and he just cut the USB three cable. <laughs> Luckily, we have a backup. That's the only one you can cut. Like that okay, so we have everything here now. Okay, so we got that done. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and get our AIO in, which makes a lot of sense. And we have a ton of room, so I feel like we'll be okay in terms of doing the install. So let's go and grab our AIO. A-I-A-I-O. -E A-I-A-I-O. And on this AIO, we installed some more stuff. AIO. Okay, big. Look at this. Big 420 millimeter AIO. We are we are making sure that this has all the cooling, you know what I'm saying? All the cooling. Now the one thing we're gonna have to do is we should have gotten some cables. Oh the cable. We have some more cables. Cables or cable? Cables. Oh here, they're in here. Right here. I'm good. Okay, so inside of this secret, the secret thing when you were like looking for the other ones, this, this is full of all the IQ Link cables. Power Molex connection. Ooh. Yeah, so those are the cables right oh, there. The one. Yep, that's the one that we need right there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna try, we're gonna daisy chain, we're gonna have two sets, this and the rear fan, and then we're gonna use the front fans and the top fans for the, um, for this. So the way that this works, you can actually oh, no. see here, there's actually a connection like this. And then, so we push that in, and then what we do is we just go like this. And then that's how we connect our AIO. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Hold on, what? I want to get a closer look for the, for the guys who are watching. Oh yeah, let's get let's, let's get Brian in here. Yeah, so we just got finished doing that. We're just gonna yep. now have to struggle with our twisty tie. You got this. I got it. I did. Oh, I look at that! I did it. Go. I did it. Three seconds to spare. Yeah, three seconds. Like people are like, I am also now no longer interested in whatever <laughs> that you're doing right now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna plug that in like this, and now mm. our AIO is hooked up. That's all there is. Oh, wow. There's no other wires. That's I there. love it. Okay, so now so we're gonna, gonna do is I'm gonna hand right you here? this. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's right. Stand by, stand by. Do we need the, uh, the screws? I got them. They're here. You got them. I got them. Got the screws. And then here we go. I'm gonna inject this stuff out. There's all our screws. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hold I don't, yeah. Well, so it'll actually. I'll show you a, a cool little trick here. And it's luckily because of the way that the uh, Corsair stuff is tooled. It's actually pretty easy to install. So now, what you want to do, if you want to pull that through. Oh, sorry. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Keep pulling, keep pulling. And then, hold on, hold on. Okay, now, we just have to, ooh, we might have made this too tight. Oops. Uh-oh. You said tight, Roby. I know, I know, it's my fault. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to loosen, it's okay, we'll just have to loosen this a little bit to pull. <laughs> keep, keep, keep trying. Okay, there you go. There, got it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna loosen this and then. Yeah, keep pulling up. You got room. That, that help at all? Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Tighten it up. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do? I made two screws. Okay, there's one. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna use one. You basically, all you gotta do is get one screw in each corner. I keep, I keep moving the. I keep like <laughs> failing at getting one screw in each corner. There we go. Okay. It should, it'll twist in on its own. If you wanna twist that with a screwdriver. Just don't tighten it down, just in. Okay, cool. Now, we have that. 
We'll do the same thing with this one. There you go, if you want to put one screw there. There you go, in that corner. And then we'll have like everything essentially mounted and then we can put on the rest of the screws. And then go ahead and tighten it. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. And the one on the front too? Yeah, we'll tighten them both and then we'll pull the rest in. Okay, so now we go for the side camera here. We'll actually, hey, Brian, uh, let's lift this up a little bit. Lift the side camera up a little bit here. So it's a little bit higher. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now you can actually see big case, but we now have all of our fans in. So what we'll do real quick, just to make this easy, is let's go ahead and put in, let's actually put in our pump. Right. So you want to grab here. I'm going to grab you. Uh, I'm going to grab you a little pad okay, and some it. thermal paste, and then we'll clean off the Ooh. thermal paste on the pump. We're going to pump. Yeah, we're going to take off the pump thermal paste. Oh. Okay. We, we put our stuff on already. Yeah, those kind of pop off. Find out the, the hard way. There you go. All right, man. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, we're waxing this bad boy off. <laughs> nothing about, nothing about, uh, nothing in a bad way. We're just like, and actually, Corsair's thermal paste is actually really good. We just, we just like to do the full IHS so and make pretty. sure that we have a solid coverage, just because okay. of what we're essentially the 14900KS. Okay. We want to make sure that we have a good, clean coverage there. Clean is always good, man. Yeah. Okay. Cool, so there's that, that's good to go. We're gonna do one check before we put it on, we're gonna do one check, just make sure that our corners are all super tight. Cause this is one of the things that people, yeah, I don't even know why I doubted that you did that. Okay, wow, I, can't, okay. <laughs> I could even pretend to move those if I wanted to. Okay, is that the way you wanna do it? Yeah, the pumps go down like that, yep. Yeah. The bottom, there we go. No. Wait, what? What did it do? Oh, there we go. There we go. If you want to put that one in the top left. Uh-oh. My fingers are too... Too big. And the other thing too that's really nice about the uh, the H1 the H170 and even uh, the any of the IQ Link ones is that you do not actually have to... Like there's no cables on the pump at all. So changing it, removing it, all that sort of stuff. Very easy. Okay. There you go. Okay, and you want to tighten those all down. In a cross. In a cross pile. We're gonna cross one. But we're gonna do. Look at this teamwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're making the teamwork. I think the there teamwork. We we're making it happen. There we go. Okay. And there, I heard a rumor that uh, Nay and Josh are getting really close to the point where they can start putting tubes in. Okay, <laughs> we're almost there, so. Oh, we're missing one thing. Okay, so we're, when they're getting close, we're actually like, we're, we're at AIO time, which is always like a good thing. We're at like over halfway built at this point in time. I'm gonna make sure that our little thing is gonna they are. Lots of color, which is good. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Oh, no. Those are... They, yeah, these are exhausts. We need to have flipped these fans around. We did it, Roby! We did the fans backwards! <laughs> Just like last Friday. Just like last Friday. <laughs> I was, like, going through. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. So we're going to fix our... First, we're going to fix this. But those are intakes. Yeah, they're currently... They're oh, currently thanks. exhaust right now. And that would literally feed nothing. <laughs> thanks, thanks. It's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. It would literally just suck air out and suck, it's like, oh, it's immediately. But luckily, it's on a, it's easy to fix that. So we're going to fix that real quick. It's only 16 screws. Yeah, you know, honestly, you need a, you need a, you need a workout. That's, that's really <laughs> what I, that's what I realized. Is this like a cork head? Shouldn't be. See, it's one thing, even though like Nay and Josh were talking about how they have 
not the ideal zoom cam. I did give them the wow stick, guys. I gave them the wow stick, which honestly, for, for fans, makes such a massive difference. So yeah, you just, you can't say I don't love you guys. Okay, so we're gonna have to flip these fans around so they're all intake. Okay, because that was my bad. It's all good. It happens. Like they were asking earlier in the show, like, what have you done? <laughs> no, correct. We haven't done anything. When is the wow stick giveaway? Everybody's like, where? Like, we know you're doing all the giveaways today, Roby. Okay, so you want to flip the, yeah, flip those it. around? Yeah. You want to go check? I'm a little on the on the straightness of that. Uh, yeah, yo. Yeah. We're gonna make sure the AIO is straight while he's doing that. Pump does seem a little. I just want to make sure I wasn't I wasn't crazy or. There we go. And we're gonna go like Sir. this. Oh come on. What? I'm not sure, like, was there a question? I don't know, I, don't, I couldn't tell, yeah. yeah. I think somebody wanted to ask us a question, we were all chatting at the same time. So, if there was somebody who was coming in and telling us to ask a question, uh, you have to repeat that. Okay, is that, uh, I mean, can I see your screwdriver real quick? Sorry. Yes, so some details of the KS that we've been talking throughout uh, you know, throughout the show. The KS, it's a special edition processor that it just launched last week on Thursday. Uh, what it is, is we know that we, when we build these processors, we have different beans. So what it means by different beans is we know that uh, not all processors are created equally. So what you know is when we do a lot of tests, we want to see uh, what uh, frequency they perform and what different characteristics they show. And depending on the characteristics they show, uh, we tell, okay, this is going to be an i9, this is going to be an i5, this is going to be an i... Sorry, i9, i7, i5, i3, and so forth and so on. And, but we know that within those groups, there are processors, there's a distribution that there's some processors that actually perform better. So some i9s perform better than others. So what we're doing is we're just grabbing that little group and we're calling it special editions. And those are the ones that we're talking about today. And those guys, for example, uh, out of the box, they come at 6.2 gigahertz uh, for one core for turbo and 5.9 for all cores and 5.7, a little bit lower turbo, depending on thermals, power draw, and a bunch of other different things. So uh, this processor comes with eight P cores, 16 E cores. So that's a total of 24 cores, 32 threads, because the P cores are the ones that are hyper-threaded. Uh, it also still has graphics in them. Uh, uh, of course, it's a case so you can overclock it and also XMP, depending on which motherboard you're using. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I can remember what I mean, the big, and then again, the other thing too is just to remember that the, uh, the KS is also, well, we had a great coverage. We had, uh, the KS is also awesome and it's really kind of focused on your more enthusiast level uh, people. So it's not, exactly. this is not something that like, you know, if you're, if you, you know, if you have a 14900K and you're like, oh, do I need to get a 14900KS? That depends on if you're one of the people who wants the best of the best, right? Or if you're somebody who's looking for the absolute fastest in terms of render time, or you're one of those very, very competitive eSport players. Those are all kind of who the 14900KS is for, right? Um, and that's not, and so it's just one of those things that you have to ask yourself, right? Value is definitely individual to the person, right? So if the person is, you know, if you're, you, you can tell, you'll know if this is something that's for you. And exactly. if it's not, that's okay. There are plenty of other CPUs in the stack from Intel that you can take a look at. Things like the 14.6, the 14.7, which is absolutely amazing processor and, and that are general workhorses that can take care of most of the things that you probably need to handle. But the 1400KS is just one of those things. It's like literally for that overclocker, that water cooler who wants to make sure that everything is as tweaked or as good as it can be. So, for sure. We're, ooh, ooh, let's not get that on that. Wow, I was like on the acrylic here. Yeah. I was, I think I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why the, the pump was so crooked. So I'm just checking to see if our, our standoffs Maybe are actually in the right, right holes. Cause if 
feels like maybe not, so I'm just verifying did, that we're actually all, yeah, if they didn't move or anything like that, so I'm just checking that. You want me to remove the back plate here to see? No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm just removing the, the standoffs at each one to make sure it is. So let's actually, why don't we do this real quick. Uh, let's go through what our parts are for each of the builds, because I think that's a really good thing. So can we bring up the parts list for uh, this system down here? Uh, oh, sorry, up here, we're gonna be talking the first one. This one's got a Core i9, 14900KS. And we're, be, we're using the, uh, we're using the, th uh, the uh, Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi. Main reason is we're also, you're also noticing that there's also a little bit of a balance here that we're not throwing all super high-end parts at this, right? Couple things, one, uh, we wanna make sure that this is something that we can give away. So that means there's always costs that have to go with that. Uh, and then the other thing too is also showing that you don't have to go buy like an Apex CPU or a, sorry, an Apex motherboard. You're gonna see when we basically do our benchmarking, which we'll absolutely be doing live here on the show, that you guys can see uh, that, the, that it's still performing just as well as it would be on any other motherboard. And a lot of times when people buy motherboards, you feel like, oh, I have to buy the best one for this. That's not necessarily true. If you're not gonna water cool, you may not need something like an Apex board because you're not you're not needing a lot of the pumps and et cetera, the extra add-ins that come with that. Those are still backwards. Okay, just right, there you. Sure. Yeah, just like that, yeah, perfect. Because they're gonna go like, like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's the other thing too uh, that's also worth noting, right? So uh, continuing with the parts list, sorry. Uh, I know I Josh was like, okay, is he done timeout? I wasn't. Uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, so we're gonna bring those part list back up. We have the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 4080 Super. Again, you're still gonna use some of that CPU because you're gonna be getting 1440p and 4K gaming there. We have three terabytes of MP600 Elite storage. So that's plenty of storage there. One terabyte for your OS and your applications, plus a two terabyte for uh, your gaming and everything else. Uh, for your uh, RAM, we're using Corsair Dominator Platinum, that super beautiful Dominator Platinum RAM uh, at 6,600 mega transfers at 32 gigs at DDR5. For the uh, case, we're using the Corsair 7000D by Blue Horse, customized by Blue Horse Studios. We showed that a little bit earlier. Right now, it's just kind of in plain naked mode. For the cooler, we're using the Corsair H170i IQ Link LCD. And then for the power supply, we're using the tough 850 watt PSU uh, for our uh, for our PSU at this point in time. So that's our thing. So anyway, guys, that's just kind of an overview. And then the other two is we can actually let them tell you all about their build and check in on Nene and Josh downstairs. Hey welcome. Guys, welcome back. We're back. back. They can't see the PC, they can can't. they? That's not good. You can try and move it over for you guys. Yes. So we have made some. Uh, oh, or, or just go full screen. That solves yeah, a lot that of works. problems. Yeah. So um, we've uh, gotten our PC pretty much together. That was that was fun. Yes. <laughs> Always fun putting these together. You you never know what kind of problems you're going to run into until mm -hmm. you actually do one of them. Yep. Like uh, the fans in particular were like, oh wait, we actually need longer radiator screws. Oh, and we needed the splitter cable. And splitter cables, things mm -hmm. like that. And it's it's all things that uh, Mr. Roby Tech has sorted. You know, he's he's basically got a He's like, like a, a, micro a mini shop here, <laughs> so anything you need, he's like, he's got it, you know? Yeah, but we've gone ahead and we've put in our tubes. We've got the bottom ones up, so we've also got a drain valve down here in the back. And then uh, there's only one tube left that we are going to put up on the top, so we thought we'd save that for you to stream. Yeah, so a quick rundown on the loop, because we should probably explain how, how this all works. So uh, we have our pump reservoir here, so this has basically got a pump attached to it. And what this does is it pumps the water out of here, this is going into our first radiator. The okay. water gets circulated around there. And then it comes out this one on the bottom right. So this comes around here, goes into our GPU. We have obviously a bunch of uh, like uh, conductive material on the, on the GPU. So the water goes in there, takes the heat, and then it comes out of the GPU. It goes into our CPU and then circulates around the CPU to get rid of the heat. Someone left a comment saying that our build looks pretty good. Oh, I'm glad you guys are liking it. So yeah, and then the water finally comes out of here. It's gonna feed its way up into this radiator, go through the radiator, and finally come back down into here, and the loop begins again. Now, um, you might be wondering about what materials we've used for the tube in. Now, this, oh, yeah. this is acrylic, <laughs> which 
has some challenges. Doesn't yeah, it? so uh, previously in the stream, we talked about in the beginning, like I've mostly used PET G, actually, I've always used PET G tubing yeah. because it's easier to bend. It heats up faster as well when you're doing like your twists and turns. So this was the first time that I've used acrylic or acrylic. No, acrylic. <laughs> That's a new word. We have a new word then. <laughs> acrylic. Um, I would definitely say that this was. A lot harder than I was expecting to, considering that I've done a lot of um, I've done a lot of water cool builds. It was uh, I didn't think it was that hard to heat up. Yeah, it was more so the cutting because it's they a little tend bit to more, crack. Yeah, it tends to, to crack. crack at the ends. But we got it done. I think it yes. looks good. We've got one more tube to put in. You want to put it in because I've yes, put in all I, this. I will do this. Yes. Um, so uh, yeah, it's normally Nene doing all this tubing stuff. I'm usually behind the camera, so every every time I get an opportunity to do something like this, I'm like jump at the opportunity now uh, the way this works is basically you have your fitting so the fittings are already attached to the radiator but you can see how I'm putting like this little collar on and there's also an o-ring as well so what happens is when you attach this it kind of seals it so that no water is uh, going to get out hopefully that doesn't happen otherwise that's gonna be fun to clean up but yeah we can uh, we can take our last tube right here and if we get this lined up, make sure we got our might need to come up through the front. on here. Yeah, I might need Nay's help, actually. So this is just going to push inside. I'll try and get that seated. There we go, inside yeah. the CPU. Put our O-ring up, and then this thing is just going to come on here and tighten down. And that is basically hard tubing in a nutshell. Now. If you're not feeling that brave, because it is a challenge, isn't it, to get all the, the tubes to go where you want? Yes, it is. And there's, like, Nay always says there's a there's a huge amount of creativity in it, because there's so many different ways you could do this tubing. Um, like, yeah, you could yeah, go so up here. Yeah, there's so much room yep. that you could do here. You could do some twists and turns. You could connect them. You could have um, the little fan. What is the little fan spinner? I keep forgetting. Oh, the uh, flow meter. The flow meter. Yeah, you can put flow meters in Those there. Those look cool yeah, when the, you put them inside the PC. They do. So there's so many things you can do. Uh, I know, Nay, you've actually done like a bunch of spirals before. I have done some spirals. Those were pretty cool. I actually learned how to... Um, actually, I didn't even learn. I just randomly did this. I took a pole. It was a, a shower curtain pole. It was metal. I took, oh, and you wrapped it around it. I, well, yes. yeah, and I took two clamps, clamped the pole to the desk, and then I was like, I bet you I could make a spiral yep. and use that to create it, and it worked out perfectly. Yes. So, uh, how are we looking on that final fitting? Because I think, Everything guys, we should be almost ready good. to start filling the loop, Yeah. which I'm very excited for. Now, um, yeah, this, this is one crazy system. Obviously, we'll just have a quick run through specs for those who have just joined. So... Uh, we have a, if nay, you want to come around this side so the lovely people watching can see it. Are you sure they don't want to see the back of my head? That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll also give it a spin as well because we've got it on the Lazy Susan. So yeah, quick rundown on specs. We've got the Fantex NV7, it's like a medium sized of the bunch. Um, obviously for the processor, the heart of the system, we have the new i9-14900 oh, yeah. KS, which <laughs> I'm super excited to actually get this in my system at home because I do a lot of video editing. So this kind of chip, like I just want the best of the best, you know? So am I gonna get downgraded to the, the 1400? Yeah, I mean, you, you generally <laughs> get the hand-me-downs, that's kind of how it works, I but I make sure she gets all the cool looking stuff, so it's fine. What are you talking about? You just got two 49 inch monitors. <laughs> I, I do, yes, that, that is a thing. Uh, but yeah, just continuing the specs, uh, we have 32 gigabytes of Kingston Fury Renegade. That's at 6,000 megatransfers per second. Uh, we also have the RTX 4080 Super. Now, this is actually, sorry, it's an RTX 4080. Uh, it's actually the MSI Gaming X Trio, and we mm -hmm. put an EK water block on this. So yeah, the whole system is water blocked from EK. So really cool, we're running the uh, Fantex D30 fans, which look amazing. We actually have that GPU at home. That's a great card. Whoever is gonna take this uh, PC home is gonna be able to play games and do whatever they want on this PC, no problem. Yeah, so absolutely awesome looking system. And I think we are getting ready to fill it, guys. So um, shall we grab our liquid? Yes. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. I don't think we've mixed our own I've liquid never before, used, have we? I've this... always had it pre-mixed. Yeah, this, this is going to be like a little like cooking it's, show. No, it's going to be like science class. Yeah, or science class, yeah. Uh, did you ever make potions at home? When I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, I used to like, uh, I, I used to mix like shampoo with like so. Oh, I was talking about outside. I used to oh, go and yeah. mix like leaves and flowers and twigs. And if you haven't like made that. potions as a kid in the back garden, have you actually lived? 
Uh, anyway, we have uh, some of this. So this is basically distilled water. I know it looks slightly blue. I did a bit of an experiment hey guys, hold earlier. Hold on, everyone in the comments keeps saying they like the jacket. I don't know if they're talking about your jacket or the Intel jacket. Oh, what? yeah, you're gonna yeah. have to be a little bit more specific, See, look guys. It, it can be it, both ways. You could, you, you could either wear it this way, or you could wear it with the blue and then have it up like that. Yeah, Pretty we, cool jacket. we basically stole it from HQ a little, <laughs> yeah. a little while back so that we could uh, yeah have some cool merch. Now, this is how we are going to make our liquid. So as I was saying, this is distilled water. Uh, it looks slightly blue because I, I was doing some experiments earlier, but we are gonna see how blue this should be. So well, how blue do you want it to be? I actually don't know. So what I'm gonna do is just, just. I feel like a nice pastel blue would be. Do like nice. a few drops. That was maybe like 20. <laughs> Let's give it a little shake and see how blue it gets, shall we? That's I'm, not a shake. Yeah. I'm, I think this is watertight, so we should be fine. God, it goes all over the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's before we've even filled it up. I think we should just put a little bit more. You're thinking it should be a bit more blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we normally use like pre-mixed stuff, don't we? I don't think we've done this uh, do. mixy mix before. I'm sure it will be just as good. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking that's like a nice color. Yeah. What do you think? It's kind of like a uh, a dish soap blue, isn't it? Yes. I like that. It's like, it's like the freaking, <laughs> what is the soap we have at home? It's the freaking... Um... All right, what do we... What are we thinking, guys? Let us know in the comments. Is this blue enough for you? Oh, yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you guys think it's blue <laughs> enough or if you want it to be more pigmented. We'll put some more in there. So I'm seeing a purcell blue. The purcell. Fo folks over mm -hmm. in the UK will, will know not what that blue, is. Not blue enough. Should All we right. do a little bit All more? Right. All right. The chat has spoken. Well, I guess the person who's taking this home, they want their PC to be ice. Right. Mm. All right. Uh, oh, let me grab. Let's, uh, Mix this Ooh. up. Did you, yes. Did I just pull your thing out? That's okay. All right. How are we looking now? I think that's looking pretty good. You liking it? Thinking it's looking pretty good. Yes, excellent. So this is very important because this is what is going to be cooling. That this looks thing. like a juice. It does. Like Kool Aid. So yeah, we are, we're gonna be calling this thing, which obviously uh, with a chip like this, it's, it's a very powerful chip. So you can be drawing a lot of power on this. Um, so a custom loop is definitely one way you could go. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Roby up there is building a system with a, a 420 millimeter AIO. So it's kind of cool seeing how you can, you can cool an amazing chip like this on both like just off the shelf hardware like AIO, but also go in the full custom loop as well. So yeah, we're kind of like tinkerers, aren't we? We are. We like we like making stuff. So this is usually the part where we have our cameras going and we're about to do our. Oh yeah, we we always when we do our time lapse builds, we're always having like five or six cameras recording. So you'll this just is see. An interesting little job we got. It is. We I think this is going to be a two person job. I think so. So this is what we are going to be filling the loop with. So first of all, we've got to get the liquid into here. I need to take off one of the uh, ports. Yep. How are we looking on that? Good? Good. Did we want to unplug the motherboard? No, I mean, so we've got a couple of options here, guys. We could fill it up, and then we could kind of jump the PSU so that none of these are connected. I think that's probably a good idea. So uh, yeah. I think we have a little adapter on hand somewhere which allows you to do that. So I think we can... what we'll do is we'll... Yeah. Um... I'm thinking maybe we should have them go up to Roby just for a few minutes and we can get prepared to sure. get ready to do the loop. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop we'll this back. in here, guys, and don't worry, you're not going to miss the good part. We will be back. Oh, hey, okay, so yeah, we're going to come back up. What's up, guys? We are currently uh, about to actually put in our, uh, our GPU. So we're just basically uh, getting this open. So we got this beautiful... Asus Tough 4080 Super that we're gonna be popping inside of our build. So we'll go to top down here in a second and you guys can kind of see as we uh, as we get ready to uh, pop it in here. And then we're just getting ready to ex uh, add our extensions and then our PSU. And then the, what, the last thing that we'll be doing, which obviously just takes some time, is prepping our, um, Prepping, connecting all our IQ link stuff together, which always just takes some time. So we'll just drop that in there. Again, beautiful, big, beautiful GPU to fill that spot there. 
cool. There we go. And then where do we have our, oh, there it is. Screwdriver, we want the magnetic one because it's just easier. There we go. Beautiful case. That's yeah. So much space. Yeah, we got so much space on this one to get it basically built. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, because of the design that we have, we're gonna be using uh, like some lighter PSU cables, but we wanna basically have all our PSUs. And then Alex went ahead and hooked up our our rear fan, so we have that. So the one thing we'll have to work through next is we'll basically start working through getting all of our stuff done. And then the other thing too, which is cool, is they actually have a GPU sag bracket. So should we need it, we're actually good there. So there we go, now our case is starting to get filled out nicely. And then really our last thing is just about cabling and getting all of our stuff kind of hooked up. So a lot of our zip, because of the IQ link stuff, it, uh, it makes it really easy to basically uh, do your cable management when we're good. So, <sighs> okay, so here is our cable extension. So you saw their colors already. So I'm gonna show you ours. Ours are actually really cool. Again, to match the custom design that we have from Blue Horse Studios, we went with white, black, and gray for our cables, which is which I think are gonna look. Yeah, which I think are gonna look really nice. So, and again, there's those nice, yeah, there's the actual, this front of the glass. And then again, we got some matching cable extensions right here to kind of go with that to just make it so we get some pop of that inside of the actual case as well. So it's like we're color coordinated. It's so beautiful. We're, 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 taking, we're taking cues from Nay and Josh so that way we are color coordinated as well. Okay. Oh, and if you, what you can do actually, uh, Alex, is if you wanna take all of these little small screws and finish screwing in our oh, yeah. AIO, cause there's only two screws in there right now. You can go around. Oh yeah, can we go to, can we uh, cut over to side cam right now? So that way uh, we can, he can uh, do some, uh, do some additional work on the case. Cause now, now, now his block in it. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get this in and we'll go to top down here in a second once I get this. But right now what I'm doing is I'm putting in my cable combs to make sure that this looks good. And I think uh, Josh and Nair, are you guys ready to? Okay, let's go and let them jump in. Guys, we'll see you guys in just a bit as we continue to get our, our builds finished here, guys. All right, who is ready to see us fill this loop? And uh, let's hope it doesn't leak. I hope not. Yes. That's <laughs> gonna be a pain. How many leaks have we had before on, uh, I think we've had Maybe one or two on when filming a time lapse builds. Maybe maybe just one actually. It depends how how tight your bends are. But yeah, we have our liquid right here. So we're gonna right. take this. I can put it in there. Okay. I think we're gonna switch to a close up. So uh, yeah, we'll we've got it all plugged in, so it's ready to go. Okay. Oh, that's actually a really pretty color. It is. And the good it's part very is subtle. The good part is is that if we want to later on we can just add more of the color to make it more blue. Oh, yeah, I really like the color. Yeah, that's quite cool. Wow. It's like a like yeah, it's like a pastel blue kind of like not too dark. All right. I think we are ready to go. So, the way this works is you kind of have to cycle it a few times. So we're gonna turn it on. This is gonna go down. You, you, you guys are gonna see all the liquid come out of here. And then when this gets to the bottom, we have to turn it off because we don't wanna run the, run the pump dry. Uh, so yeah, it's probably gonna take three or four cycles. We'll have to fill it up a few times. So are we ready we to turn it off? We might stop if it leaks, but Yes, hopefully. but hopefully it won't. <laughs> Otherwise we will need apps in the chat. All right, <laughs> are we ready? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. Nay is gonna hit the power button on the top. And uh, yes, three. so no, I'm gonna turn it on first. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep, three, two, one. Go. All right, All right and stop. And let's fill up again. I don't think we've got any leaks so far, have we? Well, I've only seen one, two. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have another begun. four. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed with how fast we've managed to build this water-cooled PC. I, you're telling me. Are we ready again? Yes. Okay, run number two, guys. It's gonna come along the bottom. There it goes. Oh, come on. And then stop. Hopefully. 
so full. Excellent. It's looking good so far. I don't see any leaks on the bottom. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this this right here, guys, this is damage control. You know, if <laughs> something goes catastrophically wrong, then we're all right. Yeah, I got a few people in the chat liking this blue color. Yeah, it is, it's really It's a very nice. interesting blue. I like it. All right. Are we ready for number three? Yeah. So if you if you want to put that in there, we can continue to fill it up we as could. we go. That's yeah, probably going to be could. a little faster. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. And keep filling. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm. And we got to stop. And I think this is the time to just get the funnel out because we're going to have to refill this bottle. Yeah. And I think, guys, after maybe two more, it should be completely full. Yeah. And you'll probably see all the air bubbles uh, like flying as well. So let's, uh, if I hold this nade, do you want to pull that in there? It is, it's looking really good. It's always the most exciting part, isn't it? Filling it up. Really, I think the most exciting part is putting it on my desk. Or that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she she complains that I'm going to be getting the 4900 KS, but you you always get the water cooled build. Well, that's because I. That's I how enjoy. that's how it goes. That's our dynamic here. All right, we're looking good on this, yes. so we should have enough, I think, now to finish it off. Oh, we have a question in the chat. What is hardline? So as we continue to do this, hardline is this right here. So it's basically hard tubing. Wait, I gotta turn it on? And you have to bend them. Do we go again? Yeah, we'll have to go again. Okay. I've only, I've got only- It is nearly full though. You, you yeah. guys can see it in here. It's gone up here and it's uh, also going up to the radiator. Ready for one more run? Yep. I've only got so much strength to push All right. my hands. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Let's go. I think we've made it. Oh, have we made uh, it? Uh, yes, we yes, did. Yes, let's go. Nice. It doesn't look like we have... It hasn't things. exploded, so that's, that's, a, that's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> ah, so, so people are starting... I, I actually agree with you in the chat. We have... Uh, I can't read from here. DD, I'm going to go with that. It says, is it still me or could it be a little more blue? I was actually thinking that. I actually I was agree at it. with you. You know, it, it's kind of hard to tell when you have it in that little container yep. over there. Should we should we add a little bit more? Could could you actually could you add the dye? I wonder. Why yes. It's in there? Let's let's give it a go, shall we? Life's too short to wonder <laughs> if that's gonna work. I like it. I like it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It will probably mix it together better, actually. Or maybe it's just like a. A super there you go now it's starting to come through keep doing that wow is that looking better that now looks guys so much better okay i think that's good thank you chat. How's that? thank you chat yes you Sometimes guys have better eyes than us you need a see. second set of eyes wow yeah it looks good yeah so this will kind of continue to mix yeah so it'll probably the the color will start to even out yeah but yeah, how do you think it's looking, eh? I think it looks great. Yeah, I really like the color. I don't. The only we've never actually done like a pastel kind of like blue. Like oh, you this. mean like a transparent? Yeah, transparent. Yeah yeah. 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 Oh, so someone was also asking, can we make this more opaque? So here's the thing: you have like these where you can mix them. So this is the cryo fuel from EK, mm -hmm. but they also do cryo fuel solid. Yeah. Which. Is, is what you're talking about. That's like the ones that you can't see through. Yeah, um, They're, yeah the consistency looks a lot like. Yeah, it's like of. you can't see through it. It's just like a solid blue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just figured out this, we just figured this time we haven't really used a transparent one before. So I was kind of curious to see what it looks like. And yeah. I actually think it, it looks really good. I like both, honestly. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I think we've got our loop all filled. Shall we head up to uh, Roby and see what they're working on? Yeah, so we're going to get this all hooked up, and then uh, we can move on to some benchmarks in a bit. Sweet. How are we getting on upstairs? Getting along nicely as we are basically working through. We're just basically on our cable management, and then we just have to... It's kind of like our last part is like, you guys, it's all about getting the loop filled. Ours is just about getting our cooling solution hooked up here, which is mostly just about the getting all the... Um, getting all the fans up and running. But our, our build actually, here in a minute, we'll turn it around and you'll actually see it's pretty much done. We just have to do PSU and then 
we'll actually be good to go in terms of uh, getting ready and close to turning ours on. Now, I know what they're gonna work on right now is getting it turned on, getting their RGB, you know, all that sort of stuff, getting final lighting, and then we'll be able to jump down and do benchmarks with them. And then it looks like we're I, where I thought we might actually be first, we're gonna end up being second, so we'll end up doing benchmarks at the end, of at the very end of the show, and then when we'll then give the PC away, uh, which will be absolutely awesome. We've been, by the way, we've been giving away uh, stuff, right? So if you guys are curious, and uh, we, we, has, we saw some folks' feedback about um, giveaway, so we actually, if you're wanting to win anything, because people were worried about missing and stuff like that, what we've done is we've simplified, everything is over at twitch.tv slash intel, so if you're gonna win the PC or any other things that we're gonna do, head over to twitch.tv slash intel. You can totally chill still with all of them. I know we have people all over the place. There's almost 13,000 people here right now. So if you wanna head to any one of those locations, that's where you're gonna do it. That's where we're gonna basically be doing all the giveaways and stuff like that. So we're gonna turn it around in just a few minutes so you guys can kind of see the final build as what, what we're gonna work on next is really just kind of uh, getting the PC cooling all finished. I wonder if this is Roby approved. Is it uh, tying? Uh, probably, I think it's gonna be fine. So, okay. What do you wanna do? Okay, you wanna come take a look at it? Well, I was trying to get it there. Well, that's fine, and then just basically go right down like that. That's totally okay, okay. yeah. Just like that, and then we want to get these to stay just basically like that. Okay. Oh, and then yeah. we'll grab our hubs. So we're gonna do two hubs just to be safe. But now what I'm gonna start working on here is I gotta start daisy chaining cables together to make sure that stuff is hooked up correctly. Because that's always the that's all that's always the fun part. So I'm trying to look at this to figure out what makes those. So if I do this to these three, that may be the best, the smartest move here. I'm gonna find the adapter. We're gonna have to grab my light. All right, so there's the plug. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna plug this in, in the front. Okay, let's get the light on here. There we go. All right, let's get, I'm just trying to get our, the one thing that's always fun guys is when you're doing this, is when you get to the point where you're like, oh, we just installed this entire radiator. Actually, you know what I just realized? I can do this. Where's my screwdriver? Let's do this, unscrew this, and then I'll be able to lift it up. What do you want to do? I got it, I got it. There we go. How's your cable? I've actually put Alex on cable management. He's probably pretty mad about it. He's like, what no, the heck? No, I'm not heck? mad. I'm a little He's like, what the heck, Roby? I'm a little scared because uh, this, this is, is the... supposed to be this is supposed to be your area of expertise. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm dealing with this is the master and I want to make sure I want to make him proud. So oh, that's OK. <laughs> Apparently, I'm listening to Nene and Josh talking about, well, you know, cable management. It's you know, secondary. Eh. All right, there we go. So we got that in. Okay, we're just gonna have this come around like that. So we're here in the side camera. There we go. We're just gonna so now all our there's our cameras there. So there our fan these three fans are now in. There we go. There's like all the you know, this is this is a uh, this is gonna sound weird, but this is therapeutic. I told you, <laughs> people don't know. It's like yes, it is. It's very therapeutic. I think if I do this, so the last the last two fans I have to work on here. Oh, we have to get that out. Now the question is, can I do it this way? I should be able to. Okay, so it's gonna be that one. So I should be able to do this. Maybe. Might have to go grab another cable. 
I will be back as he's doing zip tying. I gotta go grab another cable just to make sure that we can finish this out. Need to get it through there. Oh, maybe I'll use just this one. We'll see if this is gonna go through here. There's, oh, I wonder, well, let's see if this goes. Can I go this through this way? There we go. Come over oh, here, yeah. buddy. It's always nice to have a bunch of cables on hand. Oh, there. dude, you're doing great. You're just zip tying like a madman. <laughs> just put in all the zip ties, Roby. That's all I did. I just put in a lot of zip ties. Sir. <laughs> sir, yeah, sir. There we go. <laughs> get in there. Really get in there. Come on, work with me. Work it. There we go. You're like, did you just say work it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not up with the lingo lately. <laughs> what is this, the 90s? Like, Jesus. When was he born? Okay, here we go. Despise my good looks. <laughs> it's, just your, yeah, it's just your good looks that have gotten you through up until this point. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was my hair. Definitely my hair. Your hair? Yeah. <laughs> that's like your, that's like your, that's like your single biggest, that's like your single biggest uh, selling and in, in, in bonus point right there. Exactly. Okay, we're going to get this up here. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> trying to get this stuff through here. <laughs> you know what just happened now? Yeah. yeah. So you see uh, this cable over here? Let's just keep pulling it. Well, don't, don't actually don't keep pulling it because I got to get it picked up. See this that zip tie here that's already been zip tied? Oh, we have No, that's okay. Don't zip tie that yet because we got to. No. Okay. We got to figure out where that's going to run. That's for this is all for the hub. For okay. the, uh... I was like, no. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, now, where's that cable that you were pulling there you making fun of? No, I wasn't making fun of it. I was like, no, I need to cut okay, the zip cool. ties and re-zip tie it. Where do you want me to put it through? I'm going to run it to over here. So this goes, runs up here. The question is, am I, ooh, wait. Is this really, uh, oh, no, crud. Okay, well, I chose the wrong one. Not a big deal. Oh, no. We'll fix that. No, senor. Okay, so guys, we are we are getting really close to a couple massive giveaways, guys. Number one, I think one that might not be a bad idea is we have these right here, and there we have one of them, and they are crazy rare. These are the big chippies, and they have replaceable faces. They say Intel in the back, and we're going to be giving away one of these on the show, probably one of the most rare chippies that you can get so given that we're getting so close to having everything built we are going to go ahead and start that giveaway uh, on the intel twitch channel so if you want to head over to twitch.tv slash intel that's where we're going to basically be doing that giveaway so head on over there and uh, big chippy guys it's going right now four minutes over at twitch.tv slash intel and get in on that giveaway, because you uh, you do not want to miss that. Those were the instructions, right? Uh, CPU cooler for Big Chippy is uh, is liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Right. Yeah, liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen for, 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 for taking care of Big Chippy. Big Chippy needs liquid nitrogen. That's just that's a big that's personality. Just, that's a big personality, and just it's something that you. I mean, you can't you can't replace. It's just yeah, it's so many gigahertz. And so little, so little time. You know what I'm saying? All right, sir. This has been tied. Okay, if you can pull, tie. what do you want me to pull? Pull this one through here. What? Th this, this. There's, there's a. You should see a cable there. Which one? This one? Oh, that. that okay. You're gonna put it through there, or through here? All right. Here we I go. got you. Okay. Here we go. Keep going. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. And then that's enough. That's all. Don't pull anymore. Don't pull anymore. Okay. I gotta plug it into the fan here. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna pull this out and it's gonna go across to right here. So actually, if you wanna unscrew these real quick. All right. And, we'll, and then we, at the very top, you'll see the, where we're gonna connect that. And then all of our fans, you know, the connection of this fan is at the bottom, right? All it's a, it's going to be at the very top of that fan, yeah. Oh, with this oh there's, there's going to, so up at the top of the fan is a power okay, thing so, for this. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And that's how we're going to daisy chain those together. And then we just got to plug in the... I see, I see you. Oh, did you oh, lose it? failed. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, well, I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a real PC building show if we hadn't dropped at least one screw, you know? You find it? Yeah, I'm just saying like, wait, we're missing one screw here. <laughs> there should be four. Yeah, th there's supposed to be five, but, uh, but who's counting? Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so right there at the top, if you look at the top, there's one, just plug that into the one, you'll notice it's the one that you can plug into. There we go. Whoa. Okay, and then, now we just re-put them in. Guys, again, getting very close. The front of this build is actually completely finished. It looks super sick, super clean, which makes me happy. The only thing we'll have left after this is we just have to do our PSU, which is gonna be super, super straightforward. We're at the almost at the very end of this whole build process, which is awesome and makes me happy. So, the you guys day. will have seen, by the time this is all said and done, you guys will have seen two full um, PC builds built here on Intel Live, which I'll tell you, the Overlord Sarah has always loved for us to do. And I, I've seen a couple people, and I think, uh, Sarah, you can you can uh, contest this, is some people are like feeling the old mod workshop vibes, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They are, they are missing the full builds. They're missing the full build. So I love that we've had the chance to kind of get here and give you guys the full build, the full meal deal, and uh, get all of this done. Because we, we are very close to uh, to wrapping this up. We just have a couple more small cables to kind of deal Ooh. with, and then... Time! We're gonna, yeah, is that it? Okay, <laughs> yeah. so one thing we're gonna do, it's interesting, we're gonna try this, uh, a little trick here. I have, a, I think I have room, can you see a cable coming Right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, if you I'm, pull that, more to your more to your left. I got you. Okay, pull that. We're we're actually gonna run a cable behind the motherboard. Pull it out as tight as you can. All the way through the motherboard, or do you want to pull pull it I out? Wanna, here? I want to pull it out because it's gonna go plug into a hub. Okay, keep I got pulling, you. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Okay, stop, pulling. stop. Hold on one second. One second. Keep pulling. There you pulling. go. Perfect. Keep pulling. There you go. Okay. That's there you it. go. Okay. So that's through. Oh. Ooh, so congratulations serious. to the story ends for winning the big chippy. Ooh. Wow, that is like that is a prize right there. I'm gonna put it for there. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's grab a couple of zip ties here just to clean this little bit up. And then, how's it looking in the back there? Uh, uh contrary to popular belief, it's all business in the back. It's all. <laughs> that's in a that's in a good that's in a good state. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just waiting for the, the PSU, start some connections, and after we connect the PSU we could do a little bit more of uh, cable management. And uh, voila. What are you looking for? Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll pull that through. Pull that through. Okay, so now. Now what we can do is we can hook up our little, all we have to do now is hook up our hub. So we should have two cables for our hub. Oh. Right here. One. And then we'll get out of the way so Brian can see that. So there's two right there. Nice. So then that can go right there. That's ah, literally it's the- It's magnetic. And then this, yes. Plug into here. Uh, there you go. Oh, maybe. Uh. Uh, maybe it's like a USB stick, right? Just, there you, you go. have to try three times to yep. get it. Yep, and the then right we one. have this one right here. Yep, that's, a that's our USB, USB for it. And then right there, see that what that one? cable? Nope, nope, right this next one? to it. Nope, this one? that one. Yep, no more. that one right there. You want to untwisty tie that? Twisty tie, twisty tie. Okay, right. and then we're gonna plug this one. 
to go through PCIe. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. Now, if you want to hand me a ooh. off right this okay okay there we go cool do you want a zippy yeah we'll do a zip tie we're just gonna zip tie this right here doctor you must operate I am I'm gonna operate and get this one little cable squared away guys this is looking super good Hold on, actually, it's okay. Gotcha. There we go, okay. What did I do with the- Here it is, I got one. Oh, you already picked it up. Wow, look at you. He's like, he's like making it happen. This is where teamwork actually really makes this build. Um, yeah. Luckily, we might, actually, maybe what we do, uh, can, uh, yeah, so I I know that I I know that uh, the team downstairs is thinking about Fantex fans. Maybe we have uh, maybe Jasmine can have Kevin go take a look at them because he's actually pretty familiar with them. Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. So we got that squared. Now what we need is we're oops oops we're trying to keep this going. Now we're just gonna daisy chain this one more. No daisy chain one. We you need one these. Perfect. There you go. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. We're getting our, we're getting our cable management. Now. There's that. Okay. And then all we gotta do now is we have our power cable, which is gonna be right there. So all of our cabling, the only thing we have left, guys. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I got this gnarly cable sitting up here. By the way, Alex, I just gotta say, your cable management here, great job, dude. Thanks, Look man. Look at that. That's, right, a, that's I mean, you left this. Oh, never mind. Oh, you use that to. Oh, that's pretty smart. I like that. Yeah. Look at you being ingenious. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this and Over get there. this kind of cleaned. So if you want to give me, I need a couple of short ones, if possible. Shorty, shorty, shorty. I mean, after watching you build PCs for so for so long, for man, so I, got, long. I, got, I got to pick up something here and there. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, we got, guys, I mean, again, if people are asking probably about the giveaways, guys, we still got maybe 30, 45 minutes of stream left at the most, guys, so it's all good. We got plenty of time. Just good. settle in, watch lots of building. It's gonna be epic. There we go. And we're just gonna get that done because we're still gonna put in our PSU. Okay, and then we got this little bad boy here that needs to be cleaned. We could potentially probably want to do this actually a little bit more up here because yeah, they've got the other it's, stuff. It's like up. A, yeah, we got a lot of this other stuff kind of coming up. So let's grab this in. There we go. Getting that in, guys. So uh, for those who don't know, and you're, you're watching, you're probably tuning in because this is about the regular time when we probably we do some later Robitech streams. Or you're joining us from Twitter because some people retweeted. We are here celebrating the launch of the 14900 KS, yes, which sir. is the brand new flagship CPU from the team over at Intel. We are uh, we are building two systems down below us, which you uh, they're currently getting everything ready to do benchmarking and stuff like that is uh, Nene and Tech Tesseract. They're finishing out their build and we are on the last portion of our build, which is for our PSU. So we're literally just getting everything kind of finished out and prepared. 
for the last part of these builds and then we're gonna test them, get them benchmarked and all the fun stuff that you get to do at the very end. So now we're gonna come over here because this is the fun part. So here, let's show them the build as it exists now. So here it is. Now remember guys, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some, we're gonna be having white and blue is the, is the actual colors of the paint and everything else. So again, we're using white and blue to kind of create that little bit of pop to match the rest of the case. So there it is right there. There's the, so you can see it all matches the whole paint thing from there. So the last thing we got to do is we literally just got to grab our PSU. So you want to grab that. Yes, sir. I and then let's it. get, let's get the PSU in. Yeah, and then sure. our build will be ready to turn on. I mean, uh, make sure I don't break the work of art oh, over the there. Oh, the PSU is easy. Yeah, this is nothing, nothing crazy here. Cool. Okay, so one thing I love about these tough PSUs is the cables. So the cables for these are just so good. So, and we only need, I think we need four cables, guys. That's all we'll need. No SAT and nothing. It's just gonna be four cables and we're done. You know the beauty of NVMe and the motherboard? That's just... Yeah, the NVMe and then honestly, your guys is like uh, 16 pin connections, right? That you guys are that, part of the yep. standard team that, that was doing that work. Hey, look, they gave us, hey, look, they gave us more, uh, Zip ties, you wanna Sweet. check, look at this, more zip ties. We're gonna throw our little extra bits here into the, the can. Okay. All right. We're just kind of cleaning up as we get our last our last bits done. So we don't need that. We don't need. We do need that. We need that. We need that. Oh, that's right, we decided to do two CPU cables. Okay, so we need that. We don't need that. And we don't need, we, we don't need that. And we don't need that. Okay, so we don't need that and we don't need that. Cool, okay, awesome. So we got all our cables now. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put in our, we'll go to top down so we can show you guys installing our PSU stuff. So there we go. So this is our CPU, so there's that right there. Nice. Uh, and then we'll do this in. There we go, throw you the hand in that. Yes, yeah, sir. And then we're gonna do this one here. Okay, why are you not going in? Why are you not going in, Cable? Why is it not going in, Alex? It's Monday, so they're it's a little lazy. It's being lazy, yeah. There we go, okay, that's in. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. This is so we can power our little hub from uh, core cooler uh, from Corsair. So there we go. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. Would you like the regular zip ties or the nice Velcro ones so they comes with a... We'll do regular just because you'll see here in a minute the, how easy these are to basically zip tie, which is what I love about them. Okay, so then we got our last CPU cable. So, so these guys are individually sleeved, no? That's, yeah, uh, yeah that's, which is what I love about them. Yeah. There you go. There go. And then last cable for Whoa. the PSU. Oh. Oh, let me get wow, I'm like, apparently I'm going horse. There we go. And then we're gonna grab this. Okay, and then we just need our PSU screws. Do you wanna screw that in, sir? I will screw that will in, sir. Push this up so you guys can see here. I'm gonna hold it for you there so you can put the, get the screws in. And don't tighten them all the way so we can get all four in. Because if you tighten them all the way, sometimes it shifts. Uh, which one is this one? Uh, Am I moving it? Yeah. Oh, the lower. Yeah, I got you. There we go. This one over here. There we go. Actually, let's put this one here. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're at the. All we got to do now is just hook up our PSU power. Lift it up a little bit. Up. Oh. Uh, go to the corner. You don't have in the corner. There. Oh. Too strong. There, that's the one. There we go. That's the one. 
There you go. Okay, now go ahead and tighten it all the way. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Last little bit of our build is we have our two V2 CPU cables. Woohoo! Put this right here, and then we'll just have to cable manage it here in a minute. Put it top down here for a second. Yeah. So we're gonna do a top down there for that. There we go. Put this down like this, there we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and just get our last bit of cable management done here. Awesome. I think we turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then this one can go right here. Take care of that. <laughs> There's that. There we go. We're just gonna bit this. So guys, this is just getting the last little bit. So who, like when we think about the 14900KS, why don't we just do a quick overview of what it is? Like, so yes. it's a 14900K, it's got, how much, how many, how fast does it go? Like, what's our, what's, what's the our, top speed? What's the top speed in gigahertz, which is like, you know, that's the same measurement they use for Ferraris, right? Exactly. You know, which is a little bit faster. So, yeah, so for the uh, 14900KS is a uh, 6.2 gigahertz for one core. So it gets all the way to 6.2 out of the box. And also uh, can hit all core 5.9. And then you have the E cores at 4.5 uh, for the turbo. So you know, you got all the different types of cores being able to turbo that high. It also uh, still has, I mean, not still, but it, graphics are enabled as we had a question earlier if they were disabled or fused off, but no, they're actually coming very handy when it comes to uh, types of compression or video related uh, workload. So there's uh, the graphics is still in there. Uh, it, uh, yeah, so we said uh, eight P cores, 16 E cores, the P cores do hyper threading. Uh, e cores you just have the single threaded both of them are amazing type of cores depending on the workload um well, let's see let's see what i got away with. yeah and then we have uh we, yeah we just recently launched a new version of the intel application optimization for different games and we made it uh we, it comes with an advanced mode that uh allows it for previous generations to be able to use it that's just cool right yeah and then why don't you talk a little bit just because a lot of people were like kind of curious there's also a couple tools that are unique to uh, the 14900KS and the K, things like XT, XTU, like a, yeah, XTU, XTU uh, sorry, XTU is not, but the uh, AI overclocker, right? So yep. if we're gonna use like something like what Nene and Josh are doing where you're you're doing a lot of, uh, you're doing a custom water cool build or you're using a 420 millimeter AIO like we did, what are some of the things that you can use yeah, so the different things, so, so the other, so we just talk about the APO and the other type of software that we have there is the Extreme uh, Tuning Utility, which is actually a software that we have in there. It's completely free that you can use for tuning your system, uh, for overclocking, for whatever you want to overclock and undervolting. You have pretty much full, full control of your system for core speeds, voltage, voltage offsets, current. So there is a lot of different knobs and that will be in the advanced mode. It also has a simplified mode or, or a beginner mode, or actually if you just want to have a one-click overclocking button, is actually in there. Uh, there it is. And uh, so yeah, so there's different things you can actually use for that. And also, I think, yeah, this year, last year, so the two years are kind of blurring together. Uh, last year we did an AI uh, overclocking, actually launching the new X XTU for the 14 gen. So if you can go to actually to the Intel Download Center, you can get the latest version of the Extreme uh, Tuning Utility over there. Uh, you'll be able to, to you know, play with the computer, tune it, make sure that you have it at the performance that you desire and the temperature that you like. And that's a cool thing about the uh, KS, uh, about the K processor and the KS processor because you have full control for tunability configuration for your system. Let's see what else we're gonna talking about that I'm, I'm not, not missing. So yes, uh, so the KS is pretty much a special, well, it's, it's redundant, but it is, is a special type, not a special type, but it's like a, you have this type of, of uh, i9 processors and you have this distribution of 
hey, these ones perform a little bit better than the ones in the, the average and so forth and so on. So you have this wide distribution. And what we do is the ones that perform better, we grab them at the fab when we're doing our tests and we say like, okay, these guys that can actually hit higher frequencies than the rest of the other ones, uh, we're gonna call them uh, KS and they're gonna be able to reach these types of frequencies. So for those of you uh, who are looking like for, for uh, silicon lottery, this means that it's better it's a, it's a better uh, silicon, doesn't mean it's amazing, but it's still, I mean, there's still distribution within those. There's still some variance in, with the dose, but these are uh, better silicon than the other ones. Doesn't mean that the other ones are bad, it's just they perform a little bit better, a little bit faster. So yeah, that's in a, that in a nutshell, it is the 14900KS and what it is and all the different features and, and things that it brings. With it. And then did you talk about APO? Yes, I did talk about APO. APO, so that's another thing. So there's just some really great tools. And again, if you want to get some more information on a lot of this stuff, like they have videos on yes. youtube.com slash Intel. Like there's a bunch of places to go and check and get information uh, that if you guys want to learn more about them, as we basically, uh, it, you know, as you think about if this is the a CPU that you guys would want to use, then this is a, that's a, those are great resources and just great tools. And then now we're seeing APO actually uh, work for um, work as a potential for even 12th and 13th gen. Yep. It's just kind of like discover on your own. But exactly. Guys, this build is done. So what we're gonna do is uh, get it up, and then let's start putting the parts back on here. Yeah. So one thing that uh, just re uh, retaking the what Roby just said a minute ago. So if you're really interested in the technology and want to learn more about from the technical side. The, we have a, a YouTube channel called Intel Technology and there's a lot of great videos, pretty much uh, learning videos, educational videos about all kinds of different things. So yeah, just pop in and uh, you'll see some familiar faces in there and they'll be talking from APO to turbos to how do processors get bin to everything. So it'll be great to see you guys there if you have any more questions. Oh, ask us in the chat. It'll be great to hear from you there too. Okay, so guys. We have everything ready downstairs to do benchmarking. We're gonna get everything ready up here to do our benchmarking before we do the giveaway. So let's take it down to Nay and Josh. We're gonna do some benchmarking of the, the water-cooled system. Before we do that though, before we yes. benchmark this thing, we, we've got this thing turned on now. Check look out the RGB. RGB. How sick does that look? I, I actually love the block with the RGB from EK. Like yeah. how cool does that look with the design? I didn't even realize when we picked this up that Are you talking about this, this RGB right here? No, no the, right here. You see oh, how you one. can yes, see yes, it. Oh, this one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I didn't realize that when it's on, you could actually see like the little designs on it. It's really nice. Yeah, we've got people saying that's a Pretty build, great job. Well, yeah. you thank you. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It looks like a like cracks and lava. You ever doing Oh about? yes, yes, I know. You know, you mean like a molten kind yeah. of lava effect? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super cool. So yeah, got the uh, Fantex D30s all hooked up. So that RGB is looking awesome. They're actually very good fans as well. This is moving a lot of air. So we've got yeah. intakes here. We have intakes here as well. Uh, these are reverse fan blades, and then we have exhaust on this rad and we have an exhaust we on the should, side um, radiator go ahead as and well. also show them the back for the cables. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we, bear in mind we built this PC uh, rather quickly. Yes, so yes. Don't you be judging our cable management on the live, okay? Yes. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. They just ex they just exposed <laughs> Roby's uh, cables for a second there. But, oh, um, God, yeah. Yeah, th I mean, this is kind of testament. This this took a few minutes. This is just testament to the fact that the NV7 is actually very easy to build in. Yeah. Like, I've kind of just been able to... Shove them. Yeah, and there's, they're not really sticking out. Um, obviously, probably after the stream, I'll go back and tidy this up with yeah, zip ties. Yeah, for, for the person that's so, winning this PC, we'll so make don't, sure to do a good job. So don't worry about that. But um, yeah, we are going to go ahead and benchmark this thing because I'm sure quite a lot of you are interested to see how this thing performs. Oh, let's go ahead and also put the front panel on. Ah, yes, we'll we probably should do that. To be more accurate yeah. with our benchmarks. Otherwise, we're cheating. <laughs> yeah, I'll let Nay put, uh, put on that panel for you. Go around from the front. Oh, you need some help? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we're we're not we're not planning on doing what we did with the last no, one. I was just thinking that it. we're not going to. Although this time we're not building on granite countertops, so <laughs> we have a little bit of an advantage. So this panel, uh, you may need to loosen off this I back think panel so. a little bit. Mm, is that uh, the right direction? Yeah. So this back panel. Oh, oh, I yeah, think you open that up. it. Oh, yeah. You can take it off real quick. Yep. There you All go. Right, let's try that. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's 
Right. You have to treat this case properly. Listen, it, I like it to call it the... It likes everything to be done in a certain order. The Lego PC case. Because it comes off in so many pieces. Yeah, and there's then a... It, you got to put things back together in certain orders or else it will not work. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So, we have everything good to go here, I think. Are we ready for benchmarking? Someone said they love how white cases are trending right now. I, I, I agree. Yeah, and, and what do you guys think of the uh, the black hardware inside of it? I actually yeah. think the black and white look I is... I think the build turned out really cool. Yeah. For the short amount of time that we had to put it together, I'm, I'm yeah. actually quite impressed with it. Yeah, the, I mean, like we said earlier, there's so much you can do with these kind of water cool builds. Like, you can go crazy and do a bunch of spirals like Nay likes to do sometimes, mm -hmm. or you can do a, a distro play and just run straight tube in. Now, I'm very excited to benchmark <laughs> this because, obviously, the 4900KS is a it's a very powerful chip i mean this is basically the best of the best you know and the you need you need a, a good cooling solution to be able to cool this thing because of course it can draw a lot of power that also means a lot of performance so i guess with that said we will uh, test out this custom loop yeah. now one thing to bear in mind is that there's a lot of tweaking that can be done so yeah definitely yeah depending on obviously how thick your rads are and uh where you're doing airflow like you can either have intakes or you can have exhaust there's a lot of tweaking to be done um so i guess that's one of the other things to bear in mind with with custom water cooling is uh, you could yeah. do a lot behind the scenes to get the pc uh working at max performance yes so with that said i think we will switch i think we have a live stream of the screen for you yeah. guys which we shall pull up in just a second so yes hopefully you can see now what we are seeing which is cinebench r23 so I'm gonna go ahead here and just start a, uh, a multi-core CPU test and let's see what kind of score we can just get out of the box. That's a nice table. Yes, it is. <laughs> now this, like I said earlier, this CPU is gonna be awesome for someone like me. I do video editing, I render a lot of files mm -hmm. and I also proxy a lot of files as well, which takes this time. Would be great for proxy. Yeah, so anytime yeah. I can like improve that speed, it's it really does make a difference. So on the CPU multi-core on Cinebench, we got uh, 39,287 just straight off the bat there. Now, one thing I am interested to see, and I'm sure some of you guys are, is the temps. So let's uh, let's do yeah, a looping I'm test this time. And we'll start this and we'll just monitor the CPU to see what kind of temps we uh, can reach. I've just noticed you guys can still see me as well. So that's good. Hopefully, Ooh, I, hopefully I can... the blue dye helps with tempo. Just I'm just <laughs> yeah, kidding. Yeah, blue equals cool, right? <laughs> yeah, that, right? That's what it means. <laughs> it looks like ice. Okay, so this has been running for uh, 30 seconds now. We're currently at 76. 60. We just we just started the test again, so it's of uh. course dropped down. So yeah, we are monitoring temps here, which seem to be yeah. fine so yeah. far. And there's a lot of different ways you can test these as well. Like the thing to remember is when you're running benchmarks and things like you could smash this thing with Ida 64, you know, and try and get your temps as high as possible. That's not going to happen most of the time, especially like if you, if you were using this for gaming, it's not going to be like, I don't, yeah, it's yeah. not going to be up there. I noticed with, uh, with my like 4900K at home, um, yeah, it tends to be the warmest when it's doing things like rendering. So this is a pretty good test for, you know, challenging this chip. But yeah, temps are seem, they seem, <laughs> seem absolutely good. fine so far. Yeah. And obviously you'll have little spikes as well in temps. Um, we're currently monitoring uh, just the average. So I'm seeing if this is going up. I'd love those temps the chat says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we did too. Wow, this is actually, um, I guess custom loops then. I mean, you, you do have more headroom yeah. with temps. And we could have gone even thicker on these radiators. Oh, we, we could have gone We could thick. have gone for like I've some big boys. I've seen some builds on YouTube, some thick boy yep. rads in this case. Like I'm talking real thick. So yeah. a double, what is it, a double K, double C? Oh yeah, you can get some massive ones. <laughs> uh, so CPU package temperature right now, uh, 89, 88. Mm -hmm. So not not even in the 90s. That's I'm actually yeah. pretty impressed. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think it was because we put a lot of like thermal paste on and stuff? Maybe? Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I, I think secretly, guys, my uh, my thermal paste application <laughs> is that that is the secret. Is it better than Roby's? Yeah, I think so. You know, he says he's been doing this a long time. Nah, his his butter, his butter thing. Seems yeah, really I, good. the thing is, being a Brit, I have buttered a lot of oh uh, my God. a lot of bread rolls. <laughs> so I know what I'm I doing. Can't. 
You know what I, I mean? Can't with you. <laughs> He's always asking, "Where's the butter? Where's the butter?" Yeah, I like I like my uh, to butter my bread rolls. You know. You know what I when I we went and got uh what is it? Not croissants. Uh, croissants. What are the triangle things? That, that you oh scones yeah when he had a scone here for the first time in the u.s he was like what the heck is this i was like what is this yeah it's we're, like rock hard we're actually heading to the uk next month so nene is going to get a chance to experience all of the british cuisine at its finest with butter and jam and fish and chips fish, fish and, and chips, chips are absolutely fantastic okay um so There's yeah this, this has been running for like three <laughs> minutes now cpu package temperature we're currently at 88 degrees so I don't know about you, but I think we did pretty good. I, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, too. let's let's cut back to the uh, main cam to get one last look at this yes. beautiful system. Oh, and uh, for those of you that are watching, if you want to win this PC, you can uh, find out, I think, later at the end of the stream. Yes. So, obviously, there are some giveaways going on, which yep. I will... Uh, hand back to Roby at some point to explain the details of those but yeah this is uh going really nicely I think you guys can still see Cinebench at the moment uh what are we looking at on the temps yes yeah, still at 89 so there we go still looking Aha. great we're back yes like we were saying if any of you guys want to enter in a chance and have a chance to win this beautiful PC I don't know if we're going to sign it with our names that would probably destroy <laughs> the look of it so we'll keep you, it you guys, you guys don't want that <laughs> I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing a few comments on the on the chat. Somebody says, "Will the jacket come with it?" Are you talking about this one or oh, this one? I think they're talking about my jacket. No, I think it's this one. Guys, really, this one? You want the corduroy jacket? I paid <laughs> like sixteen dollars for it. I'm cheap. <laughs> You're cheap, man, man. I'm cheap on everything but my PCs. Oh, oh even me? No, uh, and that as well. That is the other exception. I've got to, got to tread carefully. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You this, don't want to be sleeping on the couch when we go home tonight. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, See, they love go. corduroy. They absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. So should we go check up on Roby and see where they're at with their PC? I mean, I can listen in on him now. Uh, Roby, how are we getting on with the Sounds build? Good? Doing good. We found, yeah. we, uh, the one thing that's always fun about when you do stuff is that our build is done. You can actually barely see, uh, you can barely see. Uh, I can see the, the lovely design on it. Yeah, the design's done, but what we found out is that we've overloaded one port on the yeah, IQ Link fans. Oh. And so we have to, uh, we have to, what we're gonna have to do is, uh, we're gonna have to add a second hub. Yep. But for now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and uh, plug it in, and then we'll fix that afterwards. So go ahead and okay, re-put okay. those in. Don't no, leave that up. You're fine. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm just sitting here admiring the design on the front of that PC. Yeah, the PC looks. The PC looks fantastic. We're just. What we're doing right now is we're gonna. We'll have to add a. We're gonna add a second fan. We're gonna have one fan mm -hmm. that our exhaust fan is gonna have to get added to a separate. A separate hub. Gotcha. Um, so for a separate IQ hub, which isn't a big deal, but it's just one of those things. It's like, oh, okay, little yep. things that we have to, little things that we have to be prepared for. But we're we're in Windows. We're gonna see that. Make sure we're gonna just test it. Everything is up and working, as you can see. All the lights just turned on, Ooh. and uh, it shouldn't be a big deal in terms of our temperature. So someone had mentioned our living room. You guys, you guys know what uh, our living room. You've been, cre <laughs> you've been creeping on the living room, creeping so on the now, ground. Uh, was port one has been reached. Reduce the number of connections on port one. And so what I got to worry about is that, so it looks like yeah, I have, it, oh yeah, man. Good work I really the like these fans. I do. Yeah, good. Okay, so port one, it looks like this one is the one. So I'm gonna try, ooh, you okay? Yeah. We actually had to swap a couple of our connectors around. We did. Because these are like the very first generation of the Fantex T30s, and mm. I don't think there's like a marker on there to, to like say which side the input is. So yeah, we actually had to just swap one of the cables around to get all of the yeah, RGB we're, working. Um, we yeah. Have, yeah, we're kind of doing the same thing. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to change, actually go ahead and loosen again. We're working on the same thing to figure yeah. out which way to actually hook this up so we can actually fix this. This is kind of cool, actually, because uh, I've, I've still got the uh, Cinebench is still running in the background, so I can update you guys on. We're still running at 89 Are on we? the CPU package. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Right? That's actually really, really good. good temps. Yeah, that's really good. So that's like, so it's like funny, because I know that we had kind of tested it yesterday. Yeah. And we were like, oh, and then, but again, we, when you, it's like one thing when you finally get the whole build kind of done. Together. Yeah, yeah, together. So we're just, yeah, so 
to get this one in. But it looks so cool, isn't it? I, I really like it. I'm sad that we can't take it home and add it to my, yeah, add it to your collection. My, yeah. my collection of water cool PCs. <laughs> I've got four, four of them right now on the table. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. shut this one off. Uh, we also need to do our maintenance soon on our uh, on our one. Yeah, that yeah. If you guys yeah. are watching the live stream, you should head over to our channel Tech Tesseract on YouTube. We're planning on uh, draining and cleaning a water. So we have, I think, what we have we here to fix this. As we're working with, and it's been in there for a year now. Here yeah, and it's been kind of like an experiment so to see one. how bad it actually gets. The website, the website said two weeks. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's been we've had it in maybe a little bit longer than that, uh, maybe 52 weeks. God, yeah. But I'm sure it will be fine. Now, somebody I saw in the chat was talking about noise levels. Yeah. So <clears throat> currently, right now, we have all the fans plugged into the uh, Did motherboard. Did you set them to performance? Or are they just running just? Uh, yeah. So I think I think we have control over these in uh, in Armory Crate. So yeah. I think they're just kind of doing their thing right now. Obviously, they, they do ramp up. These are quite powerful fans, so they can push a lot of air if you want them to. Um, I'm kind of one of those people that puts their fans on kind of like a medium level yeah. so that I'm not constantly hearing like the... It's not loud, even just sitting next to it right now. It's got a slight hum to it, but no, it sounds fine. Yeah, these these are... I think these fans are running fairly quickly right now. I'd have to hop into... I mean, into... Does, that, does that even matter? Half the time when you're sitting at your desk, you've got headphones on anyways. You know yeah, what I mean? and like, I guess it depends if you're one of those people who likes uh, uh, super quiet, so you probably go like knock to a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you can get some really, really silent builds yeah. nowadays. Um, yeah, obviously, we've got the. Should the we put RGB the back panel on, on now that we've showed them the cable management? Yes, we probably should. Because this is actually quite Cinebench interesting. Cinebench is still running. We still haven't gone past 90 degrees. Or at least that I've seen. Yeah, yeah, we can easily remove RAM in this PC yeah. because I bent the tube so far. Yeah, you guys forward. can probably see on the straight cam. Can you see that? I'm not sure if they can see that. Oh no, I think I think it's being blocked by the res. What about here? Yeah, this tube right here. Yep. I've bent it forward quite a lot, so if we need to access the RAM or change it out, we can yep. easily do that, no problem. Yeah, and that's that's one of the great things about the NV7 as well because you you have just a lot of room to do that kind of yeah. thing. Um, so yeah, you can access the RAM. Uh, maintenance should on this should be fairly easy as well because we did actually put a drain port at the bottom. Um, so Someone did also ask what the case was again. So it yeah. is the uh, Fantex NV7. Yep, I think one of our mods put it in, uh, put a link in the chat. But yeah, this is the Fantex NV7Y. Obviously, we have the Intel Core i9-4900KS, mm -hmm. Asus ROG Maximus Z790. We have uh, RTX 4080 in here that is water blocked with EK components. Um, we have the Kingston Fury Renegade uh, RAM that's running at 6,000 megahertz, and we also have Kingston Fury Renegade M.2s as well. So there's a one, terabyte. there's a one terabyte in here, and then there's a two terabyte yeah. game drive. Which, as I said earlier, I like to do. I like to separate my OS from my. I still uh, don't feel like that's drive. enough for us, though. <laughs> no, no, at I, home. I use a lot of storage, so we I do. usually have a bunch of hard drives going on in here as well. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, this didn't have that many cables, so cable management's easy as well. Shall and we put I don't the back know on? if you guys saw. We will in just a second. There's actually a GPU sag bracket. Yes, this case. Yeah, it's, it's like built in, and you can change it however you want, um, which is very nice which as well. Which we did notice when we put this GPU in this case, it was getting a little bit of sag because that's a pretty yeah. heavy uh, block for I that card. I wasn't card. expecting it to, but it, it had a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it worked out perfectly with this case having that already built in, and yeah. you can adjust it easily by moving it up and down which is, it was really nice. I've actually yep. enjoyed building in this case. For the first time, like, well, no, because we built in your smaller one, the NV5. Yes. But this, I would say this is way different than that case. It is definitely different, yeah. yeah. And it's just, there's just more space in general to do stuff like this. Um, yeah, I think it would be cool to do some like you know the you could you could fit mega rads in this. Yeah, video. yeah. I guess all I have to say is Fantex, if you're watching this, um, you know I do a lot of time lapse builds. Maybe send over a case and something else. We'll do some more stuff with it. Yeah, G G G's on the case. G it's G's. very good. Shall we put the back on? Yes, we shall. I will continue to read the chat. Looks like it needs some fish. <laughs> <laughs> What, like uh, little stickers or actual little fishies? No, like actual real fish. <laughs> real fish. Actually, you know what? I bet you you could get away with, you know how there's like those lights you can get? They're night yep. lights that have the little fishies in the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yes, could yes, put yes, one yes. in the res. 
literally. You could. I've seen people do yeah. that because uh, someone. I've seen someone do a boba tea. Yeah. One yeah. as well. Tea, that yeah. was pretty cool. That was a cool one too. Yeah. Should Shall we uh, we? put the side panel on? The glass is already so. on, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I can't it's see this it. This one okay. here. Ah yes. It's quite a small little back plant panel. Yeah, it is actually. It's like half, which is kind of interesting. Question is. Will it clear our cable? <laughs> oh, look who's in the chat. Instead of Blue Liquid Skittles Milkshake, you know who that is. Skittles that is That is our good friend Lapis. <gasps> Lapis, you're watching us? She's watching the live stream. That's just... our Fortnite buddy. Yeah, so our squad. One half of our squad. Right? Uh, let's have a look. Come from... Ah, yes. Maybe come from the oh, front. Oh, wait, I think, no, no, no. I think for this one, you actually have to have the top off. This is what we were saying with the case, as is awesome it? as it is. Yeah. You have to uh, make sure you do everything in the I right order. I told you, it's like Jenga. All right. Jenga, Legos, one of the two. Lapis, I, I swear when we get home from our trip, we will play some Fortnite. I know the new season came out. I know there's a lot that's changed. We'll get to <laughs> it. Okay, so we should be able to pop the top off. There we go. And now we can get the side panel. Okay. Is it from the top? Yeah. Yes. It's kind of hard to install it from not the front. Yes, yeah, so, some of these panels, like some of them drop in from go the up top. There in the front? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay. I tell you what, you go that side, I will go this side. Okay. And we shall achieve Tag greatness team. together. Oh yeah, there's a cable sticking out. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Just the top one, I think. It needs to be pushed up again. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, people. All right. I believe we can put a little screw in the top as yep, well, yep. just to hold that all in. Teamwork makes the dream work. You're right. <laughs> Someone said they like the door oh, swing. Oh, did we in get a back. screw for this one? A lot more. I can go grab one. It's right here. Team. Yeah, the door swing on this case is really cool. I've, yeah. I've never really seen that. Screwdriver. We got a screwdriver. I will grab you a screwdriver. Here you go. Alrighty. Yeah, Roby didn't give us a banana down here to show you guys heck, the scale. You got the good camera. You didn't give us the banana. I'm starting to think you put us down here for a reason. <laughs> Don't worry. Next time we will uh, we will take over the studio. Yeah. The, the main one. All right. We're almost there, guys. This is the this last is panel. This is the last, the final. Let's close it and we, we'll, we'll and be it completely won't explode, done. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, wait, and. Uh, ah. Oh, we have a banana. Oh, we got the banana. Yes, catch Look the banana. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, here is a banana for scale, guys. This is it <laughs> next to the uh, the i9 4900KS. Wow, look at KS. that. Great. And uh, this is it next to the PC. There you go. <laughs> I don't. How many know. bananas long is the case? One. It's at least four. At two. least four. No, it's about. About three bananas long. See, I don't actually know though if this is a, a true scale <laughs> banana because my, the bananas That's I usually buy are a little. So, wow. He, what? Wow. There's a, stand, there's a so standard well. measurement apparently. Yeah, the bananas I buy are a little bit bigger than that usually. They're usually massive. Yeah. That actually feels really good to squeeze. That's like a that's like a 70 calorie banana. I tend to go for like the 120 calorie yeah. bananas. It's, it keeps you going for longer. How you doing up there, Roby? Clean that off. Yeah. Oh, someone says dad joke inbound. Can uh Oh Roby press the button. Yeah, we should probably oh. get a dad joke at some point. My son asked me if I got a haircut. I told him, no, I got them all cut. <laughs> oh my god. I swear. I, I love dad jokes. jokes <laughs> They're so good. Wait, probably on Reddit. I wonder Reddit how thread. I wonder how many jokes are on there. It's like fifty. It's oh, fifty? Wow. wow. Can you buy jokes. it like that? Yeah, so it's like, I think it's like 50 jokes, which is like amazing. And then my son also has, I also have a dad joke calendar. Oh, can you give me that? Uh, so little you have a dad joke calendar? Yeah, it's up wow. here in some, uh, uh, in a little, yeah, there you go. Got some all over the pump. Can you just get a little isopropyl on there? 
whoever wins this is going to be pretty lucky. Yeah, and, there, and that one's going to be done via Gleam giveaway at yeah, a later gleam. time. Yeah, Gleam. Gleam. So if you guys are interested in winning this beautiful PC, thanks to uh, EK and uh, Oris, Intel or not or Oris, uh, Asus and Intel and Xantex for sending all the stuff. Dude, imagine, imagine winning this PC. Like, imagine you've never had a PC before. And you win this. Or you like you haven't upgraded in years and you end up winning this. Dude, yeah. Your friends would come up like, and be like, this what? is this this could be a massive. You could flux. tell them that you built it. They would never know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We won't tell them. We won't tell them. <laughs> we'll leave it. We won't put any writing or any badges on it, so they'll know. Oh, the banana's not. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. I need, uh, um, can you give me we the, will share someone the was details just asking the... for the specs of the the build. Um, oh, yeah. So real quick, because I know a few of you have already awesome. already seen this, but if you're new and you've just joined, this is a water cooled PC, um, fully cus uh, fully custom loop. So we've got the Intel i9 4900KS. We have the Kingston Fury Renegade at 6,000 mega transfers. Uh, we have an RTX 4080 mm -hmm. in here. So this is an MSI um, Gaming X Trio. We've actually got an EK water block on here as well. Yep. Um, and then for storage, we've got three terabytes in total of Kingston Fury Renegade uh, M.2 NVMe. Uh, we have the D30 fans. So this is fully kitted out. You've got how many fans we got in here? One, two, three. Twelve. Four, yeah. I think. No. No. I can't one, count. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Yes. Eleven. Eleven <laughs> fans in here, um, and yeah, obviously we have all the bells and whistles with this. So we've got the uh, EK radiators, we've got the uh, matte black fittings, which look awesome. Yeah. And this is all inside the Fantex NV7, powered by the i9 4900KS, which Very is an nice absolute though. beast of a chip. Yep. Um, in fact, What's the temp set still? I think the uh, the test has actually stopped now, but oh, we okay. were we were benchmarking this thing, and uh, we had Cinebench running in for it was running for like ten minutes, and is hovering around eighty nine, yeah, pretty ninety. Yeah. So, yeah, custom loop kind of pays off. I know it's a lot of work, I, yeah, but yeah. sometimes it's worth it, and it's for it's for tinkerers like us. Uh, you yes, know? people that want to have the best performance and want to go all out with custom cooling. This is definitely a great way to do that. Yeah, we were saying earlier as well, it's great that you can do both as well, uh, because, yeah, upstairs they are building with a 420mm AIO. So not only can you use this uh, awesome chip <laughs> with that kind of cooling, you can also go the crazy route as well, um, which is what we have done here, and I'm very happy with the result. Yeah. I think yeah. it turned out really, really awesome. Yeah, we have giveaway details coming shortly, so make sure yeah, you guys stick guys. around. This is not the time to leave right now. Yeah, this is like, this is the most important part. This is the penultimate. We are <laughs> just getting to some of the good giveaways. I mean, not, yes. some of the good giveaways have been awesome so far, oh, but we're getting to the, to the real big have ones. The Intel. 4900 KS over the banana. Yeah, I, I, I think that's. Yeah, the, guys, this is not this is not for sale. <laughs> this is a property of Roby Tech, which I'm told he has actually a lot of these. So does he? Maybe, oh wait, yeah, no, he, no, he said we could take one home. Did he see? Did they see the cat? This is so I will, funny. Uh, I will put this in here. Look assuming at this chat. Not... How freaking hilarious is that? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoever photoshopped Roby that. Roby cat. Roby cat. That's so cool. We need to get some of those now. We do, we do. I don't know, our cats might mistake it for another cat. Could you imagine if you put it outside the door and they saw it walking by? You ever seen the people that put the taped fake cats? Oh yeah. And they're like. <laughs> to scare people away. Yeah. yeah. Cannot yeah. unsee the cat. I know, it's it's gonna be haunting my dreams <laughs> forever. Uh. All We're right. all waiting for Roby Cat. <laughs> Roby Cat. Yes, this is my uh, tactical banana. Someone says, put the cat inside the PC. I, I don't know if that would work too well. No. It would probably hit the fans. We should at some point do like a cat themed build. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That would be cool. Cat themed build. Yeah, how could we do that? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to reach out to Ron from Blue Horse. Dude, Ron, Ron yeah. can make anything happen, seriously. Yeah, that man has some skills. Yeah. We, uh, we got a um, vinyl cutter recently because we wanted to kind of make some like we have to customize our builds and stuff mm -hmm. and it's quite a good way yeah i was like i used to do graphic design at school yep. so i was trying i got this vinyl cutter and i was like trying to figure out remember how i used it and i then, think uh, one of our favorite yeah. things to do is cut out custom stickers for the middle of the fans especially when you're doing like themed builds. yes you can do some really cool stuff with that yeah. um <coughs> But yeah, I, I love making these these. All right, PCs. I think they're ready upstairs. Cool. So uh, let's go and head up there with Ruby. Yes.
And here we go, guys. We actually, the thing is, is that we found there's one, it looks like we have one little hardware issue. We can show you the front, Brian's got it. So we're not gonna be able to benchmark because obviously we don't actually have all of the fans working correctly. So we are gonna get that fixed, but it's just one of those things. But we're still gonna give it away. We're still gonna, yeah, we're still gonna give it away. We're still gonna show you. You can see it looks absolutely <laughs> insane. This build looks so good. Um, and it is it is all blue and white. And again, let's show it one more time what the specs are for the build that we're gonna be doing here in just a second. So this has got a Core i9-14900KS, the Tough Gaming Z690 plus Wi-Fi. We have that Asus Tough Gaming RTX 4080 Super, uh, three terabytes of NVMe storage. We have the uh, basically that uh, titanium at 6600, meg 6600 megahertz, the 7000D specifically customized by the team over at Blue Horse Studio. Uh, we also have that IQ Link H170i, and then of course the Asus Tough uh, 850 watt PSU. So that's the build as it is, guys. It looks absolutely incredible. Uh, we'll get some really, really great pictures of it when it's all finished and looking all beauteous and stuff like that when we fix the one fan. But key thing is, guys, it's now time to give this away. We have exactly five minutes left. To give it away. For it to, to basically to give it away in. at the end here. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, and then. Uh, if we want to uh, set this one up uh, right here, so we're going to do, uh, what are we going to do? What's the entry for it? Exclamation point, 14900KS. Giveaway is currently active over at twitch.tv slash intel. If you want to get on that, twitch.tv slash intel, exclamation point, 14900KS. That giveaway is currently running right now. Yep, so four minutes, guys. And again, we have that one fan. Sorry, fan, we'll get you fixed. Um, but yeah, we can't. Yeah, we got one one little fan, but the rest of it, let's show the back, actually, if yeah, we want to back. rotate it a little bit here and show the back of the PC. I mean, that like just to give you guys like a more clean idea of that back there. But I mean, again, you guys were sitting 89. Now we did do testing on this beforehand, so it's not like we don't usually test, um, obviously, the, the build and stuff before. Uh, and our temps on this were sitting in the low 90s. Uh, with a Cinebench score of around 4041. So it was actually really, really good temps. Lots of air here, but we just don't want to do anything when you don't have all of the uh, all of the fans working correctly. That seems uh, not, okay. that seems like irresponsible, if we might say. But yeah, the actual build. And then uh, why don't we, uh, we'll open it up here in a second so you guys can kind of see inside as well. So you guys can get a better closer look of the inside. So here, let me turn it around and we'll show you guys the inside. Ugh. So we'll then open it up here. Yeah. <laughs> and then there is the inside of the bill. So there it is right there with all the fans and... That's the H170i IQ Link right there. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, stunning, stunning build. I mean, two of them. We got two absolutely stunning builds um, that we have set up in here, which I think looks so good. So we have that, you know, bit, again, Incredible, incredible set of hardware here um, and both of them. So let's pop downstairs and just take a quick look at your build one more time because that one we're going to be uh, we're going to be giving away on. We're going to be giving away here very soon uh, at uh, on Gleam. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to Gleam because that's going to be the right place to go and do it. So, yeah, there we go. Showing there's their build right there. So that that's the custom water cooled one. So, again, today. Today, what we did uh, and today what we did uh, is um, we uh, if uh, today what we essentially did is we did one build that was basically um, for uh, for enthusiasts who just want to do it with regular hardware and then we did it with enthusiasts who want to do custom water cooling hardware you know we basically covered all of those things uh, today so uh, I think I think we basically got everything that you guys could essentially want on the 14900KS. And then again, the 14900KS, we got we got 6.2 gigahertz, 5.9 in some cases, 5.7, depending on Which the number turbo. of cores. Mm -hmm. You got the, uh, we got APO, we got um, AI overclock and AI assist. Um, so many amazing things. And then plus you saw two incredible builds built right here uh, at um, on the 14900KS <clears throat> launch celebration. 
as part of Intel Live. So what do you guys think, Nay and Josh? Let's uh, let's get everybody here on the screen and let's ask, like, how, what did you guys think of the whole the whole giveaway, the whole the whole experience? What did you guys think? I actually the experience has been great, honestly. I, I wasn't sure how fast we'd be able to get this PC up, but you know, when uh, you're pushed to your max, you got to get it done. <laughs> yeah, we put in, we, we put in some long nights, but again, huge shout out to the team at Intel, yeah. the team at Asus, yep. the team at EK, the team at. Uh, uh, basically Corsair. We also had Cyberpower and the team at Main Gear who came and talked to we, co we covered everything, right? Yeah, we covered everything. So. And also a big thank you to you guys. The what? Rubber we didn't do team. anything. And everybody else. <laughs> and actually you guys for being here with us all afternoon watching us build these amazing uh, systems. Yeah, guys, 14,000 concurrent viewers wow. tuned in to watch today, which is absolutely awesome. Again, those of you on Twitch, on Twitter, on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, of course, all of them. Uh, and then, of course, somebody winning very, very soon. Sarah, how much time we got left on the giveaway? Um, I'm just verifying right now. Verifying. We are verifying the winner. Soon the winner will Ooh, be drawn. I wonder who is it going to be? And then Someone's think, day is about to be changed. It's going to be me. What, and you, what and, an incredible system to be able to win. Yes, I know. I know. It's beautiful. You're, you're going to be able to do absolutely anything. Yeah. I mean, on sure. both on both of these things. And yeah, again, both. isn't it actually pretty cool, Nay and Josh, to actually know that you've built something that somebody is going to use for, like, the rest of, you know. Dude, people are going to use these forever. Dude, they're yeah. going to be good for the next, like, couple years, seriously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, at least. <laughs> at least. I mean, this is a, this is a piece of art. This is like a yeah. work yeah. of art, and yeah. you kind of think it's, uh, how do you say, like, it never is going to change because it's, it's, like, so beautiful that it's just, I'm, yeah, I'm pressing it there. And again, people are asking, where's the Gleam Link? It's not ready yet. We'll get that taken care of again. We'll make it look all pretty and beautiful and get it all uh, squared away and then get it up and, and running and... And we'll uh, we'll have that Gleam giveaway here in the next you know probably week or so that you'll be able to enter to win. So just stay stay tuned over at uh, Twitch. Uh, sorry, uh, X.com slash no Twitter.com. Yeah, it's still Twitter.com. You really call it X. Super confusing. Uh, over at Twitter.com slash Intel Gaming, then you'll basically see it there. You'll probably see it at uh, uh, Twitter.com slash RobyTech as well. So just check socials. I'm sure that Nay and Josh will also obviously share this on we theirs as well. Will. Yeah. So we're still waiting on winter confirmation, guys. Just stay tuned. We'll let you guys know that here very, very, very soon. Um, and then, yeah, guys, what did you think of the show? For yes. those of you watching the show, I'd love to know what you guys thought of the show. So let me just hear it in the chat. Did you, would, would, was there anything you change? Uh, all that sort of stuff. We'll let you know who won here very, very soon. We're not done. We don't worry. We won't go away if before we tell everybody <laughs> who won. Shut it off. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, we're not those kind of people. Yeah, we're actually giving this away. You know, yeah. I'm this so he asked what keyboard is this? This is the Cooler Master MM700, I think is what it is. I think we also use that one downstairs. That's the one that uh, Nay and Josh were doing, too. Uh, need to ask more disk Need to ask add more disk space. You can absolutely do that to either one of those. There's, yep. You guys have There's in two slots for days, right, N Josh and Nay? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We've got. I think we have one. Is it one extra slot down there? Yeah, yeah same there's, here. There's an, yeah. there's an extra slot down there, and uh, we we mentioned earlier as well. There's decent clearance with things like the RAM as well and the M.2s. The tubes are very far Actually, out. Actually, now so that I'm looking at it, yeah. if you wanted to add your M.2s, like another one in there. Oh, with you this can build, definitely get you in there. You could easily get in yeah. there without having to take any of these tubes apart yep so yep so hey guys yeah, don't upgradable. people asking please stop doing exclamation point 14900 ks guys if you are winning we can time you out so please do please stop um and then the other thing too is that uh when will we will announce the winner it's just going through the verification process we so are. please stop doing that because if you do want to win and then you're timed out that would be terrible for you so i would stop doing that now a couple other things uh josh nay if people yep. want to find you if they want to watch more of your content, if they want to get just inundated in your awesomeness, but yet second <laughs> tier uh, hand modeling, oh yeah. 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 where, where would they modeling. do that? Yeah. I don't know oh about God. that. So yeah, if, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys uh, if you guys want to find us, uh, you can find us at Tech Tesseract, as in One the word. Hypercube. Yep. You, if you know, you know. And uh, yeah, you can find us on uh, YouTube and all, all the places. So TikTok, yeah. Twitter. Yep. Tech Tesseract. Tech You'll Tesseract. find us. Uh, and yeah, 
we do PC builds, we do gaming setup stuff as well. I'd say we have a quite a broad range of I, things. I feel like we have like four tiers of content. We yeah. build PCs, we build gaming setups, we do like tech vlogs. What's the other one? We like just just general messing yeah. around yeah, just and have having fun, fun which yeah. Uh, yeah, we've definitely done today. <laughs> yeah, built an awesome a good system. Day. You know, been chilling, building PCs with you guys. And uh, yeah, really cool too. Honestly, I haven't been on Twitch in ages. It's been a while, is not it? <laughs> it's been probably like four years because I yes. first started on Twitch and uh, I moved to YouTube as a tech creator, but originally it was Twitch. And I just had a hard time playing video games and talking to chat at the same time because I get so immersed in the games. No, yes. yeah, yeah. We're, I, I'm hearing words, guys. We're hearing, hold on, hold oh, on. Guys, yeah. we'll let you guys oh, know oh. when the Overlord comes in. It is verified. It is verified. It is verified. And so who is our winner? J squared. Is J, our winner. J squared. J squared. Congratulations, J squared. You are the winner. Yes. If, and maybe if he wins again, he'll be JQ. I know. I know, whatever it is, but going from that. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to J squared. You are the winner of this beautiful 14900KS system. And then, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thank you so much to our Intel uh, for basically obviously being the prime sponsor for uh, the amazing team here. It took an incredible team here to run this entire production. Thank you so much to Josh and Nene for coming in and flying all the way from uh, the beautiful East Coast to be here. And then, of course, obviously to you, our amazing community, for tuning in and watching uh, the entire show. Super appreciate our sponsors, our additional sponsors as well, Asus, Corsair, EK, and then, of course, Kingston as well, who gave us the uh, who gave us a lot of his parts. Anyway, guys, that is it for us. There is no more Intel Live show nope. until April 12th, but... Stay tuned. If you want to win another PC, we're giving away another 14900KS system on Thursday. Uh, join me. Uh, what, just follow over at uh, youtube.com slash robytechlive or twitch.tv slash robytechlive. We're going to be giving away another custom build from uh, Blue Horse Studios in an Evo RGB. Uh, we also have uh, some community things happening over yep. at discord.gg slash intel. intel. What else is going on before we before we say goodbye? Well, first of all, actually, yeah, uh, you, like you said, uh, first of all, a big uh, shout out and thank you to Blue Horse Studios for this beautiful piece of art. Uh, we appreciate it. Also, thank you guys for all this stuff. And actually, you, everybody, for being here with us, spending this whole afternoon talk, doing an amazing bail, talking about PCs and having a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. There's a lot of different things going on, especially if you want to know what's going on uh, within our community. Go to discord.gg slash intel be there if you want to know more about technology anything else you can go to our youtube channel at intel technology there's a lot of stuff that is in there for you know educational to learn about processors computers everything there and no it's been great we're we'll hanging out with <laughs> you and everybody else and it's good to have you in the studio uh, yes yeah, it's been a lot of fun being in so studio. that is it guys thank you so much we have an absolutely amazing day and we will see you guys on april 12th on the next intel live Bye. or tune in on thursday for a Robitech uh, 14900KS show. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye